lost everybody's Saturday. Hello, K. Um, yeah, I started a bit late because um, well, a bit late. Well, one two minutes late. Um, um, my sister watching. My sisters were finishing up the first episode of Oshinoko. Then I wanted to see their reaction. Saturday. Hey, shit. Today's Sunday. <laughs> Oh yeah, Sunday. You travel through time backwards. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Okay. Also, um, uh, for eh, okay. Uh, I know MC True and Ro wants to watch Paranormal Sight, so maybe I'll chill a bit and, and wait up. Hello, Private Akira. How are you, Private Akira? A yeah, long time never haven't haven't seen Private Akira for a while. How are you? Reporting in. Yes, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Let me drink some water. Oh my god, my sisters. Okay, my sisters weren't that hooked on Oshinoko. I mean, I wasn't that hooked on Oshinoko um, at the start. Then later towards the end of the episode one, I was like, oh, okay, I want to watch. <laughs> okay, that, that, yeah, my sisters are quite invested now because they just watched the ending as well. You know, throughout the first episode, because right, I was, I, I kind of forced my sisters to watch uh, the anime Oshinoko. Uh, the first episode, they were like trying to think like, why, why, why? They, they were like, they were like, I, I, I could hear them discussing. And my sisters were like, why Amanda, what, Amanda like this show? <laughs> I hear them discussing. Then they, were, then at some point, they were like, oh, maybe cause like this, uh, this girl don't know what, don't know what. Yeah, but now they know why, cause they, they just finished episode one. Okay, you say you're in the middle of reading, just want to say hi before lurking in your horror street. It's not that horror, I would say. It's more like uh, mystery. In fact, the last, I would say the last paranormal site uh, stream was quite touching. I, I almost, I almost cried. I almost cried while, while voicing it. Private, your mom confiscated your phone. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, I know I didn't see you for a while and you were suffering from stomach ache. I hope your stomach ache is well now, uh, private. Just got your phone, uh, bad. Nice. If you can't, s uh, K, you says, if I can't sleep, I will spam you. Uh, today's the finale of, uh, of a game that we've been playing called Paranormal Side. Oh yeah, let me go, um, tweet it out as well. Uh, and my glasses is a bit blurry, so let me wipe it. Oh, check out my cleaner cloth. It's Attack on Titan, Mikasa. With a little Aaron, so cute. Oh yeah, uh, so I bought this, right? At the... At the pop-up pop cafe in Singapore. For uh, Attack on Titan. I went there like two, three weeks ago with my... With uh, Nizi Annie. Then yesterday, yes, I went yesterday uh, to Attack on Titan cafe again with uh, Nisha Pusha. Y'all might see them on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the cafe like twice. Oh, but I didn't get anything this this time around because I got everything I wanted uh, the first time. As they say, saving the best for the finale. <laughs> I wonder if the finale will top the previous um the previous previously uh we kind of resolved the whole schoolgirls uh the problem for the schoolgirls. So um I thought that one was resolved very nicely and it's very it's very sweet. And see. Hi, right. Apex time for me, right? See you around, right? Love your chat. MC, I, I'm playing the ending of uh, Paranormal Side, though, MC. Uh, Albert Knox is coming to Malaysia next week. Is it next week? I know the tickets are going to on sale for Niji, uh, the, the concert. And then the concert will be in July or June? Yeah, I was like thinking whether I should go, but then... Mm, Mm, I think I don't know. There's a high chance I might not go. <sighs> but we'll see. What it is? The <laughs> says NC. No, I thought I told you already. NC. I know the people who are most uh invested with paranormal side are uh, NC spiritual souls, but spiritual souls is uh, overseas. Uh, spiritual souls and and Ro is quite invested as well <laughs> on paranormal side. Yeah, MC, I thought I told you already, MC. You even say you cancel your Sunday plans. What happened to that, hmm? <laughs> it's okay, you can always watch VOD. <laughs> thank you, thank you for watching the VOD. Thank you, thank you. Uh, all the best on your on your apex. May you win. May you get your victory. Victory royale. But yeah, how's everybody today? And hello, Boon. How are you, Boon? 
<gasps> Let me give a shout out. Okay. Oh, is the is the is the snowy? Is it the plush toy snowy? Hmm. So bunny, oh it's snowball, of <laughs> course enough. Oh snowy, snowy is um, Esty's um, white cat. Thank you for shout, no problem. Oh my god, today I went on a shopping spree, guys. I went on sh on a shoppy sp shop shop. Actually, yeah, shoppy spree. But okay, I might be buying from Taobao as well. I was just like, thinking of. Uh, I used to have the phone stand to record my- Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> private. I used to have a phone stand to record for my Ring Fit uh, adventure, right? Like, like, you'll be there and then you'll record like this way. Um, uh, the, uh, It's not very stable, so I was, I was thinking of getting a new one. Yes. Then... Ooh. Uh. Oh, it's Pokemon. Sword and Shield. I see, I see. Uh, what else did I buy? Hey, hey, scan. What the fuck? Scan. Hey. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. What the fuck? For those that travel, for those that travel, right? What you travel fuck? overseas, guys. If you travel overseas, <laughs> do you buy disposable undies? <laughs> Do you buy disposable undies? <laughs> oh shit, it's the fake Oi. Ditto. Hey wait, it's not Sword and Shield. It is the, um, the it's Scarlet and Violet. Cause it's uh, they're wearing the the mushroom cap thing. I feel like I, I... <laughs> But your friend, uh, yeah, thought of it. Thought of it if, uh, wait. Thought of, yeah, like thought of if, if, like if, if yeah, you want to travel like. I, I bought some, but then like, you know, like the last time I bought and wore them, right? Wow, it's so uncomfortable, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> it's not very comfortable. And I think cause like normally I don't really... I don't... <laughs> is this TMI? Uh, norm I, I, I don't really like cotton. Let, I'll just say that I don't really like cotton-based undies. <laughs> it has be, uh, to be the nice underwear material. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ollie. Oh yeah, well, how are you? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> talking about some uh some stuff, travel stuff here. Pretty hard there. I can <clears throat> salvage a graphic card. This pretty hard. Hello, Pretty-do. baby, the Pretty-do. poet. Oh my nice. god, that's Pretty-do. another long poem oh, you have for me. Why is it I'm searching for? Can I at least get away from this pain and get some closure? What's Ollie praying for? Trash pick. GPU for my trash pick you join stream and you hear underwear <laughs> Yeah, Kurogane. 21 plus stream. Ah, technically, uh, my, my stream is set, set for a mature audience. I was asking uh, for those that travel, do you all wear disposable undies? <laughs> I wore them like a long time ago. It wasn't very comfortable, so I don't really like. <sighs> but then okay, I bought I bought a few boxes. I'm gonna try again. Cause I mean disposable undies very it's very convenient, right? Then you don't need to bring it back. You just uh wear it for the day, then you just throw it away. But um, whereas if you if, I mean if you are not bring the disposable one, you need to bring it back and then you need to wash everything. Can I send rabbits and bears to Discord? Sure. Rabbits and bears? Oh yeah. Um, um is it the blanket? Uh, actually, I'm not too sure. The last time you sent it was the quilt, I think. Um, you're salvaging a GPU again, Ollie. I wish I can build my own G. Uh, I wish I can build my own computer. Actually, I probably if I read that enough, maybe I could. But usually, I just you know, I go to PC Teams in Simli Simling Square, <laughs> and I build my computer there. Uh, my past two computer has been built at Simlim. The undies supposed to be the nonya? Wait, what non what nonya? Duflas! Hello Duflas! Why are you write, writing notes? <laughs> About disposable undies? 
just Google everything. Can build on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think if I really put on put in the effort, I could. But then, uh, right, Uni. Hello, Faye. <laughs> How are you, Faye? Wait, what Nonya bitch, bitchness uh, uh, baby the poet? Right, 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 I'm your biggest fan! <gasps> Hello, Jen! Mm. Oh! Jen! Breastie, Jen! I forget which breastie you are, which one you are. <laughs> Westie, I think. Is it? it was, yeah, Westie, Breastie. Jen, baby girl! <laughs> Kurokali, I mean I built my own PC. It's easy. Is uh how how many PCs have you built uh before Kurogade? My favorite Bressy, how are you? Family <laughs> I'm the left breasty! Okay, correct, correct. It's the West one, not the West breasty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, three com uh computer that you assembled so far. Ooh. Oh, that's that's really good. All expensive ones? Wow. I wonder if I save a lot more if I... What if I don't really save that much? If I... If I build myself. I miss you for your all. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, thank you. How's everybody's day today? How are you, Faye? How are you, Jen? How are you, Krogani? Krogani, you feeling okay? Are you fully recovered from your COVID? Miss me wait! <laughs> Oh, lefty breasty. Oh, you're gonna make you're gonna, you're gonna make me cry. Krogani, mine is uh three thousand. I helped someone whose PC was like four point seven k. Ooh, ooh. I okay. Uh, okay. Besides Krogani, I think Asian Javier. Asian Javier also um he also builds uh PCs. He he has a Carousel uh shop. <laughs> If I want people to help me build, I can actually hit, hit them up. <laughs> but but I, I go back to the Simlin, uh, the certain shop in Simlin, Simlin Square. Did you eat, right? How was your day? Yes, I ate. I had one meal. <laughs> I had one meal today. And this, guys, is how you get gastric. Do not be like me. Um, Yesterday, yesterday I had a McDonald's supper. I ate my buttermilk chicken, uh, crispy chicken burger. So it was about 2 or 3 um, uh, a.m. that I ate yesterday. Well, today if you consider it. Today early in the morning. Very, very early in the morning. Then I slept at around like 6 a.m. I couldn't really sleep. For some reason. Even though like I didn't sleep that much the day before. How are you, Tang? Tang! <laughs> and good because I get to see you today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and Krogani, you're feeling uh, better. That's good, that's good. Let me give a shout out to Tang. Same thing, which, which shop? PC Fins. P P P PC Teams. Tell me what. <laughs> Tell me what. I don't. <laughs> yeah, why not? Don't have the count chorus. No, it's stuck in my head. Uh. <clears throat> we say saying only one meal. Okay, don't be like me, baby the poet. <laughs> then I had I had Thai food just now. Thai food. Woo! I still have leftovers, so if I'm hungry after after streaming, I can have some Thai food. Uh Krogarden, you say so far you went you go to make fine for a lot of the parts you use. Oh okay, I've never heard of make fine. Tang, you only had fish soup for dinner. You'll definitely be hungry later. I hope you have something ready for your for your supper, Tang. Tell me why da, 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 da. <laughs> The one is also uh good. Okay, okay. Since like the the one that I go uh to build my computer, I go to PC Teams in Simli Simlim. It has received approval from Krogani and it has received approval from uh Asian Javier who also builds computers, so I think I'm in good hands. Miss Case! Oh no! How about how about Maggie Me? Do you know that do you know not I, I realize I don't really have a lot of instant noodle. Which is good maybe. I actually don't eat that much instant noodle. I I, I noticed. And I remember last time I would eat like instant noodle, maybe like once, one time every week. 
but now I eat instant noodle like I only eat instant noodle if I like buy like the cup noodles from outside so like not very often like maybe once every two months or something I, I, I guess it's good <laughs> not like my diet is getting um not like my diet is, is, is good even without the instant noodles so you can make PC assembly uh <laughs> no <laughs> No, <laughs> I I can barely assemble one on my own. You want me to stream the uh, assembly? Right, so healthy. Just eat food. I mean, I just don't eat that much instant noodle. I still eat like McDonald's at night. <laughs> Every other week or something. <laughs> oh, but I think my I think my weight is uh, getting a little bit better. Either that or I'm just fattening up. <laughs> So my BMI, my BMI, um, you, I used to be in the, in the underweight for the BMI, but I, yeah, I put on a, I put on a few kg. Guys, I'm fattening up. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm fattening up. Um, I, and I, and I, I made it, I made it to the acceptable range now in the BMI. So I'm not just skin and bones. <laughs> I, and then I'm thinking, I hope it's muscles. Please be muscles, because I do ring fit, right? Uh, let it be a portion of it. Can it be muscles, not just fats? <laughs> do you plus you have noodles every day? Instant noodles? Are you bored? Are, are you B A L D bored? <laughs> do you plus if you have instant noodles every day? I remember I read, like, I remember, like, um, when I was young, I, I ate quite a lot of instant noodles. Uh, then. Then like, I think there was a news, right, that came and then like, it talked about some lady that ate a lot of instant noodle. And then how she, 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 she started like boarding. <laughs> and then I became very scared. <laughs> Come on, you'll be fine. Uh... Why have I told you just like, replacing the RAM in my computer, I took like one, two hours because like, somehow I think I didn't like, you need to like press very hard into to to fit it fit fit the ram in right. I somehow don't have, I, I, I either that or like I just didn't dare to put too much force. But I was like pressing the dent thing for like an hour straight. I had like a line. I had the 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 line, <laughs> you know, because the ram is is like I had the 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 line on my on my palm because I didn't. I think I, I I didn't know how to put it in properly, or maybe I was forcing it in wrongly. Noodle gang! <laughs> you have the same food every day. Holy. You're disciplined like a monk. Uh, as long as it's balanced, I guess it's, it's good. Why is this same food you have every day then? Ah, uh, Tuflas. One to two, two hours of rent? <laughs> GG. Hello, Ro! I was waiting for... I was waiting for Ro at NC. But then NC... NC betrayed us, Ro. NC gonna play Apex. Unbelievable. <laughs> Today will be the last of uh, the finale uh, stream for a uh, paranormal site. Lamar uh, Rhino contest. <laughs> no balance, Tiflas. Just gra grains. Just gain. Gain or grains? <laughs> Are you sure you eat the same thing? I, 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 there's no way. There's no way you can eat the same thing every single day. Same thing. Same food. Eh. Oh, is it the... Okay, then again, my sister ate the same cereal for like a year straight or something. I... 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 <laughs> I... 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 I thought about whether she was human. <laughs> when, she thought, when she told me that, I was like... Hmm... And I was like, do I have an alien <laughs> in my house? <laughs> Norma, the amount of force needed is quite a lot. Oh, okay. So it wasn't my fault. It was a ram's fault that I took like one to two, two hours to, 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 to ram it in. <gasps> I ram in the ram, guys. <gasps> uh, you're gonna take a quick shower, says Ro. You could do. You're just chatting. <laughs> Not only uh, I eat the same thing every single day, I also eat it at the same exact time. I can't tell if Tuflas is trolling me. But Tuflas actually don't really troll me very often. So I don't know if it's... <laughs> I feel like he's not. But maybe that will make him the perfect person to troll me. So what is this 
food that you eat every single day at the at the exact same time then till flask. No contest again. Ramming that ram. <laughs> Hell yeah. Feels okay. It's true. Okay, what you eat? You can share a picture or something. <clears throat> Oh, okay, uh... Finale episode for Paranormal Side. Well, Ro went to shower, right? Uh, I also haven't do my dailies. <laughs> I haven't do my dailies, hmm. <laughs> my dailies for uh Overwatch. Also, for those that are playing uh, Honkai Star Rail, uh, you can pre-download the game, so... Uh, make sure you do that if you want to play it uh, on the day itself. Did I hear Overwatch? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, Overwatch also had dailies eh? Yeah, you're right, but... <laughs> I actually meant Genshin. <laughs> I actually meant Genshin. I'm <laughs> sorry, Tang. <laughs> and I think uh, if I play Overwatch, right? Um, If I play Overwatch, I think I will... Um. I will, I will play it for at least an hour. Oh wait, I think you told me before, Tilflas. 250 grams of chicken breast, 300 grams of potatoes, carrots, and onion. I guess it's balanced though. It's very balanced. Midday snack, a uh, couple of eggs, one and a half slices of uh, bread again. Every single day, at the exact same time. Do you not have plans and then you eat with your friends? Uh, you flask. Then what do you do? You eat, you, you bring, you bring your 250g chicken breast. <laughs> and your 300g potatoes, carrots and onion. Wow, I'm really impressed. Hey, I forgot to do this one, ah. Hey, hey, this one, this one gonna be finished today, is it? Oh shit, it's ending in six hours. I left one more. Okay, okay, we better do this. Okay, uh, quickly, quickly now, let's do this. Um... Hydro, okay, usually I, 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 I see what are the child characters, and then I'll just bring those characters. Like those, uh, at least those elements. Uh, wait, is it normal and charge attack? Okay, it is. Uh, I think I can bring... Yelan. Bing bong, bing bong. Okay, let's go. Oh shit, I have a no hurry, go do! It's ending! Hey, hey, did the Twitch? Hey, can someone help me go check? Uh, Genshin Twitch event, is it over already? I think it's over like... To today or, to or yesterday or something. Eh, hey, oh my god. Sally don't know how to press numbers. Wait, I haven't pressed my E. This event is very fast. Thank goodness. Yeah, I, I did. I did most of it. Uh, I did most of it the uh, the yesterday. So just the last part, last portion here. Sega. You're officially a old man. Why? What happened? What happened? Bury me now. No, Sega, what happened? Today is a bad day. I just... <laughs> oh, I see it now. I see it now. I discovered. Ah, uh, you know? Sega, remember? Remember the other day I said I had, I had, you know? The other day I said I had the white hair and then I was trying to cut that white hair. And all that stuff, and then and then you know what you say that day, Sega. <laughs> I pulled my arm. No, don't pull it. I thought we are we are dressed there. Why you pull? It's got. It's if you keep pulling it, I think you'll grow like two or three more. Don't do it. Just cut it. Hi, Ryan. Hello, Ryan. Do you finish this event already? I. I mean, I'm on the last portion of this event. Hey, the, hey, is the Twitch event is got is finished already? Is it for the for this for this uh patch? 
Just chatting Genshin. Oh shit! You're right. Thank you, thank you. I'll change it in a moment time. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, done. Oh, I don't think we'll kill this guy. So okay, let me just change to Genshin. And also shout out to Sega and shout out to Ryany. Ryany! It's gonna be Dojima in like two weeks. Are you ready for Dojima? It's all your items here. <laughs> you see just that it sounds about right. I mean if it's not too intense, yeah, Genshin is, can be like Oh! Is it the one where the where the murderer is blind? <laughs> Energy recharge, uh, elemental burst, electro, and cryo. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Oh my god, is it a wet event? You know, I used to do I used to do so much of the Genshin wet event. <laughs> and now I don't. <laughs> now I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> um. I'm gonna bring my freeze team for this uh for this one. Mm, which is Shenhe, Gan Yu, and Kokomi. The cock. Hey, wait, they have the hey, they have the the primal constructs though. Mm. Meh! Meh! I'm just gonna go. Teach event usually lasts a few weeks, right? Don't mind me. My items are not here. Oh shit, that's a whole effect. Oh, it's a video. I see. You are brushing your teeth in the mirror and a bright shine in your, in your eyes happen as you look in horror. It's reflecting off. Wow, your little hair and you have... You realize you have grey hair. It's okay. I also have like a piece of white hair. I think like every now and every few months you'll see it grow out. You know, and then you'll see it like flapping. It's like, cause it's like right here or something. Um. Yeah. I, I, I too have white hair, Sage. And I remember what Swega said the other time. <laughs> when I was talking about my white hair. Swega was like, huh? White hair? He say it's most, well, usually it's like, it's, it's not that common. <laughs> I remember what you say, Sega. You may not remember, but I remember. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All, all is good. <laughs> we always okay. I have actually I have uh I have a f actually just one friend right there. I have one friend, right? I have one friend, right, where uh he has quite a lot of white hair and he's like he's my age, uh, he's um he's 26, 26 years old. So like it's not that old. I, I I would say right. It's not all right, guys. <laughs> Whoever says oh, I'm I'm banning you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's also a little bit of genetics. So, some some family uh they have like white hair. Some people they have white hair uh early on. Living in Singapore. Oh, that's true, right? That's a good point. Living in Singapore. Exactly, exactly. On the bright side, you got another kitten today? Wait, another kitten? I didn't even know you had a kitten. Uh, you had like one kitten. Oops, oopsie. Me bad, me bad friend. Wait, oh wait, do you, eh? Have you told us that you have a kitten? Oh my god. There is quite a lot of people with pets. I can't remember. Some people know <laughs> <laughs> no! Ooh. True, true though. Sometimes uh, it's also in the genes. Some people bought like they they become they lose hair like earlier on. I think it happens for guys more than girls. <clears throat> this is a weekly occurrence for you now, says uh Tang. Oh the 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 white hair? Oh that that Tang. I I <laughs> For now, I am monthly occurrence, I think. I, I see the white hair. Then, then, then what do you do, Tang? Do you just leave your white hair alone? Or Tang, do you? Or do you like, cut it? I, I cut mine if I see it. You have three cats now! Nice! So many pussies. Ah, so many kitties. That's nice. 
<laughs> so yeah, I may have mentioned I had two cats. Oh wait, I think you had. I think you had. You had. I just like kind of like forgot. Not sure if I had though. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Send pictures. Where are the pictures? Guys, if y'all are on my uh, Discord, we have the community tab, right? You can, you can start. You know what? No, my, I'll, I'll start. <laughs> I'll start a thread. And I'll, I'll say, send your pet pictures or something. Okay, someone start a thread. And someone start a thread in my Discord community. <laughs> and and can, we, can we send pet pictures? Uh, let's see. This one, they want physical and elemental burst. Oh, it's Eula, isn't it? Okay, okay. I'll bring my own Eula. <laughs> I don't need your Eula. I have my own Eula. Uh, okay, where, where's my Raiden though? Okay, I have my own Raiden. And I'll bring my own Rosaria. My own Eula. And, and I wish my, my Mika is not that strong, level 50. So I'm still going to use Diona. Where's Diona? Ah, here she is. You age gracefully. <laughs> Say his tank. Krogan, you also have white hair. I, I feel like it's quite normal to, to have like a few strengths, right? Even when I was younger, maybe I had like one, two strengths would, would pop up. You watch stream and you got linked to some Genshin Twitch jo jobs? Yeah, uh, Genshin should have like the Twitch event. So um, make sure you claim it because I think there's like four or five uh, drops. Um, uh, you claim it, then you can start accumulating time to get the, the subsequent rewards. I think the final reward is like... It should be... It should be... Uh, Primo gems? Maybe not, not that much, but... But any little bit of Primo gem help? That primo gem might be what you need to pull that last. Oh, don't run away. Bomb. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I see the upcoming schedule from Streamlabs. Thank you, Streamlabs, for reminding me. I haven't decided what to do for the next stream. Because uh, the previous... For the previous uh, stream, I was playing uh, the game called Legend of uh, Sword and Fairy, right? Then, uh... Oh my god, let me kill this guy. Bomb! Bomb! Oh shit, it wasn't enough to kill him. <laughs> wait, 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 let me... Oh no, he has a rock. Oh no, he has a rock. Rock shield and it blocked my... Musou no Hitotachi, dude. Oh my god, can't believe it. Ring fit? No, I don't want... Why ring fit? Technically, I owe Virtuous SJ uh, a ring fit. For those that don't know, uh, ring fit adventure streams are not something I do willingly. You have to, viewers have to redeem it in order for me to do ring fit adventure. It's quite scary how like it's actually quite. <laughs> it's actually like a weekly or bi weekly thing. I don't know how everybody is getting. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you, thank you. I think because I stream for quite like long hours, so so <laughs> it becomes possible to it becomes possible to generate enough uh, heartland funds to redeem it. Oh, they did, they did. Oh, okay, yay! We're done with today's uh with this event. Uh. I don't know how long we would take to finish up the paranormal site uh, today. We also remember just now I asked Ryoni. Uh... <gasps> so, Ryoni, will your items be here on time? Oh my gosh. How about a uh, row to shower as well? I should ask Ro whether she's getting her items on time. I I'm starting to see like um fellow Singaporean um artists. They are participating in Dojima. They are like putting out their their like their oh, what is it called? Ah? Like the, the you know like restaurant has menu, and then the artists they have their the things they are going to sell the merch list or or something. Bro got her prints already. That's good. That's good. Oh, I haven't done my dailies, of course. How about... Okay, she got her prince. Okay, but I think she was never really so uh, too worried about the prince. 
uh, I wonder if she managed to get her acrylic uh, charms printed. Because uh, um, based, based on my one other artist friend, <laughs> they also made like merchandise. Sometimes they make mistakes when they print the acrylic and then it takes longer. I think it was a key change, yeah. Hopefully hers hers uh, hers uh, are fine. Cause uh, if she if she didn't ask for too many like special like special like the spe the order isn't like special special. You know, Cause like, I think my other friend she like request for this request for that. <laughs> and then so 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 sometimes my my might be oh my god I see that they. Lord then uh... Oh wait, let me just send a meteor then. Oh, not enough. You wanna make kitchen too? Wait, Jen! Jen, uh you also <gasps> Jen is also an artist? Jen! You got stream? You got stream your drawing and all that stuff, Jen? Lefty, breasty? Oh, Mata Seiro! It's okay. I, I finish out my dailies. Don't worry. No, 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 never. Oh, okay, okay. Lefty, breasty, when you're... When you're... When, oh, when, when, when your keychains, lefty, breasty. Breasty, don't... Don't shake. <laughs> hey, but you're the, le you're the left one. I'm the extra one. Jen draws nice. <gasps> you need... You need uh, you share, share some of that, some of that love. Lefty breasty, wear your drawings. Oh my god, is this two again? <laughs> Does this quest, ah, uh, you know sometimes like you finish a chain of quests, right? And you get the achievement, right? It sh they should, they should, they should not allow it to, to, uh, to repeat. This, this one, actually no, I, I'm not too sure if I finished this, uh, if I got the achievement for this. Uh oh. Ask for Yuzu's op op opinions. Who's Yuzu? Um But I know the one right where it's the it's the little boy. Ah uh, is this is this little boy, Shota? I keep getting that. And I already got like the achievement for that one. Then I'm like, stop! <laughs> stop! And uh, either that or is the, the person who wants the who needs you to cook, right? Who is it? There'll be like someone walking around here. Is it her? Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's Tang Wen, and then you need to cook for her. You hear your current art style is so inconsistent. Gov? Gov, give me a heart. Thank you, thank you, Gov. How are you, Gov? Your art is also inconsistent. Jen, that should be the least of your worries. <laughs> what do you mean, inconsistent? I don't think Rose one is inconsistent too. So even though Rose says hers is inconsistent, I don't think it's... But I guess the person drawing would, would mind would mind it more. You're doing well, how are you? How was the... Oh, you went to the convention the other day, right? How was the convention, uh, Gaff? I am currently doing dailies in my Genshin. I will be... Oh my god, ask Hello. for... Hello. This mission is called it's called ask for rice rice opinion. Rie Rie's opinion. I thought it was Rose's opinion. <laughs> that was quite funny. But it's actually Rie or Rai or whatever. You went to the com and you searched because you had no money for the waifus. Oh, like you wanted to buy like the uh, uh, the prince or something. Gerald say have a good stream. Thank you so much, Gerald. How's your day, Gerald? Was it fun today? A uh, Rose said, I think I John enough to have my own consistency, but to my own eyes, I see the things that are off. Yeah, the artist always, the drawer always see like, always nitpicks their, their, their drawing. Which is why I say it's the least of anyone's uh, worries. Oh, you wanted to buy some figures, Gav. You saw three figures and you wanted uh, then to tease your friend. Though. No, don't buy figures just to tease your friend. <laughs> Alright, yes, Ro. Ro, I was just asking whether you managed to get your acrylic charms already. You bought Haikawe keys? Nice! Oh my god! It's so like, uh. 
<laughs> That's so cute. But you like doing that? Uh, okay, Garth. I guess to each their own use of their own money. But, uh, but you couldn't do it because you didn't have enough money to... <laughs> See, maybe if you don't do it, you have enough money. Wait, hold on, but... If you don't do it, then you have enough money to do it? Eh? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, chicken and egg problem. The wedding dress zero two. Oh, I know the wedding dress zero two. Uh, I don't watch Darling the Franks, so I wasn't so into it. But the wedding dress zero two is very very nice. I I thought the design was super nice. It was very dynamic. Bro, you say you sent the manufacturer like at the beginning of of this month. They are processing it, but they'll send to you soon. Okay, okay. May the soon be very soon, bro. I want to buy. Right, are you going to Dojima? I am. I'll be going on both days. Which, which, day, which days are you going? Oh, but the first day that I'm going, I'll be going for the later half. Because I have a friend's wedding to attend uh, in the afternoon. So, uh, I think my friend's wedding... Um, I forgot which hotel it was. But it's somewhere near the city, so... So, I will go... Uh, I'll go to Dojima uh, afterwards. And I don't know if I'll be cosplaying on Sunday, so... I haven't tried everything on, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll last minute pussy out. Uh, but I know like, Ro wants to take picture with me. In course or something. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. You're practicing your calligraphy! Uh, see you, Raisa! Yeah! I'm me, you breasty. I'm me, you too, Jen. Which day are you going, Jen? Okay, you do if you are if you are comfy. Okay. Actually, Ken is Ken, uh, cause I cause I, it's not like I'm like a very seasoned uh cosplayer. Cause I think as long as I'm like passable amateur-ish level, <laughs> not too bad. I think it's I think I can I can cosplay, but. Okay, okay, I, I I try. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I have the day off from work, so I I think I try. Hopefully, I don't wake up too late. Hope, then I'll have time to like uh try putting on everything yeah, together. It's not our cause or not. As long as it's you. Oh, look at. Oh, you can make me shy, bro. <laughs> so guys, I'm sorry I was away for a moment. My little girl just did. Oh, just did her first poop. Did she do it at the correct place? Oh, oh, oh my god. Did she do it at the correct place, uh, Swega? Oh my god, I just realized when you say your little girl, it almost sounds like you have a child. But you're talking about your kitty cat. Hey, 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 why are you going backwards? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. It was an impressive size. Oh, she must have been like holding it in for a for a bit, Sega. Uh, wonder where she was hiding that. I did. She ate a lot. Um, I mean, when they just started adjusting, maybe they're a little bit stressed, you know. So they might they might constipate themselves a little bit. But I'm glad she passed. Uh, emotion and a lot of it. So and as long as it's not like runny or something, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Rose says, I need to style my wigs. <laughs> oh my god, I can't imagine. I think I think our oh, this wig is oh, is gonna be crazy to style. <laughs> At least my mine is uh, so if I if I am cosplaying it'll be Amber uh if, from Genshin Impact. It's uh I think that's way less things to, to style. There isn't much like spice and everything, you know? Wait, where is the Oh my god, my brain is not working. It's just right here. Oh my god. <laughs> and see, I'm pain. You put her and she started going crazy, digging a big hole. Mm. She's been doing really well at like... At like it's always been her place. Nice, nice. Not like your other girl. She didn't leave her cage. Ah, yeah, different... I can imagine. Different... Different... Uh... 
different cats, different behavior, you know. Uh, different. I mean, it actually goes for all living things. My other girl is not uh, very happy about the situation. Keep hissing at the kitten. <gasps> Hopefully they don't fight. Hopefully they don't fight Sega. But uh, my boy loves her. Nice. Okay, okay. Hopefully, hopefully your other girl will, will come to, come to. Being uh friends with the with the new uh female kitty. Hmm, I think I have a lot of resins. Oh my god, I just remember I haven't cleared my artifact back, I think. So, I'll probably hit... I'll probably hit the, uh, limit. <clears throat> Let me see. NC! You better be win winning in your Apex, NC. <laughs> Wait, did I, did I shout out to NC already? I think I did, right? Did I? Oh my god, can I not remember? Embro Pangse! Exactly. Okay, let me just give a shout out. Doesn't hurt. Uh. Oh my god, the, the thingy was lagging. There's so many things happening. Let me drink some water. Okay, I just need to clear this domain like three times. Um. You posted some pictures in this card? Okay! I will take a look right after this, uh... Right after this, uh... Domain fight. Thank you for the hydrate! Hello, Naruto! Hi, you, Naruto! Been busy? Let me guess, exams, right? I hope your exam is over. Thank you, I'll hydrate now. Thank you, thank you! Mm. Intern when I got exam? Oh shots! Oh you're interning now. I was so sure that it will be exams cause um it's the is the exam period. Oh no, I might have wasted my burst, but it's okay. Okay, let me go see my Discord right this moment. Is it all the three kitties? <gasps> okay, you definitely did not show me your cats before, Sega. This is the first time I see your cats. Um Oh my god, you have the you have the um the hairless cats. Oh, Oh they look so comfy. Your first daughter is angry about the situation. Wait, they're hairless cats, right? What 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 are they what are their uh breed name? You definitely did not show up. I would 100% remember if you have like hairless cats because they're not, they're not very, uh, they're not super common. I'm very heartbroken, you forget. Uh, now that I think about it, you, I think you did tell me you were interning. I'm so sorry, Naruto. How's an interning then? Spins, spins, yeah, 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 spins, spins. Um, wait, do you have, oh my god, wait, I, I, did you tell me that you are allergic to, um, to, uh, to, like, uh, animal fur? I think I once talked about it, like, how, like, people who are allergic to, like, uh, animal fur, they can opt for, like, naked mole rats or, like, spins and, and all that stuff. Oh, I forgot to put my shield, huh? Hopefully I don't die. Okay, after this, I put my shield. No, no, no. Their scarf is so cute. Yeah. Did they get cold uh, in the in the winter? Then they have to wear clothes. You're not allergic to anything. Ah, that's great. That's great. I don't think I I don't think I'm particularly allergic to anything as well. Don't like I realize like or maybe because of the I have a little bit. I suddenly have like eczema on like my hands right um 
when I eat seafood, right, and then like let's say I am deproning a prawn, right? I'm deproning a prawn. Uh, I get, oh my god, artifact inventory. Um, my hand will itch a lot when I like deproning the prawn. So I don't know if I'm allergic to the to to like the seafood. But I can eat them. I can eat them no problem. Miss you. Hello, Moti Huan. The promise is a, is, a, is a vibe. Does anybody have the ability to... To... To deprawn a prawn without using their hands? So you allergic to certain materials on, on your skin. Chili sauce on your skin is yikes, but I eat it no problem. Oh, I think... Okay, but, but, um... For, like, chili sauce, right? It makes sense if your skin gets, like, irritated by spice. Because, uh, spice is a sense of touch. It's not a sense of taste. That's why, if you... Let's say, if you add chili padi to your bath water and you bathe in it, you'll probably come out all irritated and red. I can deprom without hands. Oh my god, that's incredible skills, thing. I I cannot. I always beg other people to help me deprom. You know, I deprom. I deprom then, right? And then I hurry. I hurry to the to the sink af after that. Cause my hand will itch. Oh, I, I guess another way is to wear gloves. You can use a fork and spoon, but if it's not fresh, then it's a bit hard. Ah, okay. Yeah, cause the uh, fresh prawns they won't uh stick to the to the to the shell as much. But if it's not fresh, then then it might be yeah the the, the flesh would be sticking onto the the flesh would be sticking onto the shell. I understand you're allergic to uh fish, but not allergic to seafood. Uh, you're allergic to fish, but not allergic to expensive seafood like like lobsters and crabs. Wow, Morty Juan. I guess you could say. That <laughs> your skin has expensive taste. It doesn't like the cheap cheap fish, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute! I just realized I've been doing this domain. I thought this was Daya domain. Ah, oh, shucks, but it's okay. I, it's fine. You need a big brain, right? You emoji. <laughs> okay, I'll write that down. I actually did like thought of that. Big brain right emoji. I, I I you know I haven't done like um I haven't done emotes for a while. So even if I have like if I make too much emo uh emotes right, it is okay because I can just put them um in Discord. Or or from time to time maybe I'll rotate the emotes on, on Twitch. But yeah, but I haven't been doing the emotes. We we I still haven't done the animated emote. I, I think I sort of decided on the animated emote. The the last animated emote will likely be uh, uh Raiha squats. Because I squat a lot because of Ring Fit Adventure. <laughs> and sometimes y'all make me do squats. So so yeah. Uh let me go condense everything. And then we can go into paranormal side. Boyfriend job to the de prawn for you. Uh, I mean, my <laughs> my my friends tell me the prawn for for me. I don't think I need a. It has to be a boyfriend. And my sister sometimes dis the prawn for me. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sisters and friends. Subconsciously farming for cave. <laughs> That's true. Do I even have a cave artifacts? I I don't even know. Thank you, okay, uh, for the hydrate, thank you. No horror stream, not yet, not yet. We are going into it uh, now. Mm -mm. Thank you for the hydrate. Uh, me has hydrated, me has hydrated. <sighs> I, yeah, I don't, actually, I don't even know what cover in it. HP? Is it the, is it just a standard one? And then HP sense or something. That is, does he skill with HP? Okay, you're bad to uh Chong uh already. Oh, oh, you're bad. You're gonna go Chong Liang, which is a shower. Have a nice shower. Have a nice shower, lefty breasty. You don't know if you should go for Ian Goblet or Dendro Goblet. Ah, oh, okay. 
You have your Kaveh artifact. It's on Toma now. Um, and now your Toma Sally has a more EN than your Kasuha. <laughs> you see. Oh shit, okay. Par I can't, it's hard to set the game to Paranormal Site from here. I need to do it on the screen manager. Because Paranormal Site, the game is like really long. I I'm not gonna type the whole thing. It's like Paranormal Site. P wait. It's paranormal site seven mysteries of Honjo or something. And no way I'm gonna type the whole thing. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes the string manager is a bit wonky as well. Oh yeah, paranormal site colon space the seven mysteries of Honjo. <laughs> oh oh Oh, you went to shower your bag. Welcome back. Oh my god, you shower so fast. Ro as well, actually. Ro and Jen, you shower so fast. You don't know? Okay, wait. K, you say, actually, it's so nice. She compiled an Excel sheet. Oh, of what artifact says to look out for. Oh, that's so sweet. Also, Sega, thank you for sharing the cat pictures. I, I love it. Wait, but where's the new, the, where's the new, the new, the new kitty then? Is it, is it also another Svins? Uh, Swagga. <laughs> you went to shower, you went to Chong Liang from the time you said you, you, uh, wait. No, I, I Chong Liang from the time I said I beg. Help. Wait, what? I'm back, I went to Chong Liang. Wait, you went to Chong Liang when you said I beg. Eh? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> but oh, oh, you finish, you finish, you finish. <laughs> the one with the black nose. Oh, okay, I see. It. Oh, okay, I can see it. So the the I'm guessing the boy is the is the one with the blue scarf. Wait, is it? Yeah, the the boy has the blue scarf. The black nose one is the new one. The the one with the bigger patch of black nose. Then the the one with like a black mouth and with and little bit of a black on its nose tip, that's the first daughter. You can take longer on your hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh I see you roll, you're right. <laughs> you can take longer on your hair than I probably would on my own hair. That's true. It's <laughs> a good point. <laughs> My hair's are, my hair's a little bit longer. <laughs> First daughter is smacking me, say Swaga, asking why she needs to share her biscuits. <sighs> I guess she has to get used to things, uh, Swaga. Oh, oh my god, what's... <laughs> I transited the thing without letting y'all see the transition. Oops, okay, here we go. Paranormal side. Combs! Hello, Combs! I chopped four inches of, of my hair. You say, what? Four inches is a lot, eh? Let me give Combs a shout out. Four inches, ah? Uh. Four inches is. Oh my god. What? Four inches is a lot, eh? Did, 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 did something. Oh my god, you, are you about to rap? <laughs> four inches is like... Oh my god, four inches is a lot. Now the screen clip, oh it's good. Oh, 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 you're getting punched! Hey, I died. Oh, you didn't die? I died. I freaking died. <laughs> I like how you have tape on hand, it's very, very useful. Very, very useful to have tape on hand. Right breasty, no way! Yeah, left breasty, right breasty, both are here. <laughs> I'm the extra breasty. So yeah, you say, uh, Kita is so spoiled. I'm feeding her while she's in bed. Oh. She's a princess, she's a princess. I have a take on hand too, it's super useful. Because when you go shopping or what, then you say, oh, the bag is like 30 cm by like 40 cm or something. And you'll be like, shrimp, and then you, you, you take a look. <laughs> How big it is. Oh, they say, you know, like the clothes, they say, oh, around the waist is like what? 80 cm or something. And then you'll be like, oh, okay, shroom. Time to measure. <laughs> oh, when you impulsively buy cosplay. Oh. 
I think not just for like curls, like for a lot of things actually, it's good to have a measuring tape. Okay, you're gonna go luck because it's a horror. It's not that bad, okay, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for the luck, okay, thank you, thank you. The only time I use a measuring tape is during lab sessions. If you, yeah, if you get a, you should try having a measuring tape nearby. It's very, very useful. Event, says Akimori. Wait, event? What thing, what thing event, Akimori? And hello, Akimori! How are you, Akimori? I made Meda is my measuring uh, tape. Your Meda? I asked her anything, she also uh, need no. Oh, mother! My mother! <laughs> your mother is your measuring tape, I see. Okay, anyways. Welcome to the last, uh, last, last stream of Paranormal Sight. The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. We should be finishing this game today. Uh, I will do a little recap as usual. Sorry for those that already know what is happening, but it will be good if I do a little bit of a recap. Um, for those that are seeing this game for the first time, uh, this game is, a. Uh, Mystery, supernatural, suspense, horror, some jump scares here and there. Um, it's mostly reading. Sometimes you can choose the options. I would say it's like a point and click visual novel game as well. Uh, we are at the end of the story, so I think yeah, it's. It, I think it's gonna get exciting. Um, we for, as you can see, we follow a few different characters. Um, Shogo Okie was the first guy that we followed, and we haven't seen him since. Uh, in this story, in this pair, uh, in this timeline, he's dead, so you can kind of just ignore Shogo Okie. Then we are following, we are following this one, two, three, four. These four people are still alive. We have the MILF, the mom. Uh, this is okay. Wait, hold on. Before I talk about talk about the individual characters, um. So this game is about the seven mysteries. Well, they call it the seven mysteries, but there's actually nine. So, so um, basically, uh, you can get a curse stone and and you can kill people with a curse uh, with a curse stone. And why do you want to kill people? If you kill enough people, you can resurrect someone that you like. So that's that's kind of the gist. And then different and different nice uh, different curses have different conditions. So like for this curse, uh okay wait, this one is a bit complicated. Let's see, the evergreen bitch, right? Uh this one kills people if they try to lie to you. So if they lie to you, you can activate the curse. And then you they'll die. And then this one, it kills people if they're holding like a fire starting device or, or something. So that's the gist of it. And people want to kill and collect enough soul dress. If you kill fellow, fellow custom uh, barrels, right, you get more soul dress. So if you collect enough soul dress, uh, you get to resurrect someone. So that's the motivation uh, for a lot of them. For at least... Almost three of them. Well, Haru and Shigima, she's a mother and then she recently lost her son. So she's working with this de detective and she wants to steal she wants to steal uh, a curse stone or buy a curse stone that has enough soul dress. But she also has her own, so she could technically kill people as well. Uh, but the detective was saying, the detective was like, oh, if you kill people, I'm not helping you. That's why she's refraining from killing. She wants to steal the stones. Then Tetsuo Tsutsumi, this one is the police be the route. The Tetsuo Tsutsumi has the most curse stones right now because he managed to confiscate a few curse stones from some people and then we uh in the previous stream we did we covered a lot on the high school girls the high school girls it is about yako sakazaki and then there's this girl you can vaguely see her she's a psychic this girl is mio um they were investigating why their friend uh michio michio is the is this braided hair girl why she's suicided so um we kind of resolve everything for the school girls route and then like uh to sum it up um little bit of spoiler a little bit of spoiler uh to sum it up michio michio was possessing yako and using yako's curse stone to kill people 
but we, we sort of resolved everything and we managed to send Michio is can rest in peace now and we send her away we sent her to the to 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 pass over it what is it to cross over yeah and then the last character to join us on the on the last stream oh well, yeah the last stream was a pre the last paranormal site for stream was the first time i see this mayu chozawa her husband is a police officer that died before this whole event it's also why the police officers were investigating this because they have a police officer, officer friend that passed away so this is the wife Wait, is she the wife? No, she's a fiance. Fiance? Fiance. She got kidnapped. And her kidnapper are like this very, very sketchy big uh big cooperation called uh Kihaku Soaps. If I can find them. Kihaku Soaps. Yeah. Which is uh which is ran by the the CEO of Kihaku Soaps is can I, where, where do I find? Oh, is it person of interest? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, where is her name? Aya? No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there, there is Ayame and Yutaro. These two univers university students are also. We will find out more about them today. To, today. Uh, okay, but Hihaku Soaps, right? Uh, the CEO is. Where's Takumi? Uh, no, 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 yeah, the CEO is this old lady and she's, she's, she's very interested in like resurrection and preserving of youth. So she's making, she's making her henchmen <laughs> do find out things about this uh ritual and everything. Spoilers, why you sent her to the shadow realm? This game looks cool. Yeah, so, okay, I sort of like have a brief summary for everything. And then like right now where we are for the police officers, they are catching, they're trying to catch uh they're trying to catch the Nejima killer. This is Nejima killer when he was young. Right now he looks like this. Makoto Ashimiya. They're trying to catch this guy. Uh he wants to do a massacre. He's also a custom bearer. Uh he's gonna do a massacre. So they are trying to stop him from massacring everybody. Uh then I don't know what's happening for the girls. But yeah, let's without further ado, we'll find out whether the police officers managed to catch the Najima. Having learned the location of Najima's hideout from Michio, Tsutsumi and Ariel request backup from HQ for Najima's arrest as their manhunt picks picks up speed. <laughs> and Sega, thank you for the luck! Sleepy time for you. I see. Night night, Sega! Rest well. Thank you, thank you for the luck. From HQ to all Burias. Officers have discovered the residence of a parole offender, Fumichika Nejima, currently wanted under suspicion of criminal threat. Is it very loud? Okay, I think it's okay. Suspect escaped his sus the suspect escapes his residence prior to officers' uh, arrival and is now at large in Sumida City. Suspect is thought to be fleeing on foot. All Burias are instructed to pursue, ensuring that he does not take refuge indoors. Time to see if the girl is his daughter. Oh yes! Probably is. <laughs> Furthermore, Suspect is believed to possess a weapon capable of ca uh, causing large-scale casualties. <gasps> All officers are instructed to exercise extreme caution in their pursuit, remaining vigilant for signs of explosives and poison gas. So the, so the Najima killer uh, that they're trying to catch, he has the one-sided read. We know which uh, curse stone he has. This one, it should be this, this one. But we have, we do not know what is his condition to 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 activate it. So we need to be careful. The former Yasuda Gardens. Sorry boss, I tracked down Najima's safe house, but he laid it just before we got there. Not your fault. We should have known he'll be on the lookout for us. We've got officers all over town. It's only a matter of time before we beg him. I love the music. So, boss, what are we doing here anyway? 
I figured Nejima might show the Call it a hunch, but he used this place as a hideout 20 years ago. Fair enough, but will he even remember it after so long? The rest of the towns is crawling with police, but there's practically no one here. We've been running ourselves ragged all day. It's nice to finally stop and catch our breath. <laughs> Akimori, why are you doing a sad trumpet? Remember that mug shot of Nejima we circulated? I think it was from when he got out on parole, but except for a few wrinkles, he looked just like he did 20 years ago. Yeah, no idea how he kept out that weight on a prison diet. It's a stroke of luck though, isn't it? It means you'll be easy to spot. See, there's something bothering me about that. We've got every officer in the area looking for him, but no one see a damn thing. Wait, wait a minute. I thought they established that this guy is Nejima killer. He doesn't look anything like this. Huh? No, but they, I'm very sure they established that Makoto Ashimiya is the suspect. Huh, okay, okay. Let's just play and see what how things unfold. Which makes me wonder, what if we're looking for the wrong face? You mean he slimmed down, but it's only half a year since he made parole. Could he really have lost that much weight in just six months? Well, he must look different enough that no one recognized him when he started working in Komagata High. Oh, he did. He did slim down. Good point. But that means the photo we've got is useless. I know we didn't see anyone when we looked around before, but maybe we should check again. <laughs> Don't bother. It's only a few minutes. Let's take a second to sit and think. Hey, hey boss. Break time it is. Oh, I changed my I changed my shirt, boss. No need for a bio check. <laughs> the hell? Why would I be trying to sniff your pit stink? Wait, is that not what you were doing? <laughs> Don't know where you got that idea, but you can put it right back where it came from. I'll get you in the mood for a good week someday. Boss, I'll stick my career on it. Hell no. Not even for your career. <laughs> Ariel kill his horror game. Uh I won't say it's that much horror, but there might be some jump scares here and there. Uh, we're supposed to take a seat, is it? Huh? Hey, boss. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello, Soft Toothbrush. How are you? Oh, that's a, such a cute emo you have. By Lutz. Lutz. This is so cute. Is it a doggo or is it a bear? I think it's a doggo. What the hell? Is he okay? Ah, uh, he's stupid and smart <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Ariel. Hello, Hong Jump. Bro, make a good point. Yeah, Ariel, Ariel cute. Huh? H hey, boss. Hmm? I think I hear something coming from those bushes over there. And how are you, Hong Jump? Hey boss, hello Bunny Plot, how are you Bunny Plot? How's everybody Sunday? I keep thinking today's Saturday because I think I know work tomorrow, so it feels like Saturday. Hello boss, hello Risky! Okay, before... Okay, sorry guys, before I lie, um... I think it might, it might, it might get exciting. So let me do the shoutouts here. Risky, how are you Risky? Long time no see, yeah exactly! Soft toothbrush as well. How are you, soft toothbrush? How's everybody Sunday? Let me drink some water as well. Thank, thank you. No problem, Hamdra. Been busy yourself? Um, I think my busy period was around uh March. March I was very busy. Uh, now it's much better. And um, next week, next Friday, I'll be going to Thailand. I'll be going to Thailand next Friday. Recently you heart me? Thank you for the heart. Lock me inside the mod basement. T underscore T. I have been trying to find. <laughs> I've I been just trying to find. <laughs> oh my I god, was that? Wait, okay. T underscore T. Oh, it's small, small <laughs> only. Okay, I think I remember this clip. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome in. For those that just came in, I'm playing a game called Paranormal Side. Uh, it is the last... This will be the last uh, stream for Paranormal Side because I think we'll be ending everything today. We'll be reaching the end of the game uh, today. Uh, right now, the police we are following police officers. They are, they are trying to catch this guy, this uh, murderer. 
uh, this game is also like a bit of supernatural. So if you see like ghosts or anything, uh, yeah, there is that. <laughs> <laughs> and people will use cursors to kill uh, each other. I I, I don't I don't know if we, anybody will die. Do you think anybody will die? Do you, do you all think anybody will die? Who do you think will survive? Who do you think will will part will 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 get killed? Ariel says, I think I hear something coming from those bushes over there. You sure it ain't the wind? Hello, hello, is anybody there? Oh, <gasps> well, I'll be damned. Hey, you, let me ask you something. And how can I help you to find Jens? This is him. This is the killer. But they... Oh, they never met the janitor before. They never met the janitor before. So even if they thought that the janitor is the killer, they might not have seen him before, I think. <gasps> yeah, because he didn't take his... He, nobody has photos of him. Okay, uh, hopefully they find out that this guy was... Because this is how this guy looked like uh, a long time ago when he got arrested. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I'm just hard risky. Oh, this guy's gonna die. <laughs> Say it's risky. Oh no. Huh. Do I know you? I could swear I've seen you somewhere before. Fred, you ain't gonna charm anyone with that tired old line, sir. Not even this old timer. Playing hard to get. <laughs> My mistake. Anyways, what's your business here? <gasps> Shit, he's really, he really don't know. Just enjoying a moment to myself since I got the day off. I like it here. It's peaceful. We're looking for someone. Mind if we ask you some questions? Sounds like a lucky man, sir, to have a strapping gent like yourself after him. This one's business, not pleasure. I've dedicated my life to putting this guy behind bars. You can say that again, boss. Boss, boss put in so many hours, even his wife... <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Even his wife and kid laughing. Oi! <laughs> this got that Ariel. <laughs> Enough, Ariel. You're setting off. Sorry to hear that, sir. But if you're glad then like that all day, I can't say I blame then. <laughs> oh, that's it. The guy after used to laugh just like that. You sure you haven't seen him? Oh no, sir. Don't know anyone like that, sir. But with a laugh like that, he must be bad to the bone. It's a nasty piece of work, alright? But maybe he can still do the right thing. <laughs> you like to think so, eh? Ariel? Oh shit, he, okay, he knows. Is it? Ah! As expected from a veteran cop. Oh my god. Oh, I was so worried he won't know. Ariel is my kind of an idiot. <laughs> Ariel, call for backup. Huh? You mean that's him? Crap. Crap, he's running away! Wait! I'll go after him. You get back up. Okay, I'm on it! This means a car. I thought he was Yakuza. He does look like... <laughs> he does look like he could be part of the Yakuza. From HQ to Arburius. Suspect has been sighted in the former Yasuda Gardens and is fleeing towards Komagata Bridge. Ariel! Go the long way around. We'll trap him. We'll trap him on the bridge. Got it! My Tsumi went ahead and they uh, and say they got the same laugh. Shake my head! <laughs> Give it up, Najima! I think they are not worried about like King running away, uh making his escape, but because they have a lot of people on this case, but I don't know. Are they... Is he, is he being a little bit too cocky? Then he could have just left him be and then get him. Yeah, he could have like gotten close and then just like handcuff him and all like pin him down, right? You're surrounded. There's no way out. Hey now, you're really gonna pull that thing on poor old me? 
When did the boys in blue get so trigger happy around I'm un I'm armed civilians? I'm armed my ass. We know what the curse you're packing is capable of. But we also know you can't do shit in daylight, so give it up and come quietly. Oh my god! <laughs> can't do shit in daylight, eh? What do you think I am? Some third rate amateur? I'm a goddamn black magician. No way! Can, can, can black magic really do that? <laughs> like hell, you can. Just pulling that out of his ass. Black magic is from the West, and these curses are Japanese. They don't have anything to do with each other. Besides, if he could use curses while the sun was up, he wouldn't have given us till, till dusk. Oh, nice of you to take me and my word on that. Now that you is out of the picture, I'm shit out of options. <laughs> Good to know. Sounds like it won't take much to get you to give up. Careful now. I might just be desperate enough to try something. It's gonna jump, isn't he? And that kid over there might just be desperate enough to shoot. Why is that one of the requirements? Because drama for his curse stone. Have a crowd of more than some number of people. Oh my god, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh shit, I think I think ring too risky. Can they just arrest him? Stop letting him talk! Never let the bad guy talk! Just arrest him! <laughs> don't let him explain! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Technically he's arm armed, so I don't know. Bit of a wild card, huh? Oh they have police there as well. There you see, like police. Oh yeah, they have police everywhere. <sighs> he might jump into the river, I feel. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But first you gotta put that thing away. I can't think straight with a gun in my face. <laughs> Not a chance, bitch! <laughs> Not a chance. If you got something to say, then just say it. Your buddy's hands are shaking. If he squeezes the trigger a bit too hard, I'm done for. Makes things more exciting, don't you think? You two have lost your effing minds. <sighs> what does his stone do again? I don't know, Ro, I don't know. I just know that people who are killed by his stone, they get their arms and their, their legs cut. Uh, I can show you. Because the stone is the one-sided read. The story of the stone is that the stalker... The, the girl wouldn't return the love of this stalker. Then the stalker killed the girl. He, and he cut off the arm and leg off one side of her body. And then threw her into the canal. So people who are killed by this uh, curse, they have one side of their body cut. <laughs> Why should... Everyone just shoot! <laughs> Why should this is a bad idea too? <laughs> Why if you load that here? Oh my god, I don't know. I, I have a bad feeling. That massacre you told me about on the phone. Did you mean it? Every word, don't you worry. Soon you have the case of a lifetime. Oh yeah? And how you are gonna pull it off? <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you, dumbass. I'll give you one thing for free. I never had to wait till sundown. I just wanted to make sure you really hate me for this. Pretty sure I hate you plenty already. That ain't shit. I need more hatred out of you. More. More. More! Needy son of a bitch, ain't ya? Oh, I'm not done. Just wait till you see what I've got in store. For what you really care about. You should be quaking your effing boots. That's not gonna happen. She's got enough to worry about without your sorry ass getting in her hair. <gasps> what? He has an accomplice! Talking soon later. What the requirement is because we he killed Mio alone in the school. He did. Yeah, he didn't kill Mio alone. <laughs> now that's more like it. That's the face I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. I'm a man of my word, as you are about to find out. You have the curse stone for the one- You have the curse stone for the one-sided read. Cause I do, take a look. That's it, alright. Whoops, better put it somewhere safe. Wouldn't want something to happen to it. 
How did you find out about the cursed stones? They don't have anything to do with black magic. Someone else turned you onto them, didn't they? That puffed up teacher Arai Araishi couldn't shut up about them. He's desperate for a chance to flaunt his smarts, so all I had to do was add impress. That still doesn't explain how you learn so much so fast. Curses and black magic ain't as different as you seem to think. As far as I'm concerned, they're just, they're just two ways of harnessing paranormal powers. You sure that there isn't more to it? Hello? Hello, Fro! How are you, Fro? <laughs> All that matters is whether that power is the real deal. Dude, in Thai has a broom for the hair. Wait, this one? How is this a broom? Or is it Ariel? And this curse is very real. Very real, as you well know. <laughs> Jokes on you, Najima. Don't you know the one side I read is a fake dropped in the ink with the rest? Oh, give it a rest! I've tested it myself. You use that thing on people? Son of a bitch. When something this special falls into your lap, you gotta take it for a spin. I'm just good at covering my tracks. Good enough not to get caught, at least. <laughs> Let me guess, you're back to your old tricks. Attacking, attacking school girls in the middle of the night. Ah, so you know about that, huh? Oh, so Mio did, did fight. While, one, while the brats pulled out a fight, bought enough time for the other one to get away, so I went ahead and called it quits. Sounds like your curse is a real pain to set off. Nah, I had that sorted way beforehand, but she put some kind of spirit bullshit on me. I would have gotten there, the little bitch eventually. I just didn't have the time. Way beforehand, huh? Interesting. If you think puzzling out my curse is gonna help, don't bother. Why not? Because you won't be able to do shit about it anyway, either way. I'll let you in on a secret. Oh my god! I could I could fuck out a good a few hundred people right now if I wanted to. A few hundred? Yeah, now you're getting it. I could kill any one of them at any time. Then I guess we've got ourselves a situation. You're telling me your curse can kill people you can't even see? Seems a bit unfair. If you really can do that, why would you even bother showing up in person last night? I want to make sure the curse work, and I figure I'll need to clean up after. <coughs> yeah, yeah, seriously got your curse lock onto several hundred people. Just one hell of a curse stone you're packing. These things sure ain't made equal. And of course you got the nasty one. Of all the shitty luck. <laughs> I thought I thought I put a good one. Toad? By who? Whoops! I said too much! <laughs> I knew it. Someone fetched you all this info. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, wait, this is a repeated. Okay. What's it been? What's it been, Najima? 20 years ago you've been studying black magic. And now you're just giving it all up for Eastern curses? I didn't have you down for a cheater. Hey now. Black magic screwed me over first. You can't blame a man for going with the girl who can meet his needs. Screwed you over? How? Because your resurrection ritual didn't work? That was the real point of the murders, wasn't it? Must have been rough, putting in all that work for no payoff. Imagine my surprise when I finally found out what you were really after. So, uh, in the past, when he was killing people when he was young, he was doing it for black magic. And it seemed like he also wanted to resurrect someone. Even before he's a Hihaku, uh, uh, so people giving it to him. I won't be surprised if it was Hihaku. So now you're trying again with the right of resurrection. Taking the chance to spit in my eye while you do it. Tell me, Najima. Who is it you want to resurrect so damn bad? Who is it 
you've spent 20 years chasing. Is the mother of that ba baby ain't it? Uh oh. Ooh, we, we are getting some. We're uh, getting somewhere. You had a partner. And though you never put a ring on her, the two of you had a kid. But then she died. Maybe she got sick. Maybe she got into an accident. But either way, she left you and the kid all alone in the world. Tell me I'm wrong, Nejima. It's her you're trying to bring back, isn't it? I seem to for myself just how many folks are pinning their hopes on this rite of resurrection. And I can tell you this, it ain't natural. And it ain't gonna lead to anything good. So, if all you ever needed was someone to help you deal with the pain, then... Ooh, that's scary! <laughs> oh no, maybe it's the trigger! Shrike on her! The, out, the, uh, the outfit today on stream? What outfit am I wearing? <laughs> oh, it's my- I mean, it's my usual tank top. <laughs> Roche! Hello, Roche! Maybe it's a trigger, he's gonna add Matt then. There we go. Oh no, what was that sound? <laughs> God, you're so fucking stupid. Huh. Is that really what you think? That's hilarious. You don't know a goddamn thing. What? Damn. Damn it. For a second there, I really thought you were gonna talk King down, boss. Listen up, chum. I'll tell you what really happened 20 years ago. What? What really happened? You got half of it right. I did have a loving girl back once, sweet as could be. She knows she knows what she went by, though I couldn't tell you if that was her real name. Don't know where she came from either. She traveled, I think. Might have been an angel for all I know. She sure seemed like one to me. But then she got sick, and just like that, she was gone. My guess is that it was a pollution, but I never knew for sure. Couldn't afford a decent doctor. My life after that was a living hell. Until I found this grimoire in an old bookstore. A grimoire, huh? It told of a resurrection ritual, black magic that could bring Shino back. So I was right. Not exactly, see? Who said the ritual didn't work? You said it yourself, black magic screwed you over. Oh, it screwed me alright. But it worked just fine. What's that supposed to mean? See, the ritual doesn't bring the person back as they were when they died. <gasps> it's more like reincarnation. Rebirth. <gasps> I got wrong was right the other time. The baby did get what came from a resurrection. Oh, she the baby. Rebirth? Wait. Oh no, hell no. You mean that baby? Damn right, the resurrection ritual brought Shino back to me as a fucking baby. You've got to be kidding me. You're telling me that wasn't her kid, that was her? In the flesh? <laughs> That's <scary> again. <laughs> the hell I am, that little brat was not my Shino. Her mind was gone, she was totally helpless, she didn't even know who I was. Her warm arms, her gentle voice, gone, gone, gone! There wasn't a goddamn thing left of her. What the hell did you expect? She was a baby. If you really care about her, you would have grown some balls and acted like a father. Fuck that. I snatched sacrifices off the street for her, chopped them to pieces for her, and that's what I get? A screaming little bundle of shit and piss? That wasn't my she, no. Give me back her softness, give me back her warmth, give her back to me! So you just left the baby to die? I knew you were scum, but you really are the lowest of the low. Look me in the eye and tell me that if your wife turned into a baby, you'll love her just the same. How could I do that when I couldn't even be sure it was really her? Yeah, yeah, I get it. 
I can eat a human garbage, but who doesn't care about anyone but himself? So now, so now you're going after the rite of resurrection in the hopes you get luckier this time. Luck doesn't come into it. The rite really works. That's proof. And what happens if you get the same results? If your Shino comes back as a baby again? Shut up! Don't you put that lie in my head. It will work this time. It has to! And hello, Calvi! Huh? Ayo, over dramatic music. Oh, that's quite messed up. Wait, holy shit, wait. There are a lot of things updated. Wait, let me see. Okay, wait. Uh, think the thing, the... He was especially fond of boots and enjoyed visiting uh boot stores in Kanda to search for foreign boots. And he became into... He... he, he he became, uh, he got into Western black magic. And then, uh, still single after 30, Fumichika tried performing a black magic ritual to summon a partner. Soon after, he met a woman who called herself Shino. Though her real name remains unknown, Shino had left her hometown in the countryside where she had no family or work to support her. When she met Fumichika, she was haggard and on the verge of salvation. Or starvation. Starvation. Fumichika, who felt a connection with Shino due to the ritual, decided to take her into his home and let her live there. Both of them having lived alone for most of their lives, the two turned out to be a perfect match. Shino gradually recovered, but was still not strong enough to work. So wait, so Fumichika was by no means a skilled businessman. Their lives were far from financially secure, but Shino, who had experienced wartime Japan, was simply content to have food on the table to eat every day. Okay, that's nice. Then she, her condition took a turn for the worse, and then she passed away. Resorted to using black magic to heal her. However, it was of no use and she passed away at their home. Final words were, I'm sorry, I must go first. I'll leave the rest to you. Fumichika plunged into intense dark despair. He drank and ate everything he could to distract himself, which caused him to rapidly gain weight. After a while, when he was finally, finally able to walk around town once more, found himself drawn to an antique bookstore. Then he went through black magic, dismembered and sacrificed a young woman. Uh, to to try to resurrect Shino. Embrace a uh, Grimoire, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, he repeated this process four times in total. Each time he dismembered the body into small pieces, dumped them into the filthy Sumida River where they were never found. While cleaning up after his fourth kill, a disappointed Fumichika noticed an em emaciated baby nearby. Could it have been Shino? Meanwhile, Ariel's there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't swear very often, so my <laughs> my swearing might not be on point. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm true with black magic. Is that why you gave your grimoire to EY? I figured he could use it. I put a lot of work into getting him to believe that sort of stuff. Fine then, keep your mouth shut. But I do know one thing. All that about being able to use your curse during the day is bullshit. Just a bluff. Huh. <laughs> is that what you think? Your back's to the wall and you still haven't used your curse. If you, if you really could pull the plug at any time, you would have done it by now. <laughs> now that's the Tsutsumi I know. Fine, I admit, I admit it. It's exactly like you said. If I could have used my curse, I would have. So I did. Oh no! He did say that he used his curse prior to the killing. Like, he, he tried to kill the... He tried to kill the Mio... So he was, he used it already. But Mew still managed to escape. Oh, so I don't know, I don't know what's his condition. Uh, huh? There should be a few new corpses around the around the city right about now. You sure you you sure you should be pointing guns at me when people are dying across the city? What? When did you? Hey, Ariel! Get someone to check that out. Just don't take your eyes off Nejima. Hey, hey boss! 
Hey, I need someone over here. Yeah, that's right. Get to earning that paycheck. If you don't see it to them soon, there'll be plenty more on the way. However, however will you get out of this mess? The longer you keep me here, the more people die. There's blood on your hands. Bullshit. You're bluffing. Think what you like. You'll see soon enough. Everyone hand tired. Yeah, he's been holding it. Oh my god. Holding the gun against him throughout this. Alrighty then. Huh? Ah, see your throat, you little shit! Oh my god, he, sh he did shoot. Wait, stop. Don't actually shoot, you idiot. That scared me. Wait! Oh my god, he really jumped! <laughs> see your efforts. Oh my god! Are you serious? Shit! He, he jumped. Oh my god! Damn it! After him. Don't let him get away. Are you serious? We actually let him get away? Is it because I made Ariel hold the gun? <sighs> From HQ to all Burias. Suspect evaded officers at Komagata Bridge and fled. Currently remains at large. The time in which he threatened to carry out his attack is approaching. In response, we will call in reinforcements and widen the search per perimeter beyond the immediate Sumida River's area. Can't aim properly. Oh my... Area! Boss! Uh, boss, boss! Boss, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. If only I haven't lost my nerve and open fire. Enough. I told you already. It's on me. I should have told you to lower your weapon. Oh, I made a wrong... I really made a wrong try. I made him hold the... <sighs> okay, yeah. Uh, I think maybe we need to restart. Thinking that chasing him to the river would corner him was also a miscalculation. Sure, it's possible that right now, he's sleeping with the fishes at the bottom of the river. But somehow, I doubt things will be that easy. You think he really can kill hundreds of people? Who knows, him saying he already used his curse turned out to be a bluff. Hard to believe he could kill hundreds at once, even with a curse stone, but... All we can do is pray that he was lying. Can we do later? See this and Is this a, 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 one of the ending? Oh! The condition for Nejima's curse stone, the one-sided reed, was only later discovered. Kills by dismemberment. One whose face, address, name, age, occupation and location are all known by the curse bearer. No wonder he can kill the schoolgirls. He can very easily kill the schoolgirls. And it's very creepy how he know all their address. Remember when he was talking to Yako? He knew that she stayed at the candy house and all that stuff. But it's also the perfect custom for us. For a creepy stalker murderer like him. Uh, he couldn't kill Mio. He couldn't kill Mio. Why? Because he didn't know... Mio was a transfer student. So he didn't really know Mio's... I think he didn't know everything about Mio. But then when Yako told, told, told uh, the guy about Mio, then he was able to kill Mio. If you remember, uh, in one of the alternate paths. Hello, Miss Ryan. Hello, Squeaky. Also, since we are done with this uh, uh, um, ending, let me give a shout out to, I think, Squeaky and shout out to Fro. It's over already? No, we are a bad end. We are a bad end. This is not the... We need to redo this part. Oh shit, it's the shatter! Oh! <laughs> okay. Shall we? Okay, now we know. And so, at sunset that day... Out of... Oh! Oh, six 
least 132 students enrolled at Kumagata High School, the 377 who were at home. Each had one arm and one leg severed. One by one, in the order they appear, appeared in the school register, they bled to death while screaming in agony. Having no known cause, this atrocity terrified the public, resulting in widespread panic. I would have died though, I would 100% be at home. <laughs> I died, it's your fault, say Vero Shay, if I was... Yeah, did it? Because apparently in the school register, there's the name, the face, the address and everything. Then like, the po even the police was like, hey, this, isn't, this is like so dangerous, like, like the confidential... Uh, like all this confidential information. This Najima guy suicided after killing hundred. I don't know. This means Yako died too. If they weren't outside, Yako would. If they were at home, then they would have died. Evil Hati. Before long, fear and speculation plunged society into total chaos, and misinformation about the curses began to spread. A series of unrelated incidents broke out, unleashing pandemonium beyond all control. While it is uncertain whether Fumichika Nejima intended things to go this far, Tetsuo Susumi's daughter Ayame Tono, <gasps> we also learned this, was also killed by Nejima's curse shortly after. And Tetsuo Susumi, unable to bear the heavy responsibility or the people's blame, quit the police force and fled from the public eye. At the very least, Nejima's goal of driving Tetsuo Susumi to ruin could not have been more thoroughly achieved. Thus, with his rapturous satisfaction, the curtains, the curtains close on. <gasps> Ending to Najima's reminiscence. <laughs> and then we had a very fast uh, credits uh, scene. Oh, do you want which? Oh, oh, can I skip this? Can skip uh, skip this performance. What Najima went on to use his enormous horde of soldiers for remain for remains unclear. Yeah, did he manage to resurrect? But according to later reports, Najima devoted himself to his master, a woman called Lady Ashino. Do I know a Ashino? Oh, Shino! Shin I mean, Shino is the girl she he, he loves. So I'm guessing Lady Ashino grew up. <sighs> okay, let's restart. Let's do it properly this time. Yeah, I forgot to save that. Uh. Yeah, I actually forgot to save. <laughs> Let me load. Can I load this? Is it here? Oh shit, this is the auto save. Um. Oh, I forgot to save! <laughs> Can I skip? Is there a skip option? Oh my god, okay, I need to like... I forgot to save. Whoops! Was too into it. May the ending be better. You're gonna go get some noodle feeling a bit off right now. Okay, baby, the poet. Get some good, uh, tasty noodles. Oh my god, if only there's a skip button. Control? No. No, I actually forgot to save. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, all my, all my exper experience, <laughs> experience and years of playing visual novels. And I forgot to freaking save it. I can't believe this. Oh, 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 oh. I keep pressing on the same thing. Wait. Mark shot. Uh, I forgot to remind you. To <laughs> so excited to, to. No, the moment there was like, oh, the moment there was the part where, oh, put away your gun or put away your gun or hold the gun. Uh, and then I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, no, no way in hell I'm putting away the, the gun. If you don't come back, you just went uh, straight to sleep. Okay, baby the poet, I, I hope you feel uh, better. Thank you. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you. Thank you so much, baby the poet. Please get yourself something nice and warm to eat.
Well, I'll be damned. Spam clicks. Speed run. <gasps> okay, they, I think they got. Okay. Safe here. Okay, uh, around. Okay, I'll save here. I'll save here. Fine. Okay, fine. Oh, <laughs> Ariel, but I'm ready to tackle him if he makes any sudden movement. Thank you, Ariel. Be my guest. Thank you kindly. I can breathe a little easier now. Wait, can I speak to Ariel? Don't take your eyes off this guy for a second, Ariel. Got it. Wait, can I still speak to Ariel? Hey, Jude. Alright, let's hope he cools off now that he's lower his gun. No sudden moves now. Oh, because Ariel is actually nervous. But bad the same things going through Ariel's head right now. Yeah, Ariel, Ariel is nervous. Cause I mean, we got to we got to understand from Ariel's. Ariel is still kind of new to the force. Okay, so we kind of did all this. So let me just get to the part where we stopped at where, the part where he where he like shouted at Ariel. Folks are starting to gather, there's, there's no surprise given the scene we are causing. But if Najima's packing explosives, he won't need a curse to cause a bloodbath. These idiots need to get out of here. But they won't listen. Why do rubber knackers always have balls of steel? Ariel gives us such a golden retriever, and, uh, retriever uh, energy. He does! I love him. Okay, he has he has a cursed one, so we talk. We talk about this. If you think about it, if he doesn't have information, right? His curse stone is, is not gonna be able to kill us. One of the best part of fight, okay. Bra uh Okay. I had that sorted way before him, but she put some kind of spirit bullshit on me. I I've gotten that little bitch eventually. I just didn't have the time. Ah, oh, okay. Way before him. Okay. He can F out a few hundred people right about now. But this is a this is a this is a fake. Cause uh they can't they can't activate the curses uh they can't activate the curses uh in the morning. Okay, uh, there's gonna be a jump scare around here. So just be careful. It'll... Prepare for a loud sound sound myself. <laughs> I think it's not so loud for you guys, it's louder for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. And then there'll be another one. There'll be another one shortly. <laughs> this is not charm. <sighs> I, I see the scream. Hello, Fro. There's a shout out for Fro. I think I didn't. Wait, oh, I did, but... I, eh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll shout, I'll shout you out. Because I cannot remember. I was looking at chat as you redeemed it, bro. Eh, he's got the gun down! Nice! Okay. 
Okay, are we approaching the part where we ended off at? Are we? Are we is this a part? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> wait, no, it's not yet. Okay, wait. Uh, I figured he could use it. I put a lot of work into getting him to believe that sort of stuff. About his curse. Wait, okay, I think we did this. Okay, yeah, we, we did this. So, so I'm trying to skip past this part. Let me just save as a precaution. I'm gonna save on the last slot. Look, an actual reflection of your screen. Nothing but your hand and plastic. Okay, yeah. Then we also got through this part, cause... Cause he still we 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 call his we call his bluff. Waha! <laughs> now that's the Susumi I know. Fine, I admit it. It's exactly like you said. If I could have used my curse, I would. So I did. Huh? Oh wait, okay. We also got through this part. <laughs> Where we got Ariel to check whether there's people who are dead. The longer you keep me here, the more people die. There's blood on your hands. Bullshit. You're bluffing. Think what you like. You'll see me see it soon enough. Are we done? Wait. Eh? Eh? <laughs> eh? I, I, I finished talking about everything though. Look at him, is it? No, look at him. I already did this. What's happening? Think, is it? Think. No way he's used his curse. He's got to be blowing smoke at our asses. But if he's not... What's his game here? Is he just stalling for time? Or does he have some way to turn the tables? Oh... Uh, what? Oh, okay. I, is it I talked to Ariel? They're combing the town for casualties now, but it's going to take a while. Oh, sounds like you better get to work. What? 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 Oh, shit! My daughter is there! <laughs> oh, no! <clears throat> okay, uh, uh, the daughter of the cop is, is here. And then he did, he did threaten and say that he would kill Shit! Wait, what does he need to know? Face, address... Uh... Shit, he knows the location right now some more. Cause it's, the daughter is right in front. Oh shit! What is it? Face? Face? Name? Address? Locate- Wait, is that location on where they are? What else? I cannot remember. Shit, but I think he can kill her. Cause he knows everything. He can't kill both- He can't kill me and Ariel cause he doesn't know like our address. Or, or something. Huh? What the? Whoa, Becca, 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 the hell is she doing here? Crap, our eyes just met. This is bad. Real bad. Why did she have to pick now of all times? Get out of there, damn it. Book it before he sees you. <sighs> But I need to ask her about Nam Namikaki, shit. H. I think he has all the information. He did say that he can kill the daughter. He has all, all the information. He, he just needed like maybe current location, which he has now. Boss. Where are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking all over the place. Focus. Oh, shit. Ha. Huh. Oh shit, now it's my fault. <laughs> God damn it, just now was Ariel's fault. Now it's my fault. Damn it. Fuck, he's fast. Ayami, get away. Huh? Well, 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 Ayami Tono, I've been looking for you for a very long time. Huh? What? The dead? Ayami. Don't you dare, you bastard. Get away from her. Oh. Get 
Get out. Get over here. Ah! Get off. You're hurting me. Uh, stay right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Stay right where you are or she dies. Hey, get back here. Make me see around dumb thoughts. Whoa! That piece of shit took Ayame hostage and ran off with her. After him, we can't let him get away. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He literally ducked past us and caught a hostage, dude. How is this possible? How is this possible? Wait, did I get the same ending? Suspect has evaded capture at Kovangata Bridge and remains at large. He's currently on the run with one female hostage. How the effort gonna have that sick in his in his mouth? Oh yeah! <laughs> I gotta say, boss, we really screwed that one up. Yeah, yeah, we did. It's my fault. All we can do now is hope he doesn't slip the net. We know his identity now, boss. He can't run forever. Come on, keep your chin up. I'm sure the hostage will be alright. I hope so. I can't be believe that was your daughter. How crazy is that? Yeah. We've been trying to get a hold of uh, we've been trying to get a hold of her since this morning and she just shows up there? Who would have thought? What a twist of fate. Yeah, a bit of a bit too twisted of, of a twist for my liking. I think I think you need a breather, boss. You're not making sense. Does this mean she was the one in the car with Namigaki? Nah, we don't know that yet. Let's see what she has to say before we jump to any conclusions. You sound tired, boss. That standoff must have really done a number on you. Come on, let's treat ourselves to some Mitsu Mami. They'll put a spring in your step. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Some sugar might be just what I need to get my brain working. Well, hold on, boss. Sounds like Patrol's just gotten a message. I'll go check it out. Sure thing. Please be good news. Please be good news. Funny she said that the police is after her, but turns out the police birthed her. <laughs> I'll be indirect because it's not the mother. It is true. The, um, the police was looking for Ayame Tono because they needed to put her under uh, protection because he, he, she is the daughter. Good news, boss. They found Najima. No shit. What about the hostage? I don't know. They just said to come quick. Guess we'll find out when we get there. At 4.28pm, Fumichika Nejima, also known as Makoto Ashimiya, was discovered in the former Yasuda Gardens, beaten to death. The body start suffered 110 distinct instances of blunt force trauma. The case is being treated as a homicide. The deceased possess possessions have not been recovered and appear to have been taken post-mortem. The location of the deceased's female hostage remains unclear. Police continue to pursue her as a person of interest. The, did the daughter kill him? Did the... But it's, it's not even night time though. Shit, we are entering night time. I thought everything will end before night time, but it looks like we'll be entering another phase of night time. Will we finish this game? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Okay, okay, okay. Let's 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 like take a step back and let's figure out what could have killed him. We did 110 blows. I don't think that's human. I don't think that's a human that did it. Okay. So it cannot be Whispering Canal. Whispering Canal drowns people. It cannot be the Fool's Procession. Fool's Procession is a fatal fall. Beckoning Light. Kills by means of the curse they possess. It's a bit of the role reversal. Right? So, so if it's used on the Whispering Canal person, it will drown the Whispering Canal uh, holder. Haunting Clappers. 
Wait, where, where is the beckoning light actually? Who has the beckoning light? It was Arai, is it? Arai. Wait, let me check who has the beckoning light. Um, Tetsuo. Who has the beckoning light? Was it Araishi? No, his is the ever burning lantern. Oh, beckoning light is the is the is the is the fiance is the is the fiance is the is not this one. Which one is the fiance? M Mio? Hey, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Did I just say Mio is the. <laughs> Mayu, Mayu, Mayu. I remember it's the start with M. <laughs> Mayu. Uh, Mayu is the fiance. Oh, okay. She has the back beckoning light. Okay, okay. Does that mean she has a stone now? Maybe the daughter actually know Kung Fu and then beat him up and then took his stone, dude. Because it's bright daylight. Nobody can use their cursed stone. Either that or someone's cursed stone is strong enough. It, if someone's cursed stone is strong enough without it being nighttime. Evergreen Beach is with us. It sh kills by hanging. There is this one. We do not know this one. We haven't seen this one. Taiko or Sugaru, we do not have any information on this. <laughs> and Tang, you were saying you're just looking. Thank you for the luck, Tang. And this tree's hold. Ah, uh, so we lost the. We lost the. Damn it, we lost the the one-sided read. We don't know anything about Taiko or Sugaru. Ever burning. This one is disembowelment. Embowerment. Uh, I think it, sh it should either be the Taiko. Okay. I have a few hypotheses. Uh it should either be the Taiko or Sugaru. Because we do not we do not maybe this kills people by beating them up. Either that or it is by uh it is by the the beckoning light. Because the beckoning light one is a bit of a wild card. Because you can't tell what curse what curse uh wait no. If if they if they use a the beckoning light, then he will be killed by he'll be slashed in half, right? Okay, okay. No no it's not a beckoning light. Beckoning light. It could be the Taiko of Sugaru, the curse. Because we do not know what's the condition and how it looked like when you get killed by this curse. Uh, it might be that this is the strongest curse, and doesn't need it to be night time to to activate. Uh, either that or he got beaten up by Ayame Tono and the because Ayame Tono we know Ayame Tono wants the curse stone. The daughter wants the curse stone. Curse stone. She's been walking around asking people if they can give her the curse stone because she wanna resurrect the Katsuhika Hokusai, which is, which is some ancient. Famous artist from long, long ago. What if he died by a curse stone, but his daughter made it seem like it happened by something else? Oh, that might be true too. But 110 blunt bows. <laughs> 110 blunt bows is a uh, blunt blows is a lot. I, I don't know. I feel like it's a lot, but maybe it's humanly possible. Okay, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's see what happened to the girls. Having regained control of herself, Yako rejoins Mio on their search for the record of Fate's Ying scroll so that they can stop the curse. However, they find themselves with scarcely any leads to follow. Soft Warigasui uh, Street. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I know we're supposed to be finding that record of Fate's Ink Scroll thing. So why is this record of Fate's Ink Scroll? There's two parts. There's there's three, two or three scrolls. There's one is the record of Fate. Record of Fate tell us about how there's this right of resurrection and you collect enough souls, you can resurrect someone. That's a record of Fate. Re record of Fate, Ying Scroll is like part two. And it'll tell us how to stop the, the how to stop like the right of resurrection and all these things that's happening, I think. So this is finding the record of Fate's Ink Scroll will be key to stopping all these curses. Likely, likely. <clears throat> it sure would be nice if we had more of a lead to work with. Right now, our only option is to try and trace the bloodline of the Omnyoji Seiman Tsuchi Mikado for today. 
but he's not a legitimate descendant of his family, so the family doesn't have anything about it. And since we've got nothing so far, we find ourselves here. Oh, oh shit, the Hihaku soap building is there dude. Oh my god, you're so near Mio. Oh Mio? What about that one guy? That the one Inspector Susumi checked with. I forget his name. Oh right. Apparently he never heard from Nakagoshi. Not that we have have a way of contacting him directly anyways. Who's Nakagoshi? Nakagoshi? Who's Nakagoshi? The heck is Nakagoshi? <laughs> Who's Nakagoshi? We just have to leave a message with the paranormal. Oh, I remember the head of the paranormal affairs, Buria. Cause um, when the when the when one of the policemen before the whole curses, right? Hajime Yoshimi uh passed away, and and then he he told them he told them that they, they need need to go and find uh wait sorry let me repeat. Uh, Hajime Yoshimi, um, he died and then he passed, he has a talisman. He passed it to, uh, Hitomi. He passed it to Hitomi. And he told Hitomi to find, uh, Nakagoshi, which is the head of... If I'm not wrong, he told Hitomi to find Nakagoshi, which is the head of the Paranormal Affairs Bureau. But, um, when we spoke to Tsusumi, who is part of the Paranormal Affairs Bureau, there... Nakagoshi is a figurehead and he doesn't actually exist within the Buria. So we don't know who to find when it comes to Nakagoshi. <coughs> we'll just have to leave a message with the Paranormal Affairs Buria's messenger and hope it reaches him. He's always the one who contacts me and even then it's only instructions. Hmm, well I guess we are in a tight spot then. We won't get anywhere just waiting around. Let's do the best we can working on our own. Hihaku Soap uh, building. So this is the Hihaku uh, Soap's uh, build, uh, headquarters. So we're thinking that one of the high-ranking people here is most likely the mastermind. Chair... Chairwoman Yamamori, was it? Wait, are the chairwomen high-ranking? Isn't the most important person at a company the president? I'm not sure, but she's definitely definitely an important person. Even if we are able to meet with her, what do we talk with her about? We can't just waltz in there and ask her if she knows about the Ying Scroll out of nowhere. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Oh, is that your working style, Mio? Uh, well, whenever I find myself out of options, I usually just jump right into the thick of it. Oh, if you're scared, I don't mind going in by myself. Scared as if think of me as your trusty bodyguard. I don't mind going big and taking a chance. Oh, yeah, that's the Yako I know. Okay, so let's go. Now, shall we? Okay, let's go inside. Let's save and go inside. Alright, let's give, give this a shot. So we'll be investigating this very sussy co cooperation. Well, they're not really sussy. It's just the chairwoman and his and her henchman that is sussy. Um, excuse me, excuse us. Looks like we were out of luck. Who knew you needed an appointment months in advance to meet the chairwoman? That's why she's super duper important. Even the receptionist gave us a cold sh shoulder after realizing we we're just students. Maybe her private secretary will hear us out, but they seem to be out at the moment. Hmm, in that case... If, if Hihaku was no good, I don't know if we have any other choices. Budging is suddenly didn't work. At this point, there might be nothing more we can do. Oh my god, Mio, you scared me again. <laughs> Your face very big in front of me. Uh... There were a bunch of police cars speeding by here earlier. I wonder if something happened. Must be. I've seen a few police officers and they look like they were on edge. Could 
Inspector Tsutsumi have let that Nejima escape and everybody's scrambling to find him? Oh, after all the effort we put into gathering information, that would be unfortunate. Suspend? Oh, okay, we need to suspend. You cannot progress further. Let's suspend. So... Um... I guess we go back to Har uh, Hare Shigima. Um, where do we go though? <laughs> uh, uh, Hoanji Bridge? So we are gonna follow the, mo the mother and the detective. What I saw was the cursed echo of the beckoning light. Wouldn't that mean the cursed barrel is nearby? I'm not feeling any strange presence, but that could be because it's midday. Hmm, it doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. I wonder if it's one of the factories that got shut down when they were they tightened up regulations. Uh What you saw earlier must have been the beckoning light. Something might have changed after what just happened. Huh. Or is it? Okay, maybe. <sighs> maybe it's Mayu Chozawa. Where are we stuck at? We are stuck at a part. Oh shit, we need a number. I need a pen and a phone number. I have a pen. I have a pen. But I don't have a phone number. Or do I? Let me just grab the pen first. Uh, wait. I have a pen, right? Pen. I won't be able... Oh! How do I fix a pen with dried up ink on the tip? Water? There's water dripping. Come move it. a pen that's dried out on top. <laughs> Isn't it water? Isn't it water? Water? M mop soap? It can't be soap, can it? It's not soap. Uh, okay, for this girl, she's stuck in the... She's stuck in this... building. Uh, cursed stone. Mm. I left for a bit. Uh, we are stuck. We are we're kind of stuck, I suppose. Um. Oops. Uh, this, this I I I. Ooh. Let me see. Ah, uh. okay. I can show you where I'm stuck. So um. For the we I went into the high school girls, then they wanted to meet the Hihaku soaps uh people, but they need an appointment in order to meet her. Then I went into actually I didn't check this one too much, but this one was this one they had to investigate something too. Uh then for darkness, um Mayu Chozawa is stuck in the room. She need she need a number to fetch to Oh if I can figure out the sh who will she be fetching? She might... Maybe... Hmm... Maybe Mayu Chozawa can... Maybe Harue can help Mayu Chozawa? I don't know. But, but uh, right now, I am stuck. So... Let's go to Shigima residence. Oh yeah, she has a fetch machine, I think. She has! A fetch machine. It can send images to other places along the telephone network. A fax machine. The number, the number for our home is six three star 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 star. Madam, is everything okay? I'm fine. That's just something I wanted to check. Is that so? Oh, <gasps> ayo. Okay, I got a number. I got a number. 
You can do this now. Okay, now I have another problem. I need a pen and a phone number. My pen... An oil-based pen. The pen tip is totally dry. I won't be able to write anything with this. I wonder if I could fix it somehow. How do I fix a pen with dry dark tip on the tip? It will dry, it will dry ink on the tip. Isn't it water? Six three star 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 star. There's <laughs> a little sink here. There's water dripping from the faucet, but the knots are stuck. I can't move them in either direction. What else is there? Actually, I don't know. Okay, maybe I investigate it a little bit more. Bunch of garbage. There's a chair. My new ad sound alkaline. Oh my god, smart roll! I think I think I I'm in a I'm in a factory, so there might be there might be chemicals. Chemical flammable liquid ventilation if leak equipment integrity thoroughly. It's quite a collection of words. Um since it's a soap. Maybe soap is it? We oh, yeah. are. Let me desk drawer, open middle drawer. Elke, 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 Benzin, all these soap names. Mockingbird sticker. Empty now. Anything here? Okay, this cabinet is not gonna help me. Just a bunch of junk. Cardboard boxes. Okay, there's nothing I can get here. Uh. Air dot. Since it's a soap, can I use the soap? Mirror? I see myself. Okay, I think yeah we, we 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 investigated this as well. Um so items mop soldier hydroxide water can do thing. but where's I can't find any chemicals though mm. desk all the soap videos you watch <sighs> think I just remember that I heard the rules for the right of resurrection when I got this cursed stone. But killing other people to bring someone back is out of the question. Hajime would never accept oh, sacrificing another person to come back himself. None of this was ever an option to begin with. The way we lived? Ever since we were kids, we were always ready to die if that's what it came to. We we'll never take our food off the gas just cause we were scared of get of death. We were never such big fans of living anyways. That's why we were always prepared for it. I used to wonder if we took things a little too lightly. But that's just how much we trusted each other. So I have no use for some shitty right. And that's the truth, Hajime. I need a pen and a phone number for a fax machine so I can call for help. I've got a pen but it's not working. The ink seems to be dried up. What should I do? I, just, I can't just keep searching the room aimlessly. Soap? Why can't I use soap? Am I, am I supposed to fall for all this? No, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Options? Am I supposed to fall for all this? No, right? I don't think there's anything I can do for her. Yeah. Uh, there was one. There was one instance where I had to fall wall and turn off audio, so voice volume, to protect one of the curse bearers. But maybe you click on something then. Mm. Magazine. Uh. 
No, this one is useless. Okay, I'm just gonna click around and see what happened. Add dark. No. Wait. Some kind of powder. Got such game mechanics. People stuck in front. Custom. Custom doesn't have any soul dress. Mob. It's pretty long. I should be able to clean things from afar without getting myself dirty. Soap. Trash. <gasps> Sink. Door. Ba ba ba. Steel shelf. Cabinet. <laughs> Fast machine. Middle drawer. Alcal, whatever, all this name of chemicals. Oh, am I supposed to go somewhere else? Am I not supposed to play her route first? But I feel like I've done everything for for outside. But there's nothing else. There's nothing else I can do. I'm clicking on everything. Pen. Oi base pen. <sighs> I think I'm in new chat. <laughs> I'm in new chat how to get her out. Let me go uh see. How to revive <laughs> Oi base pen. <laughs> How to revive dried out pens? Okay, fill your bowl with rubbing alcohol and put the sharpie tip down into the liquid. Let it sit until you see little ink running out into the alcohol. Then cap your marker and let it sit for 15 minutes. <laughs> How do you revive an oil paint marker? How do you rehydrate your pen? We uh, oh my god. Um do oil based markers dry? Oh wait, hold on. Um Press the tip of the paint pen to a scrap of paper several times until the tip fills with paint. Wait, that's uh, how to clean a dry clock. <laughs> Dirty paint pen. Glass of water! It's water! I think so work. But how do we get her to do that? Think. Can't just search the room. I have nothing else there, unless I'm not searching somewhere. But I think I search everywhere. Click something in your trigger. Fax machine. Unless it is not supposed to be done here. Oh my god. Pen. I did this already. Uh ah, okay, let me check. Amayu chose wa pen. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, I'm very carefully looking at the walkthrough, trying not to see any spoilers, okay? With the phone number, then you can stand by. Oh! Oh my god! Go to standing by chapter 
in Tetsuo's route. Uh, there's no way I would have gotten this. There's no way. There's no way I would have gotten this. No wonder this. Same one? Huh? Wait, okay, you can see, right? Some of the events are... This event is lighter up. This event is lighter up. This event is lighter up. Uh, resume. Start from after the report. Oh, hey, Ariel. I wanted to ask you something. Hey, hey, boss! GC. You're such an eager be beaver. I haven't even said what it was yet. Right, well, what it is then? Can't remember what you had for dinner last night? Looks like that agent over there is have having some, e some trouble with his pen. So you've got a spare. Go lend it to him. And for the record, I had Katsudon last night. <laughs> no need to worry about me going sin out just yet. Uh, I know I look like a genius, but I didn't think I came across as a type to carry spare pens on my person. You, a genius, you're dreaming. But if his pen... But if his pen just stopped working, he can get it going again with a bit of nail polish remover. Nail polish remover? Yeah, you know, what you used to remove nail polish. Never used it before? Do I look like I would? Don't make me sound crazy for not having used that stuff. I doubt you have either. Oh no, I used it alright. Did you know that it can remove oil-based ink, ink stains? Which is also why it can be used to fix old dried up pen nits. Whatever's in there that removes the ink also doubles as a way to unclog pens. Huh, good to know. Still wouldn't call you a genius, but it's something. <laughs> oh, I can't believe! The clue, the clue was here! You, you gotta make sure the remover doesn't mix with the ink though, or you'll, you'll ruin, ruin it. Doesn't that defeat the purpose? Not to worry, I don't have nail po polish re remover on me right now anyway. Oh, no problem then. That doesn't fix anything! <laughs> Long story short, I don't have a spare pen. Jeez, alright, I'll let him know. Hey, there's a... <gasps> there's a mockingbird! Nice! I we already knew it without playing this part. Oh my god, okay. Can I return? Uh, can I return? Move? Oh. Oh. Can, can I return? Oh. <gasps> Wait, so there's something... Oh my god. Uh, let me scratch my back a while. <laughs> Sorry. There's something here. Oh wait, I think I know why is that something here. It's the it's the one of the endings which I already got. Um <sighs> Why we already knew it without playing this part? Uh I guess yeah. I, I, that's why I, that's why I was saying role that I would have gotten stuck because I would, wouldn't have thought of like doing another part and like talking to Ariel about the pen nip. I would have thought that the answer was over at the police site. I need a pen and a phone number for a fax machine. I've got a pen but it's not working. The ink seems to be dried up. What should I do? Okay, wait, hold on. So, wait, wait, I don't have no remover also, eh? I, I don't have no remover! Oi! <laughs> I don't have no remover. Maybe here have no remover. Oi! I also don't have no remover how to do this part. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. You can find new polish remover in the stack of cut boxes near the switch board. There are strange bottles and bags filled with some kind of powder in the boxes. Wait. Wait, I'm not finding any new polish re remover. Wait, what? <laughs> How gay? Steal it! 
distraught Stewie to sell. <laughs> Says that makes sense. Hello, that makes sense. How are you? <laughs> Near the switch in the stack of cardboard boxes. Okay, wait, wait. I must have I must have not finished something then. Okay. Though this guide will not touch on anything plot-wise, it obviously contains some spoilers for a paranormal side. Okay, let me read. Uh, there's a mirror. You grab it. Soap. Yeah, okay, that one I do already. Uh, pick up the curse stone on the ground, blah, blah, blah. And then 1946 is the... We did that. The fax machine. Suspend. And... Fax machine in the reception room. Click on it. Okay, with phone number in hand, go to standing by. And then Ariel will tell me that I need nail polish rem remover. You now have everything you need to escape, so return to the darkness chapter. Oi! Oi! I'm not getting my nail polish remover! That means sense, hello. Oi! <laughs> Isn't this an issue? Oh, maybe? Maybe I don't know the number yet. If it cannot be, uh, also, I should be able to get my new polish remover. Right? <laughs> Scam game! Oh my god. Cardboard boxes. It's here, right here. Only first two number, no. I thought you don't know the number. Oh, oh uh, I, I think it's, it's considered that we know the number. They just didn't show us. But I, I should be able to get my, um, my, my nail polish remover. Okay, wait. There's a polish removing tool in the cardboard boxes near the switch board. This is the switch board. This is the cardboard boxes. Uh, items? It can't be. It can't be that I spoiled my game. <laughs> I don't believe this! It's telling me to... Okay, okay. I, I must have not done something. Or do I go to... Do I go YouTube? I can, I, I'm gonna go YouTube. <laughs> and check. Paranormal side. Darkness. Need to restart from the beginning. Ha! Huh. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna check on YouTube. Oh no, nah, I'm checking on YouTube. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I know. Some storage locker. Right locker. There's nothing inside, but it's a piece of paper stuck to the front. Chemical flammable, flammable, flammable liquid ventilation. If leak, equipment integrity thoroughly. It's quite a collection of words. What could this place be used for? Okay, I don't know anything. <laughs> Wait, let me check. Okay, they, 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 they do this, okay? They literally do this. They literally just do this and they get the... the... Ah! Kiki. Uh, let me check. Uh... Nail polish. 
Is anybody talking about the nail polish? No! <laughs> Paranormal side nail polish remover. Paranormal. Oh my god, they're giving me actual paranormal sightings. <laughs> suspend here so my issue is that okay I don't know why this one is like this as well so I'm gonna save here I'm gonna check whether this gives me uh anything if I complete this chapter here I'm gonna guess it's the namigaki portion Where Namigaki like ask us to go with him. And then if you go with him, you get a bad ending immediately. This is you right now. Let me see. Hey there demons, this is me, your boy. <laughs> uh talk to Yutaro. Okay, and then you'll immediately get a bad ending here. And this should clear this chapter. I just want to make sure there's nothing in this chapter that I need. Only there's a okay. Usually, when you play like visual novels or like uh, um, story games, right? And there's a lot of dialogue. It tends to be that you um, they 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 will provide you with a skip uh button. Yeah, this is the part that Yako gets possessed and then she kills Namigaki. Namigaki uh, follows Yako. But da -da -da -da, it's, it's Michio. And then Michio kills him. Michio! I miss Michio. <laughs> Michio's a good ghost. Yeah, a raid. Oh my, one more. Oh, so kunai des. Or something. <laughs> okay, then skip this performance. Uh. I will remember you, Michio. Yeah, Michio. This is the ending one. Okay. Will it clear my chapter? Yeah, they'll clear the chapter here. This okay. You know what? I have a feeling. Um she doesn't know. Okay, um when I was investigating the cardboard boxes, right? She was like, oh I, I should avoid all this. I don't even know. Um I don't even know what the uh, what she say exactly? Uh? Okay, let me go. You know, I I think maybe I didn't investigate something. So I don't think it's the game's fault. It's probably my fault. Some kind of powder in the boxes. If this place is a factory, then maybe that this may be their products. There's no telling if they're dangerous or not. Better not touch them. I need to figure out whether these boxes are safe or not, right? So I think I've done everything here. I think I've done everything here. If I could have gotten those nail polish, I would have got I would have been able to get them ready, I think. And I already click around so much. 
Uh, so I don't think... I don't think the issue is here. Okay. I think the issue... I think the clue I need... Hello. Hello. Will be over here. Hello. Or Hello. it'll be over here or here. Hello, Beast. How are you? Let me give you a shout out, Beast. So I am going to check this, this place first. It's the, it's the singing game. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> that was a long hole. How are you, Beast? <laughs> okay, uh, factory. Do I know anything about the factory? Wow, the factory state got shut down. Surroundings? Uh, okay, I did this before. And it's well kind for those that, um... For those that are here for the first time... Something might have changed. Like what? Factory. <laughs> Keep looking at the factory. Think. Uh, I am currently stuck, um in this uh area so right now i'm trying to figure out is it like a dialogue i missed somewhere um i need information about the factory i suppose and uh, information oh my god i don't know i don't know what i need you know what? i don't know i don't know why I, I, I don't know what to do at least the music is nice Okay, let me just run through here. Okay, we, we already read all of this, so... Talk the Richter. We already did this. Okay, we are done talking. Telephone booth? Doesn't look that out of the ordinary, ordinary. Okay, I am just gonna click on everything possible, okay? Literally gonna click on everything possible in every area, god damn it. No data was returned. Oh yeah, it does that now. I don't know why. Hopefully they fix it. So all this I, I all these things I feel like we've I feel like we've done mm, surroundings. It's nothing. Uh, I don't see how any of this is gonna help me. Can you shot? Oh shit! I remember. <laughs> it's him playing with the sticker thing. <laughs> Jeez, jeez, you made me jump. It's Mockingbird number 14, Falcon Man. This guy's a real speed demon. Oh, is that right? It's kind of scary how you even know the exact number with just a simple glance. Okay, at least we got like collectibles. <laughs> uh, I don't think this place is helping me. My mom would beat me if I buy sticker pads like this last. It's so cute though! It's so cute! Is it them? Is it them? Visit to Hihaku Souls. Uh, is there anything else? Mio is standing so close. I feel like there will be a sticker nearby. Let me just take a look around. Ah, <laughs> uh, what has life come to? I'm just looking for stickers now. Does y'all see any stickers? I think there'll be a sticker nearby. Should be like, waste money. Oh. 
I think my mom would say the same thing, but she will, she, she also she'll say it, but she she'll say it, but she knows I like it, so so <laughs> so she won't exactly stop me. I don't know. 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 Where? I don't know what to do. Maybe this. Maybe different card box will give me different item. Let me click on every single card box. It's a thing, eh? Supposed to be here! Why does Genshin make fishes respawn take days? Oh my god, remember when I was trying to go for the fishing achievement? I still haven't finished the fishing achievement. Ah. Uh. I was like fishing like every 2-3 days but that was also bad when I was playing the game. <laughs> I don't play the game as much these days. Just saw my R5 cash. Oh yeah. Yeah, getting the R5 cash was uh, took a while. Uh, you can go to other people's world, Krogani. I, I think they'll be okay. I cannot, I cannot get, I cannot get the, I cannot get the, do I need to restart? Maybe two flowers was onto something. So I'm looking at. I'm looking at uh YouTube. Must I restart? Oh I found it. An oil-based pen. The pen tape is totally dry. I won't be able to write anything with this. I wonder if I could fix it somehow. It can be fixed with a nail polish remo remover. Huh? You can fix this with nail polish remover? What the? Why did that pop into my head all of a sudden? Well, might as well give it a try. If this is one of Hihaku's warehouses, there just might be some nail polish remo remover somewhere! And then you search here. What was in this cardboard boxes again? Ah, disposed bottles and soap. I wonder if there could be. There is nail polish re remover. There's no label, but I'm sure that's what this is. I did it! Alright, so if I use this... <gasps> oh, it's now at R3 of the best Krogani. Slow and steady. I thought you played it last stream. I played it this stream actually. But I haven't been playing. I haven't been doing my story quest and everything in Genshin. You're always on to something, says <laughs> Tufla's. Lucky I didn't restart like Tufla suggested. Cheetah says that he says I okay, I I should have checked all my items again. <sighs> okay, uh Nail polish remover. Use on pen. The tip of the pen has been soaked in nail polish remover. I should be able to use a pen now, at least for a while. And then, uh, use the pen. Okay. I need a pen and a phone number for a fax machine. Number is six three star 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 star. It happened again. The number for a fax machine just popped into my head. There's no way this information is coming from my own brain. Why is my cursed echo flo floating behind me? That's very scary. Could someone be sen sending me their thoughts? Never mind. I have to focus. Let's get this message sent. Let's do it! Now, I need to tell them where I am. If I tell them everything I know about this place, they should be able to figure out where it is. First, I know I'm in a building owned by Hihaku. Hihaku. A factory or a warehouse? As for the address, it should be close to Huanji Bridge. That's right. My cursed echo is a beckoning light. 
That means this place must be near the Huangji Bridge. Okay, time to send it. Um, uh, I think this is how you do it. Alright, if the machine I sent it to is connected, it should be sent. Now, now I wait. Please, somebody. Yeah, we did it. We got through. Okay, now I end. And now I go back to Haru Shigima. And I, and I go back to my house and check the fax machine. Oh? The phones? Be my guest, you wouldn't want to keep them waiting. Thank you. I shouldn't be long. Hello, Shigima residence. Oh, it wasn't the phone. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. It was just the fax machine. I'm still not quite used to it. Oh, this is a fax machine? Amazing! So this is how they look. This is incredible. Goodbye to snail mail. Am I right? This is the future. I didn't think it would excite you so much. Oh, something came out. Is it finished? I could watch this thing all day. Huh? Why is why is this? It looks like it was written in pen, but what's it say? What's it say? Um, it says, "Help! I'm trapped in a Hihaku soap warehouse or a factory near Hoanji Bridge." Huh? Hihaku? Why would somebody send me such a message? And I being pranked? No, this is too fishy to be a coincidence. I wouldn't put it past Hihaku to have someone lock up. If that's, that's got anything to do with pro procuring the right. We should check it out. Hopefully we don't find anything so sinister. Very fishy, says Dufluss. After looking around, I determined the abandoned factory is indeed Hihaku's. An abandoned factory near the Hoonji Bridge. Everything lines up. So, the person who fed us was help. Has fed us for help is in there? Let's find out. If there's nothing, we should wrap up fast. Um, but isn't this place a lock? Don't, under don't underestimate me, madam. I can make short work of a simple little lock like this. Oh my, you truly are something else. Please be careful then. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Resume? Start after the... What? Oh, eh? Resume? If Hihaku was no good, I don't know if we have any other options. Wait, what? In which case, is waiting for her secretary the only thing we can do? What? What? What's the point of being here? Think. Barging in... Eh? Surroundings? Huh? Hmm? What is it? That person is coming this way. What, that tall guy? Do you know him? Yeah, from a little while back. Comes! Right, I'm gonna hit the bay first, 8 a.m. class. Oh my god, all the best comes for your 8 a.m. class. Go have a good rest so you don't fall asleep in class. Bye bye, girls. Thank you. Oops, I just realized sometimes cannot see me. <laughs> bye bye, girls. Thank you for coming to the stream. Thank you, thank you. Good night, girls. Rest well. All the, all the best for your 8 a.m. class. Mr. Oh wait, Mr. Yumioka? Hmm. Oh. Thank you for the hydrate, Tons. Will do. <laughs> yeah, Camilo's manager, Nista Mil uh, Yumilka, yes? Good to see you again. M M Miss Kurosuzu. What a coincidence, running you into you here. Gamildo? Yumioka? How 
have things been since we last met? If she just stays with her training, she won't have to rely on cheating people anymore. Yes, yes, she has been keeping at it. Cheating people? Miss Crozo, so, so glad to see you are doing well. I assure you, we have had no issues you need concern yourself with. Mio? You gotta tell me what happened. A case from a while back. A family overseeing a rally, rally quarry came to us saying they were being investigated by someone suspicious. Investigated? A psychic named Suigen Gamiodo suddenly showed up. She said that she had a premonition that something terrible would happen and had to exercise the temple immediately. Sounds like a cover-up for a burglary. After they notified the no tulip pala, the police, I was dispatched there by the paranormal affairs. I inspected the place myself, but I didn't see anything wrong, so I sent them away. He acted as Gamildo's manager during the case. This is pretty suspicious. Apparently she was looking for something there, but I told her there's, there's no excuse for fraud and sent her off with a scolding. And honestly, Gamildo didn't even have much spirit sense to speak of which soured my mood on the whole thing. Right, so she was one of those types then? Well, she's involved in all kinds of stuff, so she may at least be knowledgeable about paranormal objects. Wait, who's Gamildo? Isn't Gamildo the... Wait, ah? Uh? Natsume... Huh? Huh? Who's Gamildo? Huh? 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 But essentially, she's one of those fraudulent psychics that are so common nowadays. Are they talking about the CEO? Does she not know she's talking about the CEO? Does she... Ah, okay, I understand. This guy is involved involved with this Gamildo uh, person. He's very being very respectful now. Uh, but he's actually part of Hihaku Souls. And Hihaku Souls uh, CEO is probably the Gamildo person that she's talking about. So now he has something dirty. If you have no further business with me, then I'll be on my... Oh, before you go... Gamil does seem to know a lot about paranormal objects. It would be a huge help if we could ask her about something. And what might that be? Is she familiar with an ancient text called the Record of Fate Seeing Scroll? Or anything about the descendants of an omnioji named Seiman Tsuchimikado? I beg your pardon? Miss Kurosuzu, how do you? So you don't know about it? I see, if that's what you're after, then that means... Hold it! Don't tell me you're trying to snatch out some innocent schoolgirls this time. Stop right there! Huh? If it isn't Yumioka, what a pleasure to see you again. What? Why are you Chozawa? What are you doing here? Huh? Chozawa? This investigator here helped me out. You really did a number on me. What do you know? We just so happen to have some business with Hihaku ourselves. Why don't you join us? You can do that much for us, can't you? You work for Hihaku after all. Depending on how this conversation goes, I won't have to get the police involved. Huh? You work for Hihaku? Yeah, okay, no wonder. Yeah, Mio didn't know that the guy worked for Hihaku. What's going on? There's really no way you can refuse though, is there? You two young ladies must be involved as well. Would you care to join us? Oh, um, sure. <gasps> and this is how we progress. Quite the view, isn't it? How long can you play down with this many people lined up and wait, wanting answers from you? You better just give in and come clean with everything you know. Ugh. I'll cut to the chase then. Are you the one? Are you the ones who killed Hajime and Yoshimi? No, we did not. Don't try and play down now. If, if not you, then who? That much, I... I don't know. Well, it is true that we were after the information he possessed. He was killed by someone else before we could acquire it. Which forced us to target you instead, Miss Chozawa. That's why you forced me to talk and why I ended up with this curse, huh? Indeed, though I never thought you would escape. Well, it took a couple of miracles, but yeah, I got out. And just what information did Hajime have that you wanted? Hmm. 
You really think you can get away without answering now? But... Fine, I'll let someone else ask you something for now. Well, everybody want to ask him something, dude. <laughs> now then, I've come to hang, hand, hand over the haunting clappers a curse stone like I promised. A curse stone? Thank you, I have to admit. I'm, I'm surprised that you are a man of your word. But first, I've got some questions about the curse stones you already have. What exactly do you want to know? Earlier you said that Hihaku have collected six curse stones already. Six? I'd like to confirm which of the seven mysteries they co correspond to. And why do you need to know? Because I don't trust, of course. If you really collected them like you say, you have no problem saying which curse stones they are, right? First, the Whispering Colonel. Good, good. And what else? Mayu Chozawa over there has a beckoning light. Yep, you were the one who made sure I got it. What? Unfortunately for you, I don't feel like handing it over. So I don't think it counts as one of yours. <sighs> Good to know. Anyway, do continue. Next, there's the ever-burning lantern, which we gave to Hideki Araishi. So you consider that one of Hihaku's then? Whatever, we'll worry about that later. That's three. What about the others? Well, well, the others are... Ah, the food washing mansion ever and the evergreen beach. What? And lastly, the food with procession, if I recall. So you clean. How about it, mademoiselle? That's wrong. Those three are with Inspector Susumi. I gave the food's procession to him myself, so I know he's wrong. There you have it. Too bad for you, pal. <sighs> If our agreement was founded on lies, then I have no duty to hand over my custom like I promised. Oh my god, a lot of the custom whereabouts are now known to everybody here because we just discussed it. And it inevitably follows that you used, you used it to kill that young man at King Shibori Park. Such a horrible ad, and to your own employee, no less. No, there you are mistaken. To be entirely frank with you, we do not possess a single curse stone. What? We plan to collect soul dress using any method available to us. Of course, as we needed the right. But committing murder ourselves was too much of a risk. We intended on having others collect the soul dress for us. Is that so? Therefore, I myself have no soul dress in my possession. It, it was our plan to arrange for particularly greedy individuals to receive the curses. What? It's, it is possible Shogo Oki akin to possess the Whispering Colonel because of that. But by the time I became aware of this, he was already dead. I don't believe you. Are you really trying to talk your way out of this some, somehow? Or do you really want me to believe a Hihaku employee was cursed by a complete coincidence? That is the truth, whether you believe me or not. It must have been someone else entirely who took Shogo Okie's stone and killed him. I have no idea whatsoever whose hands the Whispering Canal is in now, nor where it may be. So who are we cursing uh, today? Um, who are we cursing today? Uh, we are fi we figured out a lot of um, the curse location, the curse stone's uh, location as of now. But there's one curse. There's a few curse stones that we don't know. Whispering Colonel. The very first time we played this game, we followed Yoko Fukunaga and Shogo Okie. Shogo Okie got the Whispering Colonel. This time round, Yoko Fukunaga, we don't know where is she. And then uh, Shogo Okie, this guy, he's dead. He got killed by the Whispering Colonel curse stone. Whereas this girl is missing, so. That's, that's one of the stones that we do not know the whereabouts. Uh, besides that, there's the Taiko of Sugaru. We do not know where this is as well. Hello, Rafta! <laughs> How are you? Wait, weren't you in... You, well, are, you, are you still overseas? Or you came back? How are you, Rafta? Been a while. Thank you for...
for coming in stream. <laughs> Came out ready? Wait, you went to... Is it Korea? I can't remember. Preparing for wedding! <laughs> How's, how's the preparation for wedding? Yes, Korea! How's the preparation for, for the wedding? Are, are, things, are things going fine? It's so soon as well, it's like one, two weeks time. <laughs> Anyways, for those that, just, uh, that are just coming in, we are the finale episode of Paranormal Side. This is uh, mostly a story, you make the decisions, vision over, point and click kind of game. Um, uh, basically, it's super it has the supernatural element and also a bit of survival game element because you can use supernatural. If you get a curse stone, you can use it to kill other people. And they want to kill enough people to get the right of resurrection. So it's very it's very important who we know who's where the who has what stones. Because if we know who has what stones, we can sort of. Uh, if we know like what is their condition, we can solve sort of, like twerk, 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 <laughs> thwart their plans. Tomorrow is the Guo 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 Da Li Guo Da Li Guo Da Li. <laughs> Did anyone die this train? Yes, somebody died. Uh, uh, the. So you know the Najima killer, right? He used to look like this. Then he now looks like. It now looks like this. We found him dead. He escaped from the police at the, uh, earlier on. And then later on, we found him dead in the park. He took a hostage. He took uh, this girl as a hostage. And this girl is nowhere to be found. So we don't know if this girl killed him. <clears throat> all the best, best for your wedding preparation, Rafter. All the best, all the best. <laughs> Looking forward. Looking forward to attending. <laughs> Okay, I'm sweating on my on my knee pits. Let me just put my leg straight. Oh, could it really be? Then it wasn't Hihaku who put the idea in Fumichika Nejima's head to get a curse stone either. Nejima, the only ones we've negotiated with are Iwai and Araishi. Interesting. Excuse me. But does that mean you don't know the location of the remaining customs either? There's one that hasn't been mentioned. What about the Taiko or Sugaru? Oh, good question, my mysterious mademoiselle. I'm afraid we have no information in that regard either. Have you heard enough about customs? I have nothing else to tell you. Hmm... Excuse me, I had no idea that Gamildo was connected with Hihaku. So I'd just like to ask, was it Miss Yamamori from Hihaku who obtained the record of fates and passed it on to Araishi? No, that was not the case. Oh, my mistake. Was it Sweden Gamiodo's doing then? No, it was not. We first learned of the record of fates from Mr. Araishi. It was then that Miss Yamamori gained an interest and extended a contract to compensate him in return for his research and findings. He died by his own curse stones. No, his own. If he died by his own curse stone, right? Um, Makoto, right? The Najima killer, right? Uh, he would be. He would have been slashed in half because his curse stone was one sided reed. He will. He will lose like one arm, one leg. But he was punched a hundred times, a hundred and six times to be exact. Great narration. Thank you. <laughs> then. Who was it that activated the Feast of Shadows to call forth the Curse of the Seven Mysteries? So, we need to get, we need to find out who is the true mastermind behind all this. Who is the one who activated this Feast of Shadow and then made all the curses angry, right? What made all the curses angry and then started this like so-called killing game to uh, so-called killing game to to do the Rite of Resurrection. Alright, 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 alright! <laughs> Punch to death! <laughs> I give you my word that we had no part in that. We had learned from Araishi beforehand that something would happen at midnight last night. That is all. Whoa! 
Jesus Christ. Hey! There's no way that's true. Stop lying! Ah, uh, I must ask that you please refrain from violence. Hold on, Yako. It's alright. The minute I learned that Kamiodo was none other than the Queen of Hihaku herself, I felt that was the case. She doesn't have strong enough spirit sense for it. Oh, gotcha. Uh, well, it, well, it is somewhat shameful. If you require proof, then so be it. What, so that talk of supernatural powers was just hot air? I don't think she has zero spirit sense, but even Yako here has more than her. <gasps> I do? Also, the spirit power lingering in this park has been bothering me for quite some time. The person who died here must have had considerably powerful spirit sense. If they were a Hihaku employee, then maybe they should have been the one running things. My, to think Shogo Okie was so talented. At any rate, Hihaku wasn't the mastermind behind exposing the record of fates to the world and initiating the Feast of Shadows. I think we can be sure about that. Hmm, alright. The person who died here is Shogo Okie, and then like... The first time we played this game, right, uh, we controlled Shogo okay, and then we were talking to Yoko Fukunaga, and then Yoko Fukunaga was like saying to Shogo sh that he has a lot of spirit sense. And uh, in Shogo Okie's route, she died. But where we are right now, Shogo died on the first night, and she is nowhere to be found. So she's really suspicious. And we have, up till now, we play for so long, we have zero clue where she is. Excuse me, are you new to all of this too? Oh, um, I, I guess I'm kind of just tagging along. <laughs> me too. Let's make sure to not get in the way, shall we? Um, right. And you know about the record of fates in Scroll too, don't you? If you were researching the Rite of Resurrection in the Record of Fates, then you must have looked into the Ying Scroll as well. So we are looking really, 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 really hard for the Ying Scroll because it will tell us how to end all this curses nonsense. That's right, the Record of Fates alone wasn't enough to learn how to collect soul dress. There's two records. Record of Fates teach us about Rite of Resurrection. Record of Fates Ying Scroll teach us about how to end the Rite of Resurrection. I'm sure you look into many things on your own, but how much do you actually know? Who and where Seima Mitsuchi Mikado's descendants are? Were you able to find that sort of information with Gamyodo's connections? Hmm, <laughs> I can't reveal that. Then would you prefer I expose to the public how Gamyodo is a fraud with almost zero spirit sense? Uh, fine, I understand. From the results of our independent research. I found that Seiman Tsuchimikado's descendant was Hajime Yoshimi. Well thought if it were according to the Shogos round killed like five like five people in a single night. Hey, oh in this case you were there when that happened. Yeah yeah. When we went through the first route, right? Um Shogo Okie, right? he killed and collected enough soul dress. But did he manage to do the rite of resurrection? We don't know. Cause the day that we, the day that he had enough soul dress, right? We had, I don't know, we kind of had like a time skip, and then he just showed that he died. He he died at, at the end, so we don't know what happened. Also, when you do have enough soul dress, but he did kill enough people. Well, more like he accidentally killed two people, and then the three kills is actually us, <laughs> cause we fourth war this game. What? So that's why he went after Hajime. However, Hajime Yoshimi was only carrying a fragment of the whole. A fragment? That's right. He did say something about a fragment of an- Oh wait! That's right! He did say something about a fragment of an old manuscript. The location of the Ying Scroll was hidden. This information was split into two and hidden in a pair of talismans which were then passed down from generation to generation. Ah, talismans? I see. Hajime Yoshimi was supposed to have one, but it was almost certainly stolen when he was killed. It's possible that he knew the location of the other one as well. So that's why you questioned me about the things he have inherited. The girl Hajime had been helping recently must have had it then. 
Oh, Michio's talisman. Yes, Michio Shiraishi was also likely a descendant of Seiman Sushi Mikado. Who's Hajime again? Thank you for asking, uh, if things, guys. Uh, Hajime is the... F Hajime is this guy. He is the... He is the... Fiance of Mayu Chozawa. So, Hajime died before all the curses started happening. Because he is a descendant of Seiman Tsuchi Mikado. Then people might ask, who is Seiman Tsuchi Mikado? He's an Omnyoji from long, long ago. That, 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 that spread the words of the Rite of Resurrection. And then like, out of the seven mysteries, right? It was believed, we believe that one of these mysteries, one of these people, is Seiman Tsuchi Mikado himself. So, cause this, this, this like killing game, right, happened many, many years ago. It is called the Honjo Incident. A chain of events that occurred around a certain resurrection spell became the basis of the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. It's why, it's how the Seven Mysteries of Honjo, uh, the stories uh, come about. Because these people, they particip participated in this and then they tried to, they also tried to get, uh, get enough soul dress and do a rite of resurrection. So, Seiman Suchi Mikado is sung is one of these people and we still do not know who, which one it is but so far i think he's likely to be the taiko of sugaru because we have no information on this because when you get the when you get the when you get the stone right you get more info you get to see the memory so you can see like oh th this one she's like obsessed with beauty it's it's not her or something it's, it's probably not a uh, same man and why is it so important to know uh, which one is Seiman? Because, uh, actually, I, why, why uh? <laughs> actually, I don't really know why. But we also know that Seiman Tsuchi Mikado, he died, right? And then he resurrected later on. And yeah, so somehow it is important to know who is, which one is, which, which mystery refers to Seiman Tsuchi Mikado. And one of his descend, uh, his descend, um, and Hajime is one of the descendants. What? The talisman she carried as a kid saved from her father. We searched for it based on Miss Chozawa's me memories. However, Michio Shiraishi was already dead. Yes. Oh, wait, oops. There was someone else talking. <laughs> Who was it that said it? Oh. Michio Shiraishi was already dead. Yes, by coincidence, she happened to be closely connected to Mr. EY. So we begin our investigation there. But he was already dead too, leaving you in a quandary. I see. Mio, if we can get both of the talismans. Yep, we are not the location of the Red Coffee Fate Sing Scroll. Wow, sometimes the answer is right under your nose. Sometimes those answers are the hardest to find. So where are these talismans? Two talismans, right? That contain the location. One of them is with Hitomi. One of them is with Hitomi. Uh, we'll be able to find her. She's 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 not really participating. She's just a normal student. Uh, then the other one is with Aya. Oh shit. Oh shit, we'll have we'll have trouble finding her. <laughs> uh the other the other the other scroll the, the other sorry the other talisman is with Ayame Tono. Whoa! That scared me! <gasps> oh, my dog scratched my door and scared me. Jesus Christ. <gasps> oh, but I don't think y'all heard it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting the chills. about the location of the talismans for now, okay? <gasps> ah, right. No need for Yumiuka to know. That was a close one. I almost let it sleep. Okay. Anybody else want to talk? Excuse me, Mr. Investigator. What is it, Mademoiselle? Would you be willing to give out the custom you have? Ah, yes, you have a point. They're too dangerous to carelessly walk around with in one's pocket. However, so sorry to disappoint, so disappoint you. That's not possible at the moment. And? Why is that? 
ah, you don't know, do you? Then I'll, I'll tell both you and our friend from Hihaku over, over there. <laughs> I doubt any of you have attempted it yet. But it seems that cursed stones cannot be given to normal people. Huh? What? I actually tested it with the madam here earlier. Even if you give the cursed stone to someone else, the cursed barrel doesn't change and the stone eventually makes its way back to the barrel. It's almost obvious when you think about it, seeing as how the cursed stones appear to the cursed barrels of their own accord to, to begin with. But Inspector Tsumi has collected cursed stones from other cursed bearers. Then, then Inspector Tsumi must be a cursed bearer himself. Ah. So from what you're saying, cursed stones can only be transferred between cursed bearers. And obtaining a cursed stone alone doesn't make someone a cursed bearer, so they can't use its curse? Exactly, so they aren't quite as dangerous as you think. As for Hihaku's intention of just collecting the cursed stones for themselves, unfortunately for them, it was never going to work, unless there's a cursed bearer among them. Uh, among them. <sighs> Did them, Arashi. How could he not know this? That must be why I sensed that I couldn't take Yako's cursed stone. I returned it right away when I borrowed it from her earlier. That's precisely how it works. My mysterious uh, mademoiselle, I'll give mine directly to Inspector Tsutsumi later. If you know Inspector Tsutsumi, then I think that's best. Thank you. It's kind of scary all the cursed stones are, are, are with Inspector Tsutsumi. Well, three or four cursed stones. Um, how is that information useful? Hmm. Huh? Why just now got shadow? Was there a shadow just now? So I so I, I was thinking for a little bit, okay? Um I was thinking for a little bit. Uh because we have we know Shogo Okie is dead. Yoko Fukunaga is missing. Uh Ayame Tono. Uh Makoto Ashimiya died. And he lost his cursed stones. That cursed stone couldn't couldn't have been taken by Ayame Tono. Because Ayame Tono is not a curse bearer. Which means Ayame Tono is is missing, but she's likely not the person who killed Hideki. Uh, sorry, uh, he's, she's likely not the person who killed Makoto Ashimiya. Or maybe she killed him, but the person, there's someone else who took. Makoto Ashimiya's Cursed Stone. Which I think should be Yoko Fukunaga. Somehow, on the night where Shogo Okie and Yoko Fukunaga were together, both of them, I think, both of them, they got the Cursed Stones. Shogo Okie was given the... But, but he died by his... But he died by drowning. So maybe Yoko got the Whispering Canal and he got something else that night and then so Yoko killed him and took his curse stone that's why we had two curse stones that's missing aka the whispering canal and the taiko or suga sugachi or su uh, the taiko uh, curse stone ah, but okay uh, all these are just speculation i'm just thinking as we play everyone is an og curse bearer yeah then did his daughter have one uh no ayame never had one ayame tono never had one so, Ayame Tono was taken hostage by Hideki. Uh, sorry, I keep thinking saying Ayame Tono is taken uh, hostage by ne the Nejima Killer, right? Nejima Killer found they no curse stone, so it can't be with Ayame Tono. Someone else is, someone else is doing things behind the scenes. The Taiko is it the same place as the Whisper? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. Uh, evening skies. Because the curse stone appear to the to the to the people at the place. So Whispering Canal is connected to the park. Um That's a really good uh question you ask. Uh let go let, let me go check. Is it middle ritual? Are we at middle ritual?
Are we at Midori Cho? Okay, uh, Kinshibori Park. Yeah, yeah, Kinshibori Park is the... Okay, oh, that's a really good point, uh, Evening Skies. Okay, so... Yoko Fukunaga got the watering canal and then she killed... She killed... She killed the guy. Someone else at Midoricho Park... Got the Taiko, uh, stone. Oh my god, we need to... I think there's... There, maybe there's someone else we haven't met. Oh my god. Taiko, is it the same place as the Whispering Canal? Different place. Now we know it's different place. Thing is like, if the Cursed Bearer dies, then what happens to the stone if it gets taken by someone who isn't a bearer? So, just now we established that, uh, we had that question answered. Because the detective tried to, they tested it out. Harue tried to give the, her stone to the detective. But then, he, he couldn't use it, I think. He couldn't use, I forgot what they were saying. Wait, let me check. Yeah, ho. Uh, even if you give the curse stone to someone else, the curse bearer doesn't change. The stone eventually makes its way back to the bearer. It can't go back to a dead person, right? Uh, I don't think it goes back to the dead person. Someone is uh, it's not with the it's not with the Najima killer also. So uh, a curse bearer actually took it from him. Do we know the police guy got which curse stone? Yes, we know. The police guy, Ariel is not the Ariel is not the holder because Echo none. That's so Tsumi got the Evergreen Beach. This is so interesting. But I have to go sleep now. Night night, Tang. Good luck solving. Thank you, thank you. Night night, Tang. All the best for work tomorrow. I'm, I'm guessing you have work tomorrow. All the best for work tomorrow. Night night. But she leaves. Nejima Killer dead. Yeah, Nejima Killer is dead. Wait. Oh, that's true, Ro. What if a normal person kill the curse bearer? Can they take the stone? Oh, that's a that's a good that's a good that's a good point, Reese. We won't know. We won't know. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. No, right, let's just let's just keep playing and see how uh, things go. Okay, I think that's about that's about all we have to ask him. We'll let you all for today, since you went along with all our questions so nicely. A pleasure working with you. No, We're done here. Me. Oh, <laughs> hello, no. baby, the poet. Welcome back. How are you feeling now? But the information you have, the hell you are whining about. I say we are down. We are done. So scram. That's all our business as well. So I shall be bidding you all farewell. Yes, right. Excuse me, Mr. Investigator. Please don't forget about the cursed stone. Don't you fret. I'll hand it over to Inspector Tsumi like I promised. I'm glad I didn't end up having to give it to that Yumioka. Let's take our leave, madam. With this, we'll be freed from this troublesome curse ourselves. Nah. Harue wants the cursed stone. She wants to resurrect her kid, so I don't know what's gonna happen. They definitely won't be handing over their curse stone so easily. Mayu is a giga chat. She is... Mayu is not even in... They, her husband died recently, but she didn't even consider to uh, consider using the stone because she know her husband wouldn't like it. Ah, for all the best, Kurogane! That lady and the investigator. We should keep an eye on them. Agreed. Really? Why? I think they are up to something. Just my intuition. But still. Yeah, I wonder what the investigator really wanted out of all of this. If his girl was getting information about the cursed stones, then this might be bad. That is his goal. Uh-oh. <laughs> that is his goal. Alright, I got one of those cursed stones too. The beckoning light. Alright, if you wouldn't mind, would you give it to Inspector Tsutsumi without using it? Yeah, sure. If you introduce me to the cop, that is. I feel like if I keep carrying it around with me, I'll start getting some weird ideas too. Oh, Yako. I just remembered, Mayu, I have something important to tell you. Whoa, what's with all the yelling all of a sudden? You know a girl named Hitomi Okuda, don't you? 
Really? He told me he has Hajime's talismans? Yes, he entrusted it to her in a panic just before his death. He sensed an imminent crisis closing in on him, and he told me he was the only one around that he could ask for help. That's so. I'm sorry she got left with such a big responsibility. That must mean that Hajime got killed by someone who was after that talisman. But since he gave it to someone else, they couldn't steal it like they wanted. I'll have to thank Hitomi for that. Um, I also think it's going to be hard for us to get her to, to give out the talisman. Yeah, you may be right. It was Hajime's dying request to her. So you two need the talisman for something? Yeah! Hmm, personally, I'd like to use the talisman as bait. Then I could get my hands on the bastard, the cute Hajime. Thank you for the hydrate, is this game scary? Hello, Mumbi! Uh, not so- I wouldn't say it's scary- It's that scary. No, but there is some jump scares here and there. Mostly sound, because it's suddenly BAM! But that's all I, I feel. Water, water, thank you, baby the poet. Hello, Liren! How are you, Liren? We should call uh, Miss Mumbi. She does mostly just chatting. <laughs> How are you, Miss Moonbi? Your heart cannot take, but it looks interesting. We are at the finale too, so... So, um, if you are interested, you could watch from the beginning because it's, it's really, really interesting. And I think if you are watching, like... If you are watching, like, someone play or you watch, like, a walkthrough rather than play it yourself, you... Might be a bit less scary, I, I I think. I think only the at the start when if you don't know what's yeah, because you don't know what's happening, right? It's it's a little bit scary because there's like the supernatural, the ghost uh, stuff. But right now we kind of know what's happening. Uh, it's 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 I feel like it's more mystery and detective work right now. That's a little bit of uh, elements of supernatural. <laughs> Sunday pass uh, so fast, yeah, Liren. Wait, but Liren, tomorrow, tomorrow, there's no work tomorrow. Thank you for the shot. No problem, Miss Moonbi. Okay, I hide behind you. All right. <laughs> but yeah, we are at the finale. So if you are really interested, uh, you might get spoiled a little bit. No work tomorrow. Hell yeah. Oh no, it's you. I, I go now. You might get me. Oh, baby, the poet. Eh? The jump scare is a type that when the ga game scare you, you will be like swearing at the screen. <laughs> Yeah, like, this girl, she always stomp her feet uh, uh, along with the with the old de uh, detective. Please, I promise we'll unco uh, uncover the mastermind behind all this. They probably have supernatural abilities at their disposal. Please leave them to us. Yeah, we'll catch them, don't you worry. Well, look at that. You've got that look in your eyes. The look that young people get that's get that ew. the look that young people get that says they'll get something done no matter what it takes how am I supposed to say no to that you go find them and give them what they deserve for what they did to my hajime you hear we will I'm pretty bad at them myself if punches work on it I'll give them a good one <laughs> now that I can get behind I'll leave it to you too punch your screen <laughs> Now then, your next move should be to find Hitomi and get that talisman. Though, isn't there one more talisman that you need? Right, but we've got a pretty cool idea of where the one Michio had is. We'll have to check with Inspector Susumi about that. We should go back to the school and call him. So right now, we are finding two talismans, right? Two talismans, they, they will give us the location of the Fate's Ink Scroll. The Fate's Ink Scroll would give us, would tell us how to end all this cursed nonsense. Um, one of them is with Hitomi Okuda, and the other one, Hitomi Okuda is a is a schoolmate of their of theirs. They should be able to find her. Uh, I think they she gave them that her address, so they should be able to find her. Then uh, the other one uh is with Ayame Tono. This is a tricky one, cause the 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 police were supposed to find Ayame Tono, but she's now missing. Cause she was taken hostage and then later the person who took her hostage is got killed so we don't know where she is you got it okay i'll head to the high school now and wait for you there perfect when are you going to do the shing shing no shing shing 
Oh no, I'm so scared what Harare is gonna do. Last resort! Oh oh. Is it gonna be nighttime soon? It's gonna be nighttime soon. You can see the top. Now it's morning. So this portion here, right? The morning portion, right? Nobody can use their curses. This portion here, people can use their curses. That's how you can see, like, people dead. And all that. Her open mouth. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, let's go see what she's up to. Hare and Rita rescue Mayu Chozawa and interrogate her along with Takumi Yumioka. Yet they fail to gain any particularly useful information about the curse bearers. They decide to return to Hare's home when... Dot dot dot. Hare is the mother. So the mother has a very 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 strong motivation to go through the rite of resurrection because she wants her son back. Her son passed away a year ago. Hi, is this the same game? Yes, Queen Tut! Hello, Queen Tut! How are you? What is the detective's motive again? Detective? Detective? No motive. Why she kills him? But he's talented. And then, honestly, Harue, Har the mother wouldn't be so... The ha Harue wouldn't be in a good position if she didn't have the detective to, to rely on. Why she kills him? But she might actually kill him. Uh, so we have to see what happened. Um, let me give a shout out to uh Queen Tut. How's your day, Queen Tut? You've been chilling. You're good. How are you? I'm good too. You need guys. Twenty-four bits. Thank you so much, you think, guys. Oh, oh, I have, I have, I have text to speech. So if you want, uh, if you cheer, I think, I think. I think one bit also also can. If you cheer like one bit and you uh, you send a text, you'll read it out. If thank you so much for the twenty four bits. Thank you, thank you. Let me give a shout out. That's why, like, if he aspire, he's used to yeah, her. Yeah, why yeah, is the first social thing? Uh oh. Um, 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 okay. Oh my. <gasps> Food. Thank you. I'm so I'm, I'm feeling hungry. Oh yeah. No, but. Oh, I have, I have leftovers. Have Later, I'm gonna eat my leftovers. Video. Video. Yes. Yes, guys, do you, do you see the cake? That was nice, right? Lao Kam, Lao Kam Ma! Oh, thank you, mommy. Thank you, Benny. Oh, you. is this cake day for you, Queen Tut? Yes. <laughs> Mama Tut is very cute. <laughs> Mama Tut. <laughs> favorite, what is everybody's favorite cake flavor? Last resort, should be something extreme. <sighs> Ah, shit, I hope- it Please! If she kills Richter, I'm gonna be so angry though. But I don't think he, she will, cause... She, I think she likes... Richter enough. Cause, yeah. Richter has been helping her. And Richter's- Richter's promise was- uh, The promise she made to Richter is that she don't kill any- She don't get her hand dirty. Then Richter will try to help her. And they will also try to buy or- Or get- the st a stone that already has a lot of soul dress. Not my type of guy, but homie funny. Yeah, I like Rita. I'm gonna be so sad. Rita is a, he's a good homie. I mean, the fact that he he made the mother uh make that promise. Where where's the mother? Ah, uh, Yeah, she want to resurrect her son. <sighs> I love the basic strawberry shortcake. Mmm, a good strawberry shortcake. A shortcake is is very nice. Mine. I like I like matcha. Matcha cake is nice. Victor the man boobs. Oh yeah, and he got very nice man boobs. Me likey. We have received an update on the hostage situation. The 56-year-old man, male suspect who announced his intent to commit mur mass murder in Sumida City today, had taken a woman hostage and gone on the run but was found by the police in a park in Sumida after 4 p.m. and confirmed dead. The weapon the suspect was said to possess was nowhere to be found on site, and its whereabouts are currently unknown. Furthermore, the female hostage was not present, and the search for her continues. Interesting. If it's being reported on the news, then that lends credence to her story. Anyways, I should ask her, uh, ask about her side of the story. Well then, how should I proceed? Is this what it's like to be rushing to one's dune? What? Whoa! Oh yeah! 
you're sheltering her. Wait. Oh yeah. Remember we found her like loitering around, and then like, and then like, uh, she says she needed someone to shelter her, and then and then the uh, the guy was like was like oh but you need uh, on the condition that you do this this this, then. Then she was like, uh, never mind. I, cause she, then she rather she, she get, she find another place. Uh, but they, but then later on, they, they gave her their address and say they help her for free. But, but she was like, oh, that's even more creepy. No thanks. <laughs> but I guess she came here cause she was chased by the, uh, cause, uh, cause she's getting chased by the police and she just got out of this hostage situation. So let's find out what happened exactly. Well, it's just like I say, right? The female hostage mentioned on the news just now. That must have been you. Which means you killed Ned. Which means you killed Najima with your own cursed stone. <laughs> well, you say you gave me refuge, refuge, so I came to take you out on that offer. What are you planning? Uh, hmm? Me? Well, obviously. I'm on to my last resort. So the her, uh, the mother's motivation is to resurrect her son. This girl, she want to kill enough people and resurrect. She want to resurrect Hokusai, some ancient artist from long, long ago. Imagine you, you want to resurrect Beethoven, same thing. <laughs> she reject... Yeah, she... Uh, uh, I didn't expect her to be a curse bearer, dude. She really had all of us food. From the very start go, from the very start, she approached other people. Right? The first time we met her, she approached other people and she's like, Oh, are you a curse bearer? Because she want to get a stone so that she can resurrect other people. So I guess now we know from the very start, she is a curse bearer. That's how she was getting information. It's actually quite crazy how, how, how smart or how good her acting is, I suppose. Beethoven, girl, 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 he deaf. <laughs> so you're a curse bearer with a curse stone too, right? <laughs> Are you surprised? Yes, I have a curse stone of my own. It's the Taiko Sugaru. There we go! That's the, that's, that's, that's the last one that we have no information about. Then why go after other people's curse stones? Um, because killing people is bad, you know. Don't you think so too? Uh oh, is this gonna kill me? Hold on, let me save. Uh, I think so. Yeah, right. It's wrong to kill people for the sake of resurrection. Right, it's not even one for one, so it's hardly a fair exchange. Either way, that's why I wanted to only use soul dress gathered by others. But that didn't work out in the end. No one had the backbone to use their curse. The world's gone soft. With no one mercilessly use, using their curse in, in pursu pursuit of their own goals, I had to take matters into my own hands. I heard Namigaki, that young man you were with, used his curse stone too. Huh? How do you know that? Eek, creepy much. Are you stalking me? I may have heard it from a detective, I know. Ah, there it is, cops. But you know a bunch. I know your type. People who boast just cause they know a couple of cops. But the police is filled with nothing but scum. My, you seem to hold quite a grudge against the force. Her father is her father is Tetsuo Susumi, which is the old detective, so uh uh not good that the daughter is don't really like the cops and she she act very innocent, right? She act very innocent, right? But let me just uh, remind you guys that um, she and her so-called boyfriend, they got into a car accident and then sh she was the one that went out to investigate the body and then she was like, oh, uh, you can just leave the body as it is because it looked like, it looked like, it looked like it, uh, she suicided rather than a crash because apparently like, if, if, it's a, if it's a high speed vehicular co collision, the body might look like they, it might look like they died from a fatal fall. And because there were no brick marks, so she's uh, she's uh, she's just frightening, dude. So she killed Nejima. She killed and she killed Nejima. She killed the guy that took her hostage. Speaking of, did 
This guy is really creeping me out. What's the deal with him anyway? He can I explain? Even the way he moves is all weird and exaggerated. Right, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... I'm no... No, thank you. <laughs> so, what were we talking about again? Oh, right. Yutaro Namigaki. It's no good, honestly. He was such a wuss. I had to spur him on so many times for him to even use his curse. And even then, he was pissing his pants. And just when I take my eyes off him, he hands over his curse stone to someone. Honestly, it's such a disappointment. So, that's what happened. Which is why I figured I had to do it myself if I wanted it done right, you know? That's why my last resort is, collecting soul dreads on my own. Let me introduce myself. It's hard to talk as strangers. Is it? And you're okay telling me who you are? Well, I won't stop you. Do as you please. Hmm? Well, I am Haruya Shigima, and this is my house. My father and husband are both with the police. Is that so? Then you know the cops are just the worst people, right? Well... There are certainly many who are cold. Especially with their fair own family. In a police family, one is always expected to just grin and bear it. No matter what happens. God, I know, right? What a relief! You know, you understand. I think we might get along. <laughs> well, I'm glad then. And I'm Richter Kai, private investigator. Uh, did I ask? But, um, hmm, yeah, investigator. So your job is to sneak around and follow people to pry into their secrets, right? And this game is long. Hello, Narav! Hello, girl, Ayame. Girl, you are weird. Oh, she, she is weird. She is weird. She act all innocent. Oh, you, Narav! Oh, is that why you keep probing with all these questions? Ew. Yes, there's not much I can do to change that terrible impression you got of me. Hey lady, why are you working with this dude? I asked him to look into something for me. Really? It's just it's just that he keeps looking this way. Let me give a shout out to Naraf. How are you, Naraf? How's your day? How's your day going? How's your Sunday? Oh you playing Resident Evil 4? Oh yeah, you did. Did you get you your uh, your computer result, upgraded, really Nara? You just woke uh, up. Good morning. And me, I open up. Squeaky, thank you for that very squeaky. Hello, I hope everyone is having a great day. Chin Spire, hello, I hope everyone is having a great day. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, welcome in. How was your day, uh, squeaky? It's, you did. It's really nice. I, I, is it running uh, Resident Evil 4 without any issue now, Nara? It not Shin. It was sh it, it was Shin. Not me. It was Shin. Eh? <laughs> what? 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 What happened? You give Squeaky a uh, a shout out. If you have not, I'm not following Squeaky. What are you doing? Please check Squeaky That's out. You play so many That's Overwatch, weird. especially if you play That's Overwatch. Weird. It's like almost. I feel like I think he streams Overwatch like almost every day. You're gonna clip it, okay? <laughs> oh, oh! I saw this. This is like the exact clip from the other day. <laughs> from from the previous stream, maybe. Actually, I don't know. The one where you reset, you know. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Skiki, for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Readers, as always, if y'all need to go and rest up, get a bite, please do, please do. I really appreciate the raid. Thank you so much, Skiki, as always. Um, I'll do a quick introduction. I'm Rai Hati. I'm a variety game streamer uh, from Singapore. Uh, I stream every other... Uh, I stream every alternate days uh, at the same time. And today, I'm playing uh, Paranormal Sight. We are the last episode of... Uh, well, last portion of Paranormal Sight. I say last portion, but... It feels like we still have quite a bit of quite a bit to go. <clears throat> so paranormal side is uh paranormal side is uh is um it's mostly story. It's a uh click wait wait point and click point and click point and click and uh visual novel uh game uh it involves a bit of supernatural mystery um Mm, some jump scares here and there. Yeah, the whole the whole supernatural portion is that you can you can there's the, there's the it's called the seven mysteries of Honjo, and then like there's all these curses right, and you can get a curse if you are granted a curse stone, you can use it to kill people. 
collect souls, collect enough souls, and then you can resurrect someone. But honestly, this time round, they are right. There isn't really someone that's going around killing and collecting enough souls. So... Yeah, uh, we are trying to... Uh, where am I right now? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm controlling this character called Hare Shigima. She's a mother and she wants to re resurrect her, her son that passed away about one, two years. Eh? Yeah, murdered one year ago. Uh, I don't know what they are about to do here. Because both the Hare Shigima and this girl, they have pretty strong motivation. Uh, and I think both of them might actually do some murdering. So let's see what happens. Isn't your father a police officer as well? That man is not my father. Not in name or deed. Sounds like there's some bad blood there. I've already legally cut all ties. He even had the nerve to add all my high and mighty today and still refused to help me. You met him today? Yesterday, remember that chief Tsumi who was chasing Najima? Well, that's my- that's him, my dad. What? You're his daughter? Former daughter, I've cut ties. He never acted like a father, so he doesn't deserve the title. Hmm. You know I heard something about that Najima guy. Apparently, he wanted to get revenge on Chief Inspector Susumi for his arrest by going after his daughter. Wait, really? And I heard the police have been searching non-stop to take you into protective custody. So that explains why the police were staking out your place too. Man, how could I have known that? They came in such intimidating numbers. Wait, huh? Hold on a minute. Doesn't that mean that Najima was specifically after my life today? That sounds about right. It's a good thing you got unscuffed, or rather managed to turn the tables on him. Oh, that means legally speaking, it was self-defense. Oh, but that truly was quite frightening. To think I have to go through this just for being related to a cop, is a disgrace. It truly is to cause their own child such trouble. I'm... I'm sorry. Um, it's okay, you're not the one that needs to apologize, lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just reminded me of what happened to my son. Like 20 years ago, she, Harue, Harue was a, was a key witness in the Najima murders. And that's why her son got captured. Because they wanted to get back at her. The, the killer wanted to get back at her. Well, more like the accomplice of the killer wanted to get back at her. And that's why her son died. That's why she felt, she felt sorry for Ayame Tono. Your son? What happened? My my child was also kidnapped and murdered in order to enact revenge against the police, you see? What? How awful! That's terrible! I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, now that you say, I don't remember hearing about an incident like that last year. That must have been your son, huh? My condolences. Now that I think about it, although we've met a few times, I didn't even know your name. I guess we're more like acquaintances now. So when you, you, when you were taken hostage by Nanjima, you used a curse stone in the gardens and swiftly made your getaway? Well, yeah. I didn't really have time to think on it. At the time, I only thought of how to get out of there. Then? What about now? Could you use it again? Your curse stone. Wait, how did she get her curse stone to work? Heading to the bay, have a good string. Thank you, Shinspire! Thank you for coming in the raid. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for hydrating. Where's your Shinspire? Night, night! How did she manage to kill Nejima? She bad dog this stone. Well, the curse stone doesn't re respond during the day, but. Oh shit! It's evening now. So, I tried using the curse just now, and yep, it seems I activated it. What? You're using it now? It might still be a little weak. I guess it's not supposed to be used repeatedly. But I think I could get it to work once more. Excuse me? Oh. 
That's so. Sure is. So, I'll give you a final warning. It's already started, so be careful, hmm? It... Shit! It's... Started? What started? Ah! I'm getting the creep! She, she's using it already! She's using the curse on. Oh my god, we get to the... Now we get to... You know, just what I was saying, like... Um, morning like you don't get to see the curse stone. Now you, now it's the it's the intense portion where you can. I mean, at night you can use the curse stone, so uh, pe uh, people can die more easily. I suppose. Let me just save. We never know what will happen. Something at shrink, GG. The curse, of course. All that's left is for the conditions to be fulfilled. She activated her curse? The curse stone can be used already? I let my guard down. I didn't think it could be used this early in the evening. Madam, please calm down. Should I do? Should I keep her talking? Oh my god! She's so nervous! <laughs> Why are your curse stone's conditions? Do you have a light on you? <laughs> Cause uh, for the custom we have is the haunting clappers. If they have a light, if they have a lighter or a fire starting device, we can kill them. <laughs> oh my god, okay, this is uh, okay, this is this is gonna be intense. Let's go. Uh Najima's death. Instead of talking about that, how about we talk about why you're so shaken? As I thought, you have a curse stone too. You're a curse bearer, aren't you, lady? I don't think there's a point lying now, so I'm just gonna say yes. Yes, yes I am. I'm sure you've already noticed. Well, yeah, around last night, it was a little too obvious. Judging by your address, I'm guessing you got the haunting clappers? Yes, that's right. There's a lot of soul dress on the table for killing... There's a lot of soul dress on the table for killing a curse bearer, you know? I'm well aware. Did you get soul dress when you killed Najima? Of course, his curse stone already contains some soul dress as well. I think killing one more <gasps> Killing one more curse bearer will be enough for the right. You can combine soul dress across several stones. Correct. All you need is a prerequisite amount. As long as you've got that, it doesn't seem to matter where you got them from. <laughs> I see. Then... You won't mind if I took them- OH SHIT! OH SHIT! The bitches are at it! <laughs> the girls are fighting! <laughs> oh sh You won't mind if I took them, right? Oh, my, my lady. You're quite motivated, aren't you? Uh, madam? Shit. Ah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, negotiate. Miss Onayami, I have something to ask you. No, the answer's no. Shit, am I about to die? The curse, the curse stone in your possession. I, I'm not giving it up. You're right. We are both made of stronger stuff than that. You're not giving it up. And neither am I. You know f You know full well, right? <gasps> Tonk. <laughs> so Bako will prove if she has a lighter or not. Ah. Uh, okay, I still want to ask her more questions before I... I do things, you know. Your father, the chief inspector, I met him not too long ago. Oh, really? He came off a little stiff and awkward. Huh, that's a surprise. But there was something charming about his seriousness. And he seemed like he cared a lot about his daughter. Um, please cut it out. It's gross. You don't know a thing about us. I 
don't send your sugar butt into another family's affairs. Though he may as well be a stranger to me now. Even if you cut illegal ties, you're still related by blood. Huh? We're not related at all. Huh? He probably thought that I never noticed, but it wasn't hard to figure out that I wasn't related to them by blood. So we were adopted? Well, I got curious, so I looked into it. It was all pretty straightforward. Ah! Hello, ah! honeys! How are you? Why we ask Tobacco and that completes the requirement? I, 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 that's why I'm leaving it to the last evening's guys. Use curse. There's, I don't know if it'll work, but I don't, I don't think so. Okay, uh, you know what? Just to, sh j because I think you all want to know what happened. So I'm just gonna. You no, know I'm not gonna save here. I'm just gonna use curse here. Oh, she has a. Hey, okay, I'm going back. <laughs> She has a, she has a lighter, dude. She she must she must be a smoker. Oh shit. Oh, she can die. Okay, I'm not so scared then. Wait, what is this? I think so. I don't think so. I think so. Oh wait. Okay, wait. Can I load to a one that's like earlier on? One o five. Okay, I didn't expect her to actually. I didn't expect her to have a lighter. I still need to get more information out of her, guys. I'll see what happens if she die. What would Rita say? Oh, shit. Right, right, right. What happened? Uh, basically, I used my curse and then she reacted. So I think she she, she was gonna die. You killed her, the private in investigator won't help. Oh, yeah. Hello, toilet paper tiger. You are my daughter. You are beautiful. <laughs> That's such a weird question. That, um, uh, 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 <laughs> if you kill her, the private investigator won't help. Yeah, evening sky. Such a weird opening, man. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, um. Okay, I did the negotiating. Let me just go through it. Uh, her father came off a little stiff and awkward. Let's go back to the place where we were. Still related by blood. Okay. Okay, here we are. This is back where we were before I used my curse on her. She, she gonna, she gonna monologue, guys, and then I used my curse on her. <laughs> I didn't expect her to have, to have a lighter. Honestly, what if you exhaust all options then negotiate? Okay, I'll try that. I wasn't expecting her to have a lighter. Why would anyone be carrying a lighter? Cause and I, I know she doesn't smoke. So, Cause like for Najima, I hundred percent know that uh Harue would have like a hundred percent heat rate against Najima. Cause Najima constantly has that secret in her in his mouth. I was a baby when they took me in. All they did was raise me. My mother first got pregnant shortly after she married. But it was a stillbirth. Oh, the whole affair left a deep wound on her heart. My father couldn't bear to see. So it was for her sake that he did it. I was a substitute, a replacement for the child she lost. He decided that he decided that all by himself. He he didn't discuss it. Maybe he was trying to be thoughtful. So any baby would have been fine, as long as it with it could have comforted the woman who hoped to become the mother. Putting it such a way. It's not easy to raise a child. My mother was bewildered. Wouldn't you be? After being told to raise a baby that wasn't your own? But she couldn't just abandon the baby either. Yet my father just left everything to my mother and never lent a hand. He's so damn selfish. Okay, honestly, that is very selfish. Adoption. As a couple, and the adoption should be a thing they communicate. The two of them grew apart. I watched them try and figure out how to understand each other, and the sight of it disgusted me. 
It was a messed up family, I tell you. Well, I guess my presence was to blame for that reef to begin with. You shouldn't say that. I know he's bad at expressing himself. It has his work, but still, that shouldn't be an excuse. But knowing all that, I couldn't take it anymore. It just made me want to hurry on and leave home, leave home and leave on my own. I still rely on him for tuition and allowance, but that much is normal for most kids, right? I don't want him to start acting like he's my father now just, be just because he's doing the minimum. I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like it was tough for all of you. I'm sorry. You're right. It's not my place to talk about your family. Ah oh, well, I may have said too much. To think I spilled all that when I don't even know what the conditions are. Could it be that what we were talking about has something to do with the activation conditions for the haunting clappers? Who knows, hmm? How did you kill Fumichi Kanejima? Is she an art student or something? She is! That's why she wanted to bring back Hokusai, which is a legendary art guy from long, long ago. Still better than Gon's death. I'm not telling you. I only ask because it does concern me. That was one of the reasons my child was kidnapped. There's not much to say. We talked and he cleared the conditions for my stone. Did he show any signs of remorse over his past crimes? He didn't feel like he did, no. I see. The world is full of trash men, I tell you. <laughs> That's... I agree. Trying to figure out what, what is her activation criteria. Taiko or Sugaru? There was once a daimyo, blah blah blah, it has a tall tower that served as a lookout for fires. Only a designated firefighter was allowed to use a large drum that resided atop the tower in the event of a fire. While most towers used wooden blocks to sound the fire alarm, for some reason, this residence was permitted to use drums. I don't know. Maybe that's why she has a lighter on her. Wait, you will have a lighter on you if you are an art student. Why? I have a feeling, right? The more I talk to her, right, the more likely I'm gonna die. Just saying. So I'm just gonna keep saving. And I, I feel like... I feel like if I... I don't know, I feel like if I talk to her about tobacco, she's gonna know. She has a light... Uh, no lah, like, not say we'll have a light. Oh. Negotiate? No room for negotiation. A desire? What is your wish, Ayame? Is it really to resurrect Katsushika Hokusai? Yes, there's no life that holds more value than his. Including my own. You're saying you'll be willing to die if it meant to bring Hokusai back to life? Not all life is equal. At least, not to me. A life that can birth art with the power to move hearts is infinitely more worthy. Compared to that, the life of someone like me, someone that can't produce a thing, has no value. That's unhinged. I'm still young, it's an age for wild thoughts. But, aren't you the same? You know what? It's her condition to get you to disagree with her. Her conditions are just long conversations. You know, all this conversation, like, she always asks, Don't you agree with me? Don't you think so? And so far, I have not... There's only one instance which I could... We still play... Yes, Jen! As... So far, she has been... Haruya has been agreeing with her. Um... There's one instance she, she said, uh, Don't you think it's bad to kill people? Isn't it bad to kill people for the right of resurrection? Haruya... I, 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 I chose the... Yeah, I think it is. Maybe I could have died then. I don't know. She keep asking. She keep asking us. Aren't you the same as me? What would Najima say to her even? She just need, he, need him to disagree with, uh, with her. Statements are all insane. But both of them are very close, you know. Uh, they are, the, both of them... I feel like they get along. Because like, both like are related to the cops. And then they don't really like the cops. <clears throat> Aren't you the same as me? 
What? You've got a life more important than your own. A life you consider more important than the lives of many others. That's what you're doing it all for, isn't it? You're right. If I can save my son, I couldn't care less about my life or the life of others. Who's unhinged now? I'm a mother. It is what it is. Then the feelings of a proper parent are something else. Yeah, I really think we need to disagree with her. Okay, okay. I... I... Talk to her. But if that's your wish then, what do you plan on doing if you don't get your wish? Oh, I haven't thought of, of it. I might just keep on trying to bring Hokusai back some other way. You really are obsessed. You and Hihaku's chairwoman might be cut from the same cloth. Who's that? She's like an all-powerful vortex of obsession turned to yokai level proportions. Hmm, you're saying I'll end up like her? Are you looking forward to such a future? I'd rather not have to wait till I owe and crack creaking. I want it to happen now. Disagree? Try that. I, 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 I'm slowly trying while saving. Because I want to see what happens if I die. I'll put my life on the line for Hokusai. In, in a way, I guess you could say you put a stop to Najima's mess murder schemes. Hmm, about that. There's no guarantee that I won't do it myself. Oh my gosh, she's batshit crazy! Huh? I got all already, okay? Night night, squeaky! Night night, try to back off. No, I feel like that one's gonna kill me in this guys. I'm leaving it to the last few. I, I, I pick up his custom of the one-sided read. It really is something else. Unfortunately, I can't use a custom that's not mine until it's late at night. Really? Are you okay with telling me that? <gasps> right, we know her name, her address, where she is. She if she has if she is using the one-sided read, she could have killed Harue. I knew she cray cray. Ah, how silly of me. I let that sleep. Hehe. <laughs> no go shape. Are you ready? Tobacco time. This might be it. I might die here. Because if she noticed, like, this, because out of all this, right, all the questions make sense why we ask her, her father, Nechima, her desire. Like, we tell her, hey, do you have tobacco? She's gonna know something's up because she's bloody smart. And I think she'll, she'll throw away her lighter. When you, I actually wanna see what happens when you curse. I'll also do that. I'll also do that. Do you smoke? Huh? Well, a little. Feel free to smoke if you want to, please. I'm okay. I don't see any ash trees out on this day either. Does no one smoke in this family? A little rare, isn't it? Nobody in the family does. Oh shit, Rita! <laughs> oh! Okay, Rita... Because Rita knows the condition for the haunting clapper. So it's just, if they if they have the lighter, they, they, they might die. They, I mean, Harry can use it on them. Then, why did you ask me if I did all of a sudden? Well... Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time to negotiate. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Maybe negotiating is the correct story. I, you know what? I, I think... Okay. Okay, I'll let you guys decide, okay? We negotiate first or we kill her? We negotiate first or we kill her? Let's try to get the bad ending. Which one do you think is a bad ending? Negotiate? You think negotiate? You want to see Bo? Kill? Kill her? I think kill her is a bad ending. I, I want to see both as well. Yeah, both. <laughs> so I think we're going to kill her. Because I think if we kill her, uh, Richter wouldn't work with us. Killing might be a bad end. Yeah, I think it's a bad end, so I'm gonna use now. Huh? Oh! Shit! She realized! Wait, I don't know. Wait! Eh? Did you just 
try to use your curse just now? Wait! She might have thrown it away! It seems I didn't meet your curse conditions. I wonder if it was smart to secretly throw out toss the lighter I was carrying earlier. Shit, this one I already asked. Okay, okay. Go back, go back, go back! No, Jinma's there. Okay, okay. You have a You are a curse bearer, yes. Okay, wait, wait. Actually, I'm gonna try answering it differently. Okay, let's try answering it different. It's rewind time. Will I actually die? Cause... Okay, my hypothesis... I think if I disagree with her... If I disagree with her... I think... I might die? No. Ah! There we go. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I knew it! What's all this time I've been surviving her, dude? I took so long! Okay, we, we just die here, cause... Um... <sighs> there we go. Huh? Madam, madam! Damn, did she fulfill the conditions? She sure did! Okay, it's time for a beat down! Jeez, why do you try to hide it now of all times? I wouldn't have come if you weren't the curse bearer. Uh, uh, Stop! Hmm, too bad. She's already dead. This is hor- this is horrific. I'll be taking a cast on. Whoa! Huh? All the haunting clappers needed was a source of fire? That was a close one. Now then. What will you do, Mr. Investigator? <laughs> you're not a curse bearer, so I don't have any reason to kill you. But I won't show you mercy if you're going to try and capture me. So what will it be? I still don't know how her curse works. It's too risky to make a move. Um, your employer's already dead anyway, so... There's no reason for you to go out of your way to arrest me, right? I could still my, do my duty as a citizen and report you, you know? Oh, what a surprise! This is when you decide to suddenly choose to sell righteousness. She was after the same thing, you know? There's no clean hands when it comes to soul dress. But it looks like you don't have anything to say about that. I'll be taking my leave then. You wanna see what happens next? This game's all pop! Okay, let's see why is this end. Upon killing Hare Shigima, a final curse bearer, Ayame Tono obtained more than enough soul dreads for the right of resurrection. However, it turned out that resurrecting someone who died a long time ago required an even larger amount. Oof. To fulfill her heart's deepest desire, she'll need to harvest more. So, she waited for the sun to set, for when the Feast of Shadows uh, effects were at its peak. And she used the one-sided curse stone she had stolen from Fumichika Nejima. With it, she proceeded to kill all those whose personal information she knew, starting with those who mattered least to her. About the one-sided read, killed by dismemberment, one whose face, address, name, occupation, location are all known by the curse bearer. Many of them were random men, gullible and disposable, drawn in by the allure of a female university student. One noteworthy victim among them was Tetsuo Tsutsumi, who being a curse bearer himself, was promptly targeted for his soul dress. Tsutsumi's death threw the investigation efforts into disarray, allowing Ayame to ev evade capture. Afterwards, she acquired various address registers and phone books and systematically killed the people listed in them. Unsuspecting victims could be safe at home, only to suddenly have their limbs severed. The strange deaths shook society to its core. She killed her dad too, yeah. Of course she did. She didn't, she didn't care about the dad. But all things must come to the end. And so, in time, the killings are stopped.
some time after the killings, a modern day genius female, Ukiyo Ie artist, burst onto the art scene. She introduced herself as the mysterious mad painters, and her fame grew quickly as she presented one incredible work after another. Oh, she managed to re resurrect the person. Praised as the modern reincarnation of Katsushika Hokusai, she quickly made her, her own mark on history. Ending for Ayame's aspirations. Time to kill her. Time to kill her! How dare she! My turn now! Yes, I have a stone. So is if I lie, if I lie or I, if I disagree with her, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. No bullshit. Boom! <laughs> huh? Madam, please think this true. Shit! Burn, bitch, burn! I'm gonna sip my drink while I watch you burn. <gasps> Madam, why? It was the only way. Richter? Could we settle any outstanding taps now? Yeah, sure. Hey, shit lah! I just realized something, ah, uh, guys. I saved. I think this is another bad end, uh, But um, I saved. I saved. I saved after I talked to her about tobacco, guys. Let me say you replay the entire part there. <laughs> I saved after talking to her about tobacco, so... Oops, wait, what is it? I was just curious. Wait, have you heard about the legend of the mother who prayed to the Sumida ri River and resurrected her dead child? Oh shit, it's, it's just playing. What are you on about? Mm -hmm. The mother searched so desperately for her adopted child that she lost her mind. Her son was found dead in Sumida River, so she then built a mount, mount and continued to pray there until... Her son somehow emerged from the mount, back from the dead. Or so the legend goes. I heard it's being adapted into a no-play too. Interesting, and? Well, it just had me thinking that legends really do exist. Um, sorry to ask again, but... What are you on about? So she managed to resurrect her son, huh? So you killed her already? This lady is less murderous than the Cray Cray girl. Uh, wish to skip the performance. No extra killing. Uh, I, I, I think it's just credits, so we'll skip this portion. I think this is one of the endings, is it? Never mind. It is what it is. Welcome to my office. It might be small and dirty, but welcome. You know why Richter was like... Uh, sorry. You know why Harue, the mother, was like, can we settle any outstanding tests now? Because, uh... Richter's promise to her was that he helped her, provided she, provided that she does not um, kill anybody, right? So her, the deal is off the table, uh, basically. That's why she, she wanted to settle her her tap with him. When she negotiated, the curse can be used, but the other time cannot, uh, because um. Just now when I negotiate, right, I didn't ask her about tobacco. 
Before that, I negotiate, right? Before that, I, I already asked her about tobacco and I negotiated with her. Then she threw away her lighter. Oh, yeah. Come on, Ernestine. Say hello. That's it. Good girl. Oh, that boy over there? That must be. Hey, kid. I'm a private investigator. I worked with your mother not too long ago. What's that? You want to be an investigator when you grow up too? That's great. It's so much better than becoming a police officer. Hey, hey, Amamori, don't tell, don't, don't you tell the kid to give out his dreams. I think it's a great idea. Why don't you bring us all some tea instead? Ahem, <laughs> pardon me. Let's start over. What brings you to my humble office today? Oh, wait, he, he, he she resurrected her kid and then the kid, she resurrected, resurrected her son and then the son want to be a private investigator. Crap ways to negotiate, son. Wait, then who's Amamori? Haru's legacy. Was this a good ending? I don't think so. I don't think resurrecting anybody is a good ending. Wait. Or is it? I guess also depends on how you see it. Admits to after Hare admits to being after Hare admits to being. Ah yeah, I need to do everything again. Ah. Wait, 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 let me just try, right? Uh actually, you know what? It's okay, I'll save here, it's fine. Cause I unlock one ending, right? Wait, did I unlock one ending? I kind of unlock one ending, right? Uh... Okay, so... Okay, let me load. Okay, let me load. Uh, okay, I'll do it. let me save first. Save. Here. And then I will load. I'll load this one. Can I negotiate? Oh no. Yeah, there's no rule. Uh, you're right, there's not. Oh, there's nothing I can do there. Okay, um, load. Uh. No, you say since you. They brought you back to this part. No need to say, uh, since you brought back to. They brought you back to this part. Uh, true. I don't know whether I can skip to this part whenever I want. Should be, I should be able to, cause I mean, just so I could skip, right? Uh, okay. Anyways, let's do all this. Okay, I need to do everything except for the tobacco portion. Is her I still think it's disagreeing. Okay, if, if we disagree with her, um it should be her condition. That's my hypothesis hypothesis. Uh Najima. So you must not lie to her. Uh the thing is that the evergreen beach is the one is the one that's lying. The evergreen beach? Uh, this one, right? Evergreen Beach. Kills by hanging one who tries to mislead the curse bearers with false statements. So if you if you lie, right, you you can die. To the Evergreen Beach, but this one, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's also lying. I don't know. We we won't know until we own the stone and we we see. Or maybe it's or or if the game explained to us. Okay, we're almost there. We just need to finish this portion here. Oh, a desire. <laughs> 
See, I knew it. By the way, just now, I, I, I immediately knew, like, if I go the tobacco route, I will. She will, she will be able to kill me. Okay. Safe. Yeah. Negotiate. Mr. Nayami, I have something to ask you. Oh my god, she's not gonna. She's not gonna give it up. We already read this part. What I do then? Negotiate. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know what to do. Hey, wait. Wait, I can't do anything. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, how did she kill me, ah? Uh? How did she kill me? What, why? Okay, there's no choice. I have to go through tobacco. She threw away. Oh, shit. Do you see that, just now? Okay, do you see that? I heard a sound. I heard a little t -t -t sound. I think she threw away when... Throw away her lighter when that happened. And then, um... Richter was like staring really hard, right? I heard a t -t 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 I think she threw away her lighter. Uh, uh the thought sound. And then Richter was staring really hard right after. Cause I think he saw her throw, throw it away. There's no room left for negotiation here. You're yeah, right, there's not. I just use it, is it? I just use it. Okay, okay. I just use it. I just use it. Ah! Did you try to use your own cur your curse just now? Since I didn't meet your curse condition, I wonder if it was smart to secretly toss the light that I was carrying earlier. <gasps> oh yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read this part, remember guys? So like this is confirmed date. No, no, no. I didn't read this part. I re I rewinded immediately. Use curse on the first line of the negotiation. No, we got the, we've got both of the endings where she kill us and we kill her. So I think we, I think this is for the if we want to continue. When did you made a mistake when you decided to ask me about smoking? It's a source of fire. If the source of fire is a condition for your stone, then you won't see me falling for it now. You wasted your chance with all this chatter. All you needed to do was activate your curse first. I, I brought everything Najima had on him, including the lighter he was holding. But it's over now. Yes, I concede. Alrighty. With your cards off the ta on the table, you're out of options. It, it might be possible for Mr. Investigator there to pin me down by force. But he's not going to do that, is he? Correct. I won't take that risk. Not while your curse's conditions are unknown. Coward. I came to kill you and acquire a soul dress, but after hearing you out, I got a question for you. Why don't you just give up on the right of resurrection? You said it was your son, right? The one you want to bring back. But haven't you done enough? I'm sure your son is content knowing you cared for him this much. I'm truly willing to die to resurrect Hokusai, but you can't say the same, right? If you're going to bring your son back, you have to be alive as well, right? In fact, what, what you really want is for both of you to live, right? Ye yes. Well, even if you both live to see it, your son will grow up knowing you for who you are. Someone who stole the lives of others to bring him back. You will be putting the burden of shouldering all the lives sacrificed for him on his little shoulders. Are you really okay with that? She's not. She's not. You know why? Because her son is very righteous. 
I mean, it's a police son. It's a policeman's son, so you can only imagine. The son. In fact, how the son died, right? Uh, yeah, he tendency to put other people's needs over his own. Um, how he died, right? He got tricked. He got tricked by Michio. Then he, he got captured by Michio's dead dad, uh, EY. But then the EY was like, if you run, I will kill Michio. So he didn't run. The, the son didn't run. And I mean, the mom also know what kind of son she, she raised. This woman is nuts, scoot, scoot, scoot. This, this girl, the sweet talking next level, yeah. If you didn't even think about that, then what you're doing is not for your son. It's for yourself. Aren't you just bringing him back to fulfill your own desires? That's not... Madam. What she's holding may be harsh, but holds a canal of... Canal? Canal? Of truth. Don't reduce yourself to nothing but a mother who would sacrifice anything for her son. But that's not... We discovered the truth behind his kidnapping. Next, you should take some time to come... To come and understand your own feelings. I'll help you every step of the way. Getting to the heart of the things is what an investigator does. But... What will you do? Madam... If you relinquish the curse stone to a curse bearer, you will no longer be a curse bearer. You won't be a target anymore. Ayame is giving you a chance. Think hard and then give your answer. This woman is a gaslighter. C -c -can -can canal? Canal? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to, how to pronounce that word. I think she'll die if she gi she give up the curse stone. I, I don't, don't give up the curse stone. So I'll just give it up. Very well. Here. Thanks, girl, you could see reason. Madam, you made the right choice. Dang, Dang you really didn't collect any soul tracks, huh? I promised myself that if I ever used it, it will be only once. Wow, Harue! But in the end, it didn't come down to numbers. So they only need to be carrying a fling? This seems pretty practical. Well, I'll be taking my leave then. There's no point in going after you for so dread, so I'm off to the next curse bearer. You know who remains? You speak as if you have already figured it out. Mm, I've got a pretty good idea from our talk. What will you do? Will you stop? Do you plan to stop me? It's not my place to intervene. Alright then. Hey lady, can I borrow your phone? I don't mind. But who are you calling? Mm, the cops. I think it would be faster if I called them directly. But now there will be a mass killing. I... Ugh. <sighs> Preparing for battle? Okay, I need to go toilet, guys, so... <laughs> I need to go toilet, so be right back, guys! I think we're almost there! I think a bit more... Oh, it's thinking... I actually thought we were, like, very close to the end, but... I guess because... Um... I guess, we, I mean, I guess I'm a bit slow because I, I read then, so I should I take that into account? <laughs> but, but, but it should be ending very soon. Okay, I'll be right back. I go toilet.
Uh, Krogani, you say there will be a mass killing. Uh, for, 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 okay, um, so if, she only need to kill one more curse bearer to, to get enough, uh, Krogani. Uh, if you kill, okay, uh, it goes in percentages. I think we haven't seen it for a long time. We saw it for when we were killing people at Shogo, okay. Uh, you kill a normal person, you get one, you kill a normal person, you get one person. You kill someone with, you kill a soul, a curse bearer, you get like 20-ish, 30% and plus whatever soul dress they already have. So in the, so in the first route, right, we killed five people. E and four of them were curse bearers. I think you take, you, so you take about like 25%, I guess, of a, uh, you get 25% each, 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 cur each curse bearer uh, around there. It's, by, it's way more, it's way more efficient, right, to kill one curse bearer than to kill 25 people. Unless you have the one-sided read. That, that one's just messed up. They're preparing for the battle. Together with Yoshimi's fiance, uh, Mayu, Yako and Mio report all they have learned so far to Susumi and the others. Putting all their stories together, they can see their final objective at long last. No, says that makes sense. Just go smoking area. Is it multi kill? <laughs> That's true. Mr. Susumi, this is Mayu Chozawa. Ah, so you're the one. The Sumida police was looking for you. Glad to see you're alright. Sorry, I should have told someone I was okay. I was just so pissed off. Falling right into Hihaku's hands, I got myself into some deep ship. shit. Hihaku seems like they're up to something. We'll have to make sure they come clean with their head once and for all. Get it? Cause they, they sell soap. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, boss! You're really on top of your game today! <laughs> I love you, Ariel! Stop trying to make me feel better. I shouldn't say anything. More importantly, Mayu, thank you for your co cooperation with Yoshimi. We'll get to the bottom of it, I promise. Oh, you must be the you must be detective Ariel. I heard a lot about you from Hajime. I'll be counting on you. Catch whoever did this, no matter what. Oh, Mayu, did you meet with Hitomi? Yeah, I met her at the spot I was told. She was acting tough, but I think the incident with Hajime has her really shaken up. I briefly explained our situation and had her give Hajime's talisman to me. Here, this is what you're looking for, right? Yes, I believe that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Tsuzumi, about this... Right, you should hold on to it, Mio. Not like we could use it as it is. Try to figure out what we'll need to do once we get both halves together. Understood, I'll see what I can do. You know where the other talisman is? Um, well, probably. This is Hajime's last job. Finish it for him, okay? We will. Typical dad jokes. I guess this is the end of his family line too, huh? All the people who inherited that talisman before him are already all gone. Oh. Oh, Mr. Tsusumi! I received a message from Paranormal Affairs earlier. It wasn't from Nakagoshi, but I had someone look into something for me. So even the dash jockey jockeys are lending a hand. Brings a tear to your eye. So, what did they say? Right, about the Omnyoji woman who was in Edo at the time of the Honjo incident. She was a person of great beauty and discerning taste, but also shamelessly did whatever she wanted. It seemed to match a person seen in the resentful memory for the food washing mansion. Huh, so she must be the one who fought with Seiman over the right. And they found that her name was... Ooh, I got chills down my spine. Ashino. And who is Ashino? The person... She, she's actually alive because she got resurrected through black magic. Oh my god. Um, Ashino is the... She, Ashino, Shino is the person that Nejima managed to resurrect. Um, managed to resurrect 20 years ago. So she's actually around. 
Yokong. Ash Ashino, huh? And what else? Um, that's all. <laughs> There's not much help. Oh, but apparently she was quite powerful on Nyoji. But she died bearing a similarly powerful resentment. It's possible that she became a vengeful spirit with a connection to the seven mysteries. A vengeful spirit? If any descendants of Ashino or people otherwise closely related to her live today, there's a possibility that the spirit awakened and possessed them. Yeah, you mentioned before the spirits can possess people who are close, closely in sync with them. Though this of course doesn't mean the spirit houses her, com her complete personality. Her resentment and her spirit power, those are the parts of her that will have the strongest influence. Since Seiman's descendants are still around in the present, it, will be, it wouldn't be surprising if Ashinos were to. They might just be desk jockeys, but they wouldn't give us this info if it was only speculation. They must have found some amount of evidence looking into abnormal phenomena or things like that. Oh, the Feast of Shadows? That is our abnormal, abnormal phenomenon. Mio, what do you mean? The person who initiated the curse this time, who we've been calling the Mastermind, they might be possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Omnioji named Ashino, the enemy of Seiman. Do we have any idea who they could be or where we could find them? Like if you look at them, Mio, would you be able to tell right away? Ah, uh, It's like how I didn't recognize that Michio had fused with your consciousness, Yako. Common spirits will leak spirit energy left and right, so I can notice them just by looking carefully. But when spirits of a higher, higher caliber fuse with someone's consciousness, detecting them isn't so simple. Oh. I'm sorry, my skills still need a lot of work, and I don't have anything else to offer. Mew, that's not true at all, you're fine. We'll make this work somehow or another. Other. Thanks. Besides, I believe the mastermind behind everything is a woman possessed by the vengeful spirit of Omnioji Ashino. I see. Is this mastermind also the one who killed Hajime, trying to get the record of facing scroll? Yes, I think that's very likely. So that's how it is, huh? Then I want you to catch them no matter what. Uh, let me check how Hajime died. Uh, Yoshimi died. Shit, they didn't write how he died. But okay, if he was killed by the Ashino, right? Um, if he was killed by Ashino, and I don't know if Ashino was using the one the food washing mansion. This is Ashi This is the memory of Ashino, by the way. Uh, killed by crushing one who hears the command wash. Was he? Did he die by crushing? I can't re remember. Think of it. The old man Ashimiya and I getting away. Uh so words already out, huh? <gasps> oh Asian Javia! Hello! Oh my god, sub for sub for 12 months! Thank you so much! It's our, our one year anniversary. Thank you, thank you, Asian Javier. How are you? How are you, Asian Javier? <laughs> I was talking to Kurogane about like building computer and then I was like saying like how PC Teams is the is where I built my computer at and Kurogane was like oh yeah that one's that one's fine and I was just saying like oh I had like so I had like uh Asian Javier also say it was fine and Asian Javier also built computer <laughs> Thank you so much Asian Javier for the for the one whole year of subs thank you thank you thank you thank you Oh, you're having a good day today? How have you been? Um, I think I've been, I've been, I've been pretty good. This month I'm not so busy. Last month I was a bit more, a bit more busy. Uh, in next Friday I'll be going to Thailand. Woo, Thailand! Thai, Thai hearty. <laughs> I should be streaming here and there while I am in Thailand. And then next month, I'll, I also have plans to go to uh, Japan. So lots of overseas for, for the month of May. So I'm excited uh, for that. <clears throat> Q 
He was cornered but managed to take her hostage and escape is what I heard on the radio. What happened after that? So that's all they are reporting. Here's what really happened. He, he was killed? And the hostage was Susumi's daughter whose whereabouts are still unknown? Yep. His daughter showing up was a huge surprise. Even boss couldn't believe it. Damn it. The hell do you expect? No one could have seen that coming. So there's already an emergency search underway for her as a key witness and a suspect. I'll be rejoining the search for her after we're done here. Key witness and suspect? But wasn't she a hostage? Could she have killed Najima and fled the scene? Well, it's just a possibility. Ugh. If we're talking possibilities, might as well tell them everything. It's very likely that Najima was killed by a cursed stone. What? By a curse bearer? Oh, it's already evening, so the effect of the Feast of Shadows will be starting to return. Yeah, which makes it likely that a curse was used to kill him. Boss, you're repeating yourself. Try to calm down for a sec. <laughs> but that would mean... The inspector's daughter is probably a curse bearer, right? <laughs> Did you say something? Maybe I'm losing my hearing in my old age. Boss, you can hear just fine. Don't play the old man card every time you want to get out of something. <laughs> Come back, Ariel. Fro, you're gonna head off. Good night, Fro. Oh, it's 2 a.m. Rest well, Fro. Tomorrow, do you do have work later on. We even talk about how she might have the Taiko of Sugaru if that's the case. Did we? My memory is a little hazy. You've got a soft spot for your daughter, don't you, Inspector? Girl. You just. Just hits a little too close to home now. But either way, we have to find her as soon as possible. That's why we'll be joining the search as soon as we're done here. One more thing, there's a very good chance that his daughter has Michio Shiraishi's talisman. All the more reason for you to get back to the search. Best of luck. What the hell has she gotten herself into? Guys, I just realized something. The daughter has the talisman, the daughter has the curse stone. It's gonna be a father-daughter showdown. Did anybody realize that? Yeah, on leave until Wednesday. Nice! It's a public holiday. Nice, nice. The way streamer casually say, Oh, it's 2 a.m. So when is bedtime today, right? At 4? When I'm... Minimally when I'm done with this game. Guys, we're gonna have a father-daughter showdown. Did anybody notice that? We're gonna have a father-daughter showdown. Because the father has a lot of curse stones as well. Then the daughter... It's gonna go around and try to get the last few kills before. So, uh, for those that just came in, this paranormal site, uh, it's a bit of supernatural. If you have a curse stone, you can, and you fulfill, and you can kill people if they fulfill like certain conditions. So, like one of them is if you leave the curse barrel behind, you can die by drowning, something like that. Uh, uh and then like yeah, the, the if you kill enough people, you can resurrect someone. So. That's the motivation. Ah, uh, uh, I heard you had a curse stone too. Yeah, I sh I should give it to you then, right? Those things really are a pain in the ass. I'll 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 be I'll gladly hand it over to you before it starts giving me crazy ideas. So this is the beckoning light, huh? All right, it's safe and sound with me. Sorry, you won't be able to bring him back. Don't worry about it. He and I will always prepare for the worst, anyways. Uh oh, I think. Uh oh. Wait a minute. That means I can just immediately die to the one side that read, do it. Because the daughter knows the address, the everything of. Actually, does she? Actually, I don't know. Um. Uh. Wait, what, what, what was I doing? I forgot what I was I doing. Shit. I wanted to check something and I forgot. Oh, I wanted to check what is the beckoning lights uh, condition. Because I think I got every other condition kind of down to the T. Beckoning light. Kill by means of the curse they possess. One who has become a curse bearer. Ooh, okay. What's wrong? Damn. The trigger for the beckoning light's curse is some serious shit. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I said you'll give me weird ideas. See what I mean now? 
Wait, what is it? Why is this a... Yeah, why is this bad? Can anyone explain to me wh why is this statement? Because my... Am I in... I thought it was okay. Isn't it just killing them? If, okay, let's say they have like... The haunting clappers, right? Then I can kill them. I can kill them if they have a fire starting device. Is that not it? <laughs> Kills by means of the curse they possess, one who has become a curse bearer. Hmm. I think it should be E, right? So as if I know their condition then, and I activate their condition, then they die. I mean, if they they activate their own wait, sorry, if they if they themselves fulfill their own condition, then they would die to their own stone. How's it work? I'll leave you a note you can read later. We have more important things to worry about now. Right. Is Mr. Tsutsumi? Huh? Yeah, what's up, Kuragane? Does that make it five customs that you've gathered now? Should be. I want to get the other four under wraps as soon as we can. Let's see. I have no idea about the Whispering Canal. So I made off with the one-sided reed which Najima had. Yeah, then shame. After that, you said earlier that the Taiko Otsugaro might be with your daughter, Inspector? Well, let's set that one aside for now. So we can assume that curse bearers are still prowling around out there with, with those with those ones. A Uno reverse card, exactly, Kurogane. What a hate it. Hopefully you can find them soon. Now, is there everything we needed to chat about? If we, if we don't have need anything else, we'll be going back to the search. Um, there actually is one thing. Oh, what is that? Uh, just completely hypothetically. Hypothetically, what if the inspector's daughter was the mastermind? I mean, she's a woman. It seems like she was after the talismans. Sorry. Don't really understand what you mean. Boss, come on, we gotta look at the facts. But that would mean Inspector Tsusumi will also have to be one of Ashino's descendants. Oh right, you're just a normal person, right, Inspector? Unless that's why you're Unless that's why you're so resistant to the paranormal. Don't believe I ever heard anything about being related to some omnioji. Oh. But well if you put it like that. Her being the mastermind is possible. Really? Um, I say it's possible, but I mean unlikely. That's what I want to think. Damn it, I don't even want to imagine it. Boss, if we are going to consider it, we have to do it properly. No dragging your heels about it. No, it's not that. Something I never told her. Never wanted to tell her. The truth is, she's not my real daughter. Oh, but she already know! <laughs> what?! <gasps> 20 years ago. Well, it's a long story, but we took her in when she was just a baby. Do you know anything about her birth parents? You could say I do, I guess, but really, I don't know anything. What's it supposed to mean? I don't get it. Ariel. Najima's? It's... It's the person Najima tried to resurrect, Ashino. We were wondering the same thing. That's why she's so crazy, dude. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna die. Najima's killer's uh, baby. That explains everything. So Najima killer 20 years ago, he... He did black magic, he resurrected someone. He wanted to resurrect the, the woman he loved, Shino. But when the woman she he resurrected uh, came back, she came back as a baby. But at that time, Najima killer, the Najima killer got arrested, right? And... So the... And then we know the baby was adopted somewhere. So I thought we didn't have... We didn't know where this baby went, but... Who adopted a baby? None other than this old detective. This music again. This means almost killed her. He almost killed uh, her. Oh yeah! 
Ro, you're right. The Nejima killer almost killed Shino. This explains everything why she's so crazy. She might be possessed though right now by... Because Ashino... Ashin, the Ashino is a descendant of the... Of the... Of the female Omnyoji. So... Is that why she want to resurrect Katsuhi... He, the Hokusai? Even though it's so long ago. I don't know. Karma? Okay, let's see, let's see. Just now? About 20 years ago? No boss, that can't be. Nejimas? That's right. When we arrested Fumichika Nejima, there was a baby at his house on the brink of death. That was my daughter, Ayame Tsutsumi. She goes by Ayame Tono now. Oh my god, they scared me. Jesus Christ. What? So I had to take care of her. A baby holds no blame for the circumstances she came from. But, but boss, according to Nejima, that baby is his former lover reincarnated using black magic. What? Personally, I think that story is bullshit. According to Nejima, my goodness, it's hard to believe from Nejima's behavior, but could it really be true? I've got a few doubts. We had to question whether the Shino woman ever really existed in the first place. There are no records of her, and no body was found. Her name never came out once during the investigation. Even this woman really existed. I'm skeptical that someone could be reincarnated as a baby through black magic. I only didn't say only because you thought they had the conversation. They mentioned that Jima left the baby to die. Yeah, he almost yeah he almost left the baby who, who should be sh the woman he loved, to die. But he, he couldn't care because like he didn't care because like. He did. He didn't want to bring the woman he loved back as a baby. He wanted to bring the woman he loved back as she is. What does Hokusai have to do with Omnyojis? Hokusai is just an artist, though. So I don't know. I don't know why why she wants to. If there's any deeper meaning to trying to to wanting to resurrect Hokusai Kurogane. Because at first we just thought she's a crazy art student, you know, crazy art student want to resurrect like some some legendary artist from many years ago. Man literally has infinity curse stones and he can't believe one right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right, NC! He literally has infinity curse stones. Can't believe one right of incarnation. I agree. No matter how hard you look at it, a spell with that effect is hard to believe. Even the supernatural has rules that must be followed. Seems more likely he's deluded himself, not wanting to recognize that a spell he risked, his life was life on failed to work. So that's my thinking too. The more natural conclusion is that the baby is his and she knows, and that she died in childbirth. Still, if the baby is she knows baby, then they are descend they are still a descendant of um they are still a descendant of the female Omnyoji, which means they might be possessed by the female Om Omnyoji. As long as we don't know Shino's origins, we have to consider the possibility that she could be a descendant of Ashino. Huh, if nothing else, their names are pretty similar. Okay, assuming all of this is true for a moment, Ayami getting taken away by Nejima and then killing him, that would mean she killed her own father. Yeah, technically, yeah. Calm down, it's still all just conjectures. But now that Nejima is dead, we have no means to investigate. So regardless of everything, there's only one thing that matters. She's my daughter. As a parent, I'm responsible for her. Nothing can change that. I understand. Alright, we should get back to the search. <laughs> to, to me. Oh no, we just... Okay, not... Okay, if it's a father-daughter showdown and they it's like... Kill or be killed, that's, it's a, we are on a 100% lose rate, guys. Mayu looking hella fine. She is... And you know what, NC? She lost her fiance. <laughs> <laughs> she lost her fiance, so she's, she's technically available. Technically. We'll find her and clear up all of this. Yes, sir. Hi, NC. You must be grieving right now. 
a talisman you young ladies are looking for has something to do with this as well. I appreciate it if you could help us find it. So if anything happens, please call the police. We will. I'm worried about Hitomi, so I'm going to head to where she is. I'll be waiting to hear some good news from you. Oh! Conclusion? Is this the end? Tutsumi and Ariel continued their investigation, deciding to meet with Ayame Tono to get to the bottom of it all. What will be the conclusion to the curses of the Seven Mysteries of Honjo? To say one and Ashino's intertwined uh, face. Before she isn't even she though. Oh, they're talking already. Okay. How long has it been since we saw, last saw each other? Three years? How have you been? I think the last time was when you came to see me after deciding to go to university. That wasn't because I wanted to see you. I just needed money to pay for my tuition. <laughs> Not one to mince words, eh? You came alone, right? Yeah, it's just me. Make it sound like I'm handing over ransom money for hostile stages. I just don't want to get caught, okay? <laughs> he came along, alright? Never thought I'll see the day that you called the police. Wait a minute. Ooh, does she still have a, her stone? Technically, right? Her, she's quite powerful. If she can, um, her stone is quite powerful. She just need to play. She need to just need to let hear, let them hear music and then stay hidden. Then she can kill them in thirty seconds. Looks like we might end earlier today. Says uh, evening skies. So what happens if Ariel just shoots her right now? <laughs> if that's an option. There's something I needed to see you about. Well, all right then. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's go through things one by one. The sun is starting to dip down into the horizon. This long, long day is about to end. You don't have to worry about Nejima's threat anymore, but I, sh I sure didn't expect this to happen. So late and you aren't sleeping. Wow, hello, Cowbat! How are you? Are you, are you? are you gonna sleep? Are you going to sleep, uh, Cowbat? You... you have a curse stone, don't you? I do. Wouldn't happen to feel like handing it over, would ya? The police will handle any damages the curse, the curse caused. Now, before you do any more wrong with it. I'm not giving it up. Of course not. Me being a curse bearer, are you after my life? That's like exactly what I'm here for. I didn't come to chat. We can talk all you want, but as soon as the condition for my curse is met, I'll use it. No hesitation. Or oh, do you have more than one? How many curse stones do you have? Three. Not that it matters. Wait, she managed to get three? How oh, she get three? Whispering Cornell. One side read. Hi the typo. I don't click Eh she got the whispering Cornell. Where did this girl go then? Where is she? Where is this girl? Three correct what? Oh, Snejima. Oh, 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 chi, 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 chi. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Oh, sorry. And then where is the Yoko Hat Fukunaga? Until now, we still don't know that. Hmm. Oh, well. Three, huh? Handing that over, okay. Uh, why are you willing to go so far for the right of resurrection? What do you want with it? Even if I told you, you wouldn't understand. You just call it stupid and dismiss the idea completely. Come on, I wouldn't do that. I think he would. Because it's quite stupid to me. Maybe today, maybe today together we can think of up a way for you to get what you want without resurrection. I 
want to bring Katsushika Hokusai back to life. Ho Hokusai? What? Hokusai the ukiyo e artist? That Hokusai, you want to bring him back to life? That'd be quite a feat, huh? That's... you. I... I heard you like his art, but... Why would you do something so stupid? See? God! The only time I ever felt like there was a place I belong was when I was immersed in the dreamlike world of Ukiyo e No, I'm sure you never noticed. Really? I had no idea. Getting late, can't even count. You're right, Kurogane. He saved me. Hokusai is the reason I'm still alive today. I didn't know you felt so hopeless. You will only realize it now, but it's too late. Feeling sorry won't do any either of us any good. From the moment I heard about the rite of resurrection, I knew that was my destiny. If this, if this is all I ever accomplish, I'll die happy. You're really serious about this. Then I'll put this bluntly. Did you kill Najima? And if I did, would you hide me from the police? Uh, well, I don't know if I... That's why I thought your job is the only thing you really care about. Yes, I did it. You... I don't think he even knew I was a curse bearer. He brought me to those gardens and I realized while he was talking to me that he fulfilled the condition of my curse. So I just gave it a shot. I didn't think it would actually activate. So there's no going back now. That's not true, you can still make things right before you make things work, make them worse. Then let me say it another way. This is my chance and I won't throw it away. Your chance? Did Najima say anything to you? He said a lot of bad things about you, that's for sure. <laughs> not surprised there. So I said a lot of bad things about you back. I didn't want to be outdone. Hush. In that sense, I felt just a little like he was my kindred spirit. <gasps> you know why? They... <laughs> they would... Technically, they are a couple in a... <laughs> 20 years ago. I'll send you to the dream like world well, ukiyo A, eh, alright? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> so she got super obsessed over art. Can someone just tell her the kid would come back as a baby? Not even gonna be a great ukiyo A eh, uh, artist. It, okay, in one of the alternate ending, right? She actually she actually manages to do the rite of resurrection. And she... And then a kid that... Uh, like, a few years later, there was a kid that emerged as a... As a... The... The second coming of the Ukiyo A uh, artist Hokusai, which is likely to be the reincarnation of Hokusai himself. In half a past life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of the endings. She managed to do it. No, no, no. Kindred spirit? What are you talking about? He's a dangerous criminal. But I'm a murderer now too, aren't I? Maybe we are not so different. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're different. Am I? Well, maybe not that different. But at least you're honest. I know I haven't been the best father, but I wonder of all the fathers in the world, are there any who wouldn't cover for their child if they, they had committed a crime? How should I know? You're the detective here. You, you must have seen plenty of cases like that. Yeah, plenty of parents take the fall for their children. Or give them a place to hide. As a person, it's wrong. But maybe as a parent, it's the right thing to do. Oh, I don't know. But I think having a father like that would make it easier to go to him for advice if I did do something wrong. Maybe there's a sense of security in knowing that no matter what happened, you'll have at least one person on your side. I see. So that's what it would take. So that's what it would take to be on your side. I... I can't do that. It's okay, I wasn't really expecting you to. Oh. So Najima really didn't tell you anything? Not really, no. Can I ask you one thing? 
you know anything about the taste of Michio Shiraishi hat? Michio Shiraishi? From the car crash you were in with the Namigaki guy. Oh, with Yutaro? Yeah, you was there. Y Yutaro? <laughs> that, that sounds like... So you and him were... Uh, I mean... Uh, not really. He's kind of a boring guy. What? You're serious? But he said... You're getting, you're getting off track, Mr. Tatsu. Tatsu, the Thais one, get, get back to the Thais one. We should have relied on him for this. Well, if you don't plan on seeing him again, it doesn't matter. But with the heat and run case on top of everything, you're really in deep. Is that really what you wanted to talk about? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, no. Tell me about the Thais talisman. You just take it from the scene. You mean this? This. That's it. Picking at the scene of the crash, I didn't want to leave finger fingerprints behind. That's all? There's really no other reason? What's a big deal? Is it really that special, this old thing? Yeah, it's real important. Would you mind giving it to me? Important? For what? For putting a stop to the curses of the seven mysteries. Why you tell her? Oh! So that means if I give you the talisman, I won't be able to... I won't be able to use the right... Yeah! Why you tell her? Then no way! I'm definitely keeping it. Oh, I sc I screwed that one up. Mr. Tsutsumi, you really can't do any better than that. Come on, the talisman. Oh my god! He bothered it! Will you give me the talisman? What? No way, I can't lose the right. I'm sorry I couldn't save you from Nejima. Are you hurt? And there it is. That's not like you. What? You're, you're only mentioning that now? Shouldn't... Oopsie! Shouldn't that have been the first thing you asked me? Uh, well, I was just... You don't worry about me. All you care about is yourself. Yeah, you're right. I've been... I've been selfish, I know. Oh, come on! Mr. Tsutsumi can do better than that! He really screwed that. Wait! Oh shit, did I mess up? Oh my god. Did I actually mess up? Because I didn't ask about the hostage first. Ah! I'm fine, I managed to get away somehow or other. Right, I'm glad. Oh god, hello, Private Kowalski! How is she? Yasuko, Yasuko, I mean. Mom, I haven't kept in touch with her. I've been on my own this whole time. Are you sure you've reached out to her though, haven't you? I did call her this morning actually, just to make sure she was safe. She's been running around all over the place looking for you. Hmm, sounds, sounds like she's fine to me. You just contact her after I called the police to tell her you've, you've heard from me. I... did not. Just, just... Well, I heard you're into nightlife and staying out late these days. Didn't want her to worry more than she already was. You don't want to talk. I think I've let you talk enough. Mind letting me have a turn? By all means. You're hiding something. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? I'm gonna die! <laughs> I'm gonna die! I... I... You're going to bed first. Good night, Kurogane. Thank you for hanging out. Night night. Rest well, Kurogane. Good night, good night, Kurogane. I am. Well, sure. You can't live as long as I have. You, you can't live as long as I have without having a secret or two. Of course you're trying to dodge the question. Now then. Let me tell you how my curse stone, the Taiko Asugaru, works. What? My curse bludgeons to death. Anyone I find out is hiding something from me. So if you try to cover something up that I know is true, I'll be able to use my curse on you. Oh, okay. With that in mind, can I ask you one more thing? Ah, uh, I get it. Why you wanted to see me? Then let me tell you one thing first. Oh, she! The ever evergreen beach has a similar condition. Okay, guys. Right now, okay. Both sides have multiple cursed stones, right? Okay, but I want to clear something out. Um, it is the start of the evening. So, the, the curse power not so strong yet. The... The only curse stone they can use is the one they were originally granted with. So her... 
her curse non taiko would kill would kill anybody who um who cover up something she know it is true. Whereas Tsumi Wan, the evergreen bitch has a similar condition. I can use my curse on anyone who tells me a lie. What? How is that fair? And you use that curse on me? As an officer of the law, it's inexcusable. But as a parent with a duty to his child, I have no other choice. Are you threatening, threatening me? Do you really think that's enough to convince me to do as you say? I don't want to use it either, but for your sake, I suggest you try not to lie. Go ahead then. If I lie, then so be it. Okay, I'm gonna ask. If you try to hide it now, you really will die. Am I? Am I your real daughter? I'm just a baby you pick up to replace your stillborn, aren't, aren't you? And I don't, aren't I? And you could never bring yourself to tell me who my real parents were. So you just kept hiding it. Shit! Right! I don't understand why he wouldn't want to tell her! Who the real parent is, dude. It's a freaking killer. Literally, the person she just killed. So clearly she used that to her advantage. I'll show you blood. I think she knows he won't kill her. Yeah, I I feel like she would know. So they basically playing a game on Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, you have activated the curse on. Yes, that's exactly right, Private Kowalski. Yeah, very fast. This one battle the mind games. Still too much of a coward to tell me, huh? You don't like the truth, so you won't admit it. That my real... Oh! <gasps> that my real parent is the man I was just with. I am it! Is that all you have to say? Then, I only have one answer for you. You are honestly and truly our daughter. Nothing more, nothing less. Even now, you're still trying to hide it? Why? Are you really that stupid? Oh! I don't have any options, guys. So, no matter what, he'll die, ah. Uh. I didn't have any options. Ah! 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 Boss! Boss! Why is your pride worth dying for? Ah! Maybe she won't activate it. Oh, never mind. I should have known. Why? Why go this far to hide it? Oh, yeah, me. Listen. Huh? Yeah, how? Oh my... Oh, yeah, me. Be proud, no matter what happens, you are our precious daughter. No way, how are you still alive? I don't know what that piece of shit Najima fill your head with, but you're not Shino. And you're not Ashino either. You're our daughter, Ayame Tsutsumi. Ah, right, I guess it's Tono now. Well, that's fine too. Tsutsumi Tono. Tsutsumi Tono, both will always be a part of who you are. What? Why are you doing this? That's not true. The curse proves that it's not. Sure, you probably don't have many memories of us playing together. He sincerely believes it. And I did leave everything at home to your mom, and I was barely ever there for you. Even so, when I was working, no matter how grisly a crying scene I was at, all I ever, ever wanted was for you to grow up to be happy. That's it. Why? Why say all of this now? So, do one last thing for me. I want you to tell me the truth too. And if you lie to me now, I'm taking you with me. Stop, I can't! The mastermind behind all this, the one who awakened the curses of the seven mysteries in order to use a right, wasn't you, was it? No, no. I wouldn't even know how to do that. And picking up Michio Shiraishi's talisman, was just coincidence, right? 
Oh my god, he gonna try to protect her, dude. Wait, ah. Huh? Yeah, I already told you that. Ah, uh, good. Hearing that, I can rest easy. You're nothing like Najima. You can stand on your own two legs. You can keep living without escaping into, fa into a fantasy. You can hate me. You can drink all the crazy dreams you want. Just don't ever stop trying to do good. You are a victim of your curse too. It's not too late to atone for the heat and run for using the curses. Don't run away. You can still make things right. I know you can. Because you are my daughter. And after that, just live the best life that you can. You don't deserve this man. Yeah, Papa Tutui. Dad! Boss! Boss! Stop it! Ah, oh, like, <laughs> say his role. Men and their pride, I swear. Oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I go sleep. Thank you for accompanying me while I do work. See ya. Night night, Queen Tut. Thank you for watching your stream. Thank you, thank you. Go have a good rest, Queen Tut. All the best for the week. Don't look so done. Wait, what's... At what? At 6.18, uh, Ayame Tono was taken into custody. That's a father's love for his daughter. It is. But he didn't... He didn't need- Ah! I feel like he didn't need to die. The two of Tutsumi's death was confirmed at the same time. The five cursed stones possessed by Tutsumi, as well as the other three, given up by Ayame, lost their curse bearers. This temporarily really extinguished their spirit power, allowing Mio Kurosuzu to obtain them and seal them away without difficulty. The yin talisman possessed by Ayame Tono was recovered and entrusted to Mio Kurosuzu as well. Thus, any massacre that could potentially be caused by this iteration of the curses was prevented before it could even ever happen. Or so it seemed. Where's the Whispering Canal, dude? Killed by bludgeoning one who is discovered to be hiding something from the curse bearer. The deep sound of John's once more. Wait, who is this? Isn't that the old man Kanzo, the Ukiyo A pen painter? He lived nearby, but he had been down and out for years despite his best effort to sell his works. Every now and then, his granddaughter would visit. He would teach her to paint. It was the old man's only pleasure. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. One day his granddaughter told him about her dreams, Cursor's soul's resurrection. Hearing her tale, the old man was gripped by a sudden zeal and began to paint with great fervor. His work quickly became famous, enchanting all those who viewed the strange image imagery. Even the daimyo had taken notice. What could possibly have, have happened? The people whispered amongst each other. It looked almost as if he had been bitten like a drum. drum. Hmm? Is there a way to not make him die? I don't know, maybe? Is there? <gasps> Do an aerial! Sorry for keeping you out so late, Mio. I can't take my mind off the cursed barrel who was never found. Oh, it's no problem for me. I usually work at night anyway. Did you see Yako home uh, safely? Yep, we sent her home in a patrol car earlier. Apparently, she pulled out quite a fast since she wanted to see things through to the end. Thank you. The Feast of Shadows was starting to take effect, so it would have been dangerous. I can't get my mind off the remaining curse stone, the Whispering Canal, and who the mastermind is. But we had to deal with that thing before I can worry about any of that. Q100 souls can already. How's it going with the two talisman? Have you figured out the location of the record of Fate's Ying Scroll? I have, more or less. When I combine the contents of the two talismans, they form a seal which could be undone. The things inside the talismans that look like scraps of wood were actually a tiny scroll cap folded up by the seal. Who would have thought that the talismans actually contained the scroll itself? So that's the ink. So that's the ink scroll then. What's, what's it say? 
Well, there's one more seal we have to undo to open the scroll. It's giving me some trouble, so I was actually hoping you could help me out. Okay, unlocking the seal. Got it, sure thing. I don't know what I'll be able to do, but let me add it. Whoa, I didn't expect you to be so eager to help. It's only reassuring. Okay, let's see. There are five seals holding the scroll shut. I think we have to remove them in the correct order. Each seal has a different design. A cup, a light, a beech leaf, a taiko jar, and a reed. Remove the five seals in the right order. Okay. If we get it wrong, is it going to, you know, go boom? Huh? No. We just have to try again. I tested it once already. Oh, you already tried it yourself? So brave. I think it's device so that the seal can only be undone if the curses for the right have already been unleashed. And I think there's a hint to opening it hidden in, in something related to the curses. Hmm. Just let me know. Just let me know when you're ready. Hidden within the curses, there's an order? Is there anybody standing nearby? Let me just double check. Hey, hey. <gasps> oh, it's a... It's a schoolgirl pigeon. That's so cute. Oh wait, a schoolgirl pigeon that, that has a... Metal nail bed. Uh, I guess let's just go. Remove the seals. Oh, I don't know leh. It got order ah. There's an order to remove the seals. You mean is this the order? Three, four, five, six. Is this the order? Okay, okay. I'm just gonna maybe follow that. Yankee school girl parrot. Uh. Okay. Um. This uh, cup. Wait, did we have the cup? We have the cup one. Huh? We have the cup one. I thought this one was never found. But oh well, okay. Um, the cup seal then. Oh wait, it's just inside the cup seal. Um, I'm just gonna go down and see what happened. Food procession is the... Is the... Is the door face one. Wait, a light seal beach leaf taiko drawn on the reed. Um... Wait, what is it? Sorry, Taiko Drum Read. What is a light seal? Is the light seal the beckoning light or the... Okay, let me double check. Beckoning light? Is it... Is it the light one? Ever Burning Lantern is... Oh, it's also Lantern Lantern. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's this one. Beckoning light. Because this one is a Lantern. Okay, um... Uh... Beckoning light? Wait, oh wait, it's in order though. The beach leaf. Shit, I might, I might be wrong then. Yeah, beach leaf. What if I just go down the order? Eh? Beach leaf. Oh shit, I pressed wrong. Oopsie. Okay, I'm just gonna go down the order and see what happened. <laughs> I don't think that was right. No, no good. Consult. I don't want to explore anything, so we might as well give it a try. I see, okay. Taiko and Ri. Taiko and Ri. Uh, do you want to save first? You did. Nah, you won't, you won't, you won't kill me, so... um, But oh, yeah, right. Let me save. Um, there's an order. An order. Is it this? No, this is in the order of the. Oh, I know the order. I don't know. I don't know the order. Um... Okay, wait, think. Guess it made sense for such an important I document to be sealed so tight. Might help to talk things over with Mio if I get stuck. Do you recognize any of the things on this sh on this seal? They look sort of familiar. Maybe there'll be something in our files. I see, okay. Anything more? 
Okay. I, I mean, I'm looking at my files. I know. Alphabetical order. Maybe, ah. Uh. Taiko or Tsugaru? <sighs> mm, oh my god, I don't know, leh. I thought it's in the order they appear, they go one after another, you know? What does the stone look like? Uh, the stone look like this. Is there any number? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's a good guess. Doesn't look like there's any number. Wait, this is not it? I think this is part of it. Hunting clappers. Leaf? Green color? Hmm. What is the order? Oh my god. Okay, we have this also. There's only five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, do you recognize any of these things? Any of the things on these seals? Maybe they have something on the files. Consult? How many kills? Oh my god, that one I cannot remember eh, if it's how many kills. It actually, it might not. I don't think. Because the, um, the ones I read, we do not know how many kills they got. Because he might be killing people off screen. We don't know. She was spirited, worked hard, and live a frugal. Her husband hanged herself. My husband, a swindler, who believes such a thing? Is it a story? Okoma. Wait, hold on. Uh, this man must be one of Daimyo's spies. It appears that he's after my husband. Can we see the seal? Yeah, the seal is here. Oh, we can't see it, like... There's no, like, items that we can check. I think. <sighs> Cut seal, light seal, beach seal, psycho drum. Reads you. Okay, I'm gonna check the stories. Hey, but it also doesn't make sense. Because the capsule. Okay, this one is a capsule. Because they look like a cup, right? Uh, it's talking about a girl that loved fishing with the father. Then her father disappeared. Then the mother disappeared. Wait, is it? Yeah, then she, then she disappeared. <laughs> Cause okay, I just now I realized right the one-sided read right um is about Tomezo. Tomezo appear also appears in the. He also appears in the. Uh, which one nah? Hey no 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 it is this one the one side read is uh, about Okuma no no oh sorry um Tomezo was a daimyo spy right then. Dive, there's something about spies in in um is it the beckoning light? No, it was a ever burning lantern, is it? Yeah, it's ever burning lantern. They talk about uh spies. But the ever burning lantern is not even part of the options. I feel like it's something really simple. Let me just write. The cup is number three. Cup is number three. Light is number six. Evergreen. Wait. Two, three. One. Evergreen beach is number seven. So yeah, this is this is all we we can see from this from the from the 
from the what is it the what do they call it the stone how the stone look like okay let me continue uh writing down and thinking evergreen beach then is it a taiko no it's a one-sided one yeah the read is number 10 how are you deriving the number from the from this <laughs> i'm just that's the only thing that's number related to me one two three hey, wait i missed out something oh that's the only thing that's number related to me taiko drums I thought you did that just now. I did, but I, I wrote it out to see if there's anything I missed. It is Taiko Drum. <sighs> Something in our files. But anyways, they are arranged, right? The way they are arranged in the files, right? It's the same order here. The cup is on top, followed by number six, the light. Followed by Evergreen Beach. Followed by Taiko Drum at number Is it brute force time? There's, there's always that suspense after I finish like doing all the seals, right? After I finish doing all the seals and then there'll be like silence and then you're like, ta-da! Nope. Um, in order of appearance, right? Okay, in order of appearance, this one was the first one. Uh, Lights. Why is the beach the beckoning light? Oh, Balcony Light will be the last few then. That's right, Hati. Thank you, Gav. Um, in order of appearance, Beach Leaf will be nice. Finally... Not finally, sorry. Next will be Red Seal. Then it'll be the Light one. Then it'll be the Taiko Drum. Hey, I did the exact same order just now. Did you see the picture I sent in the DMs? No, I, have, I didn't... Uh, um, I did not check my DM. Uh, consult with Mio. Wait, wait! The seal looks like some of the cursed stones design. This means there must be some order to the seven mysteries of Honjo that correspond to them. So it is something to do with the... Um, it is something to do with the... Uh, with, yeah, yeah, on to the right thing, which is there's something about the how the cursed stone look like. They add... Add up to do the death order story. I think it's how the curse stone look like. But what about it? It just look like it look like a stone, ah. Killed by drowning one who lives. <laughs> how I know? It just look like a stone. Like cool. The fish holding what looks like a talisman. Okay, okay. That's a good place to start looking at. Okay, let's see. The reed. Are they connected? Okay, the reed look like this. Is it by the swirls? I don't know. Is it? So has many souls. <laughs> this one has many souls too. I thought maybe like you know, like this one is holding Oh it is holding it holding look, look like a Tyson. Actually it looks like it's holding like a like a Taiko eh. So the cup to the Taiko. Um, then... Okay, then Taiko... It looked like a drum, right? Does it not look like a drum? It looked like a drum to me. Okay, then the Taiko... The Taiko got many swirls. 
Um... Is that... There's like... Some sticks, I guess. Would that be considered... Oh my god. Um... Because the taiko, the taiko, okay, it is a drum, it has swords, it has like the drumsticks, right? Something to do with the death? Oh, we can try the death as well. Total, we can go by ascending order and descending order of the number of death. But they didn't talk about the curse stone design, so I think that one, we might be onto something for that too. Um. The one with the most kills, ah. Uh. Clearly the... Clearly the reed seal. Eh! Actually, no ah. Uh, the, technically, the Taiko Drown killed the reed seal person. Then, does that mean the reed seal person has... Is it... Is it okay, wait, 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 wait. Um... Okay, let me... Then it should be Taiko Drum killing the most, followed by the Red Seal. Followed by... Who holds... Uh, followed by the Cup. These two, both of them killed nobody. Beach Leaf... Tsutsumi didn't use it at all. And the Light Seal... Uh, Mayu also didn't use it at all, so there's a tie here. We could try again. But we go on the opposite uh, direction. Followed by... Cup Seal. Followed by... Reed Seal. Followed by Taiko. <sighs> the shape of the stone is very inconsistent. Seal was applied during the Edo period, so it probably has to do with the events that took place around then. The stone design... The... Okay. When did this happen? With the event that happened... Because don't have a timeline to then. Maybe? Maybe, but it's kind of vague, though. Know? Because it's like, you, 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 I'm just like, looking through, right? You don't really... Coma? They don't really, I, I feel like they, they don't really have, you don't really know which period they happen in. Uh, okay, let me just kind of look through. Young couple and... Memories of the young couple and their daughter, but he has lost everything. His mind turned... Oh... Okay, I think the story are related. He turns the mind... He turns... Beckoning light. Uh, who is the... Omnyoji woman? Okay. Young couple and their daughter. So this before this one should be the cup. Cause it's about the it's cause the cup one is about the is about the 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 mother father disappear and then she the, and then she also disappear. Taiko is the start of the start of the paintings, alright? Taiko is the start of the paintings. Oh, oh wait, wait, let me see. Yeah, it's about the painting. Granddaughter told her, told him, wait, okay, let me see. Oh, this sound, oh, wait, no, no, this one, Taiko is about the drums, okay. I heard they have a drum in their fire watch tower instead of wooden crackers, but I don't see a fire. So why are they sounding the drum? Drum. That one day, that, then one morning, a body was found. Then that old man Kanzo, the ukiyo air painter, he lived nearby. The granddaughter teach her, uh, he would teach her to paint. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 but I got one order. Okay, the cup. The cup one, right, definitely comes before the light one. Okay. Because the light one was like memories of the young couple and their daughter. 
but he lost everything. He repaid his, the kindness shown to him with evil. His mind turned to the Omnioji woman. Okay, I think I need to find the Omnioji woman. Which is... He deceased us, us with the so-called right of resurrection. The man who tricked the people with his false dark, dark arts swing from a rope. They thought about the man that had escaped the previous night, but oddly enough, he was found hanging in the garden of the Daimyo's mansion. Oh wait, the prosperity that the Ukyo A boom brought must have been what fanned the flings. Okay, so the Taiko. Taiko. Is it the Taiko one, which is about the Ukyo A uh, thing? It goes into the beach. Okay. Then, um, we need to learn about the read then. Probably. Okay, okay. It's all, okay, okay. Taiko before. Taiko, the beach link one, yeah. What's the other two? Cup. Cup lead. Cup is leading into the, cup is leading into the, uh, light one. The cup is, uh, because it's a couple and their daughter. Yeah, then the light one, I don't know, it, it, it went from like, memories of the young couple and their daughter. Cup and Kanel link to, okay, okay, I'm, I'm also writing it down. Uh, I need to find the Omnioji woman. It was all her doing. No, the blame laid with him and his inexperience. <laughs> okay, um, I have not looked at... Uh... The green beach thing. The reed? Okoma? Okoma was a lovely woman, okay? Went to the bridge nightly to seek information from Tom Tomezo. She soon discovered that she was right. Husband had, had been deceived. Okoma decided to bring her newfound knowledge to the daimyo, much to Tomezo's alarm. Delicate guys, I can Google and I'll find out. <laughs> I don't need to do all this investigation work. <sighs> okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'll, I'll try a bit more. And glad at having been misled, he confronted her at the bridge. Okuma would not listen. She cursed him, called him Valny. Eventually, his patience had won him. Let me drink up. Thank you for the hydrate, Private Korski. This one not related leh, guys. Okay, this one got daimyo spies. Okay, I'm just looking at keywords. Husband, swindler, swindler. Was that one that was talking about the husband? I think have, right? This whole thing reflects the storyline of the parallel side. No, it doesn't. <laughs> not the whole storyline. <laughs> it's just the background of the stones. Um... Okay, the Taiko goes into the... The Taiko and the beach is Link, right? Okay, let me look at the beach one again. It deceives us with the so-called... Okay, wait, let me see. Uh, Is it related to one-sided read? There was a stranger. It's one of the daimyo spies. It appears that he's after my husband. What is he hunting for? Uh... <laughs> you did Google about how to not let Tsutsumi die. I don't think he cannot die, bro. Unfortunately, the bridge find body happened in game. Wait, wait, sorry. I see you're saying what? The bridge, what? Can you, can you, can you give me a hint? You go beige. Uh, what I knew was your name. Night, night, God. <laughs> Roll to two. You are so sad. He's such a bad ass. Uh. He withstood like hundred of bludgeon attack and managed to tell what he wanted to. The crime timeline of the Nejima murder. Oh. That's, that's true. The bridge find body happened uh, in the game. What well, technically, it was in the river that the, the hand was found. 
because how they managed to find the the body is is Harue, the mother, right? Very long ago, she when she was a student, she managed to find the hand in the Sumida River. This is a bit of a stretch. Okay, I. Okay, okay, okay. Repeat, repeat, but repeat the kindness shown to him with evil. Don't regret nonsense nonce at it. It's not too late to undo it. It's mine turn towards the Omniogy woman. It was all her doing. No, the blame lay with him and his inexperience. Inviting evil into his life. I should have left the right of resurrection well enough alone. A lot of the men's lives begin to fade as regret and anger wash over him in turns. If only I had accomplished it in the end, alas, it's too late. A vague silhouette is framed by uh hunch over near there with regret part. Eh? Okay, he was at the moon he's at the bridge. Visions of past flash true. You 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 miss what happened to Harry. How did her stone end up with the daughter uh again? Uh, Harue made the mistake of asking whether the daughter, whether the daughter smoke. Then she throw away. Then because of that, cannot negotiate, right? Harue cannot negotiate already. So she need to give up. If she she need to give up the stone if she wanna, if she want if she wanna leave. The the daughter actually let her go, provided she give up the stone. Oh yeah, cause yeah she may throw away the lighter, dude. Ah. Okay, wait, this is not part of it. It deceases us with the so called uh, right of res resurrection. While life wasn't easy, it's kind of man who didn't have prosperity of Ukyo A brought myself. Okay, that's why I say Ukyo A is before this one. Which means Ukyo A, which was the Ukyo A? Uh, Taiko is a Ukiyo A one. Daimyo's resident. Granddaughter would visit, and he would teach her to paint. It was the old man's only pleasure. Curses. Sto. Okay, did this granddaughter of this guy? This granddaughter of this guy knows the right of resurrection. Is there any where the story where the girl knows about the right of resurrection? Eh, where is it? This one? I don't know where to put the read one eh. Okay, but she died at the she died at the bridge, right? Wait, wait, there was one that was happening at the bridge. Which one was it? Oh my god. Uh not this one. Not this one. But this one also talk about the Omniogy woman, right? Which is the granddaughter of the which is the granddaughter. Okay, we're getting somewhere, okay? <laughs> we are slowly getting somewhere, guys. Very slowly. It's just a lot of sorry, goodness gracious. So the order now is Taiko to bitch, cup to light. Uh, but I don't know where to put this to. Technically, we can brute force it. <sighs> you know what? We'll try brute forcing it. Cup to light, Taiko to bitch. <laughs> I mean, it can only be one, three, or, or five. Okay, let's do cup. Taiko. Yeah, I pressed wrong already. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do cup to light. And then the one that I don't have a clue about is the read one. So I'll put the read one at the end. I'll put the... Oh, it's not. <laughs> 
Is she gonna give me more hint? Oh, look at the resentful memories. Yeah! There's a connection between them. It is the mother. Oh my god, I need to read. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I need to write notes. Uh. Okay, okay. I, I write notes, okay, guys? I'm in Google. I write notes. It is about the resentful memory. It really is. It is. Okay, I write notes, okay? God damn it. Okay, Whispering Cornell, I have the story in my head already, okay? Uh, cu young couple disappear, then daughter disappear, okay? That one, we, we good already. I feel Taiko first, uh. Taiko first, uh, okay. Um, then what? Uh, the beckoning light. Thank you, these guys, for the cheers. Uh, evening light. Um, memories of the young couple and their daughter, but he has lost everything. He had repaid the kindness shown to him with evil. Wait, or is... You know, I said it was the cup leading to the light. Or is it the light leading to the cup? Because this is the beckoning light, right? He killed them, eh. Eh, he killed them, then technically it's the other way around, huh? You think it should be this one followed by the disappearance of the couple and the daughter? Or is it the disappearance of the couple and the daughter leading to this one? Say cut to, yeah, I say cut to light, but it might be light to cut. Cut. Couple disappear. Daughter also. You know what? I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put... Uh, light. Her man... Man regrets. I'm gonna write here. Man regrets. Uh, he... Cute. Question mark. Couple and daughter. Brute force. No, we might have missed something, so I'm being... <laughs> he said it was because of the Omnioji. Because of om female Omnioji. Okay. Beckoning light. Okay. Then we have the Evergreen Beach. This one say... This one say... Um, this guy... This guy, um, bitch is, uh, Ukiyo A. Ukiyo A fan his flames of greed. And then he started spreading about the, started spreading lies about the right of resurrection, and that's why he died. Right. Resurrection. Yeah, 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 okay. So Taiko... Okay, okay, Resurrection. Okay, okay. We're writing notes, we're writing notes. Then, um, Taiko... Is about, um... The Ukiyo A painter. Ukiyo... A painter, Taiko. And then there's something about his granddaughter. Her, his granddaughter... Very into the uh, resurrection. Okay. Then the read one... I don't know where to put the read one. Uh, the problem is honestly the read one actually. Um... Cause the... Oh, her husband hanged herself! Ah! I found it, I found it, I found it! Um... Reed is... Wait, what? But Taiko is before the beach one. The beach one is the hand... The, is the... <laughs> Taiko beach and then Reed? Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, 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 Because Beach is the hanging, Ri is the fine husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Taiko is the ukiyo-e that, that they say. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
Uh, Taiko, Beach, and then Reed. Taiko is the start of Ukiyo. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then we have the cup and the light one. <laughs> oh, it must be that this is the... This woman is the... Her husband has been deceived. Her husband has been deceived. Um, her husband was spreading lies about a uh, resurrection, all that stuff, is it? Inga is being misled, confronted at the bridge. Cursing, calling in bed. Before, after, does it link? <sighs> okay, 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 wait. <laughs> um, the cup leading into the light. Cup was the disappearance of the. Okay, okay. It's either the. Okay, it's either. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it is either the reed leading into the cup or the light leading into the taiko. Okay? You think the daughter parent die from hang and then bridge? Cut after the bridge. Cut after the bridge. No, I thought the... You know why we say cup, cup uh, before the light? The light one is the... Is the man he... He repaid them with evil or something. You can go through the whispering canal. Okay, okay. Uh, they will leave for the canal every morning and fish till the evening. Uh, Miso soup mother coma made for is to die for. The parents love her dearly. Father disappeared. And the mother went to look for her, then disappeared also. Father, mother, where are you? Don't leave me. And she left her home. Song was... Yeah, then she also disappeared. Okay, yes. Okay, what? What, yes? I'm waiting for you to type it out. <laughs> Ukiyo painter. The boom, uh, uh, husband hang. The wife go bridge fine. The daughter realized both missing. And then the last is the light. Cause talk about both parent and daughter. <laughs> okay, we do it. Okay, I see. Wait, wait, let me see. Husband hang, uh, boom, husband hang. Okay, 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 okay. Send it. Okay, okay. Okay, hey, Ukiyo A pen painter is a taiko. Then the husband hanging, uh, he was wrongfully hanged, right? Wrongfully hung. Then the beach leave uh seal. Uh, the wife go the bridge fine. The wife tried to prove that he, her husband was was wrongfully hanged. So is the read. Then later the oh shit 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 shit. <laughs> okay okay. Oh uh, which we will the taiko drum. The beach leaf. Okay then we talk about the the wife the wife find out that her husband really is wrongfully uh hanged. That was that happened in the read seal. Then the daughter lose both the parents. That's why uh the cup seal. And then the light seal is um the daughter eh the 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 man who killed them he like die after he regret what he did. We <gasps> did <gasps> We did it! Ready? Oh my god! <gasps> you got it right, it's open! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> At long last, after seven attempts, you finally figured it out. I dropped my seat! Hey, what the heck? I didn't know she was keeping track. Hello. She's tracking us. I realized that since there are only 120 possible combinations, I was about to get it eventually. Now we can finally read once we turn inside. Let's see. 
Sure, 1020 times. Oh. Do I share with this? Seiman Suchi Mikado, author of the record of face, wrote the ink scroll because he feared that the descendants of those involved in the Honjo incident might become cursed and used in the collection of soul dreads for the rite of resurrection. The existence of the ink scroll was indicated in a postscript added to the record of face, but its whereabouts were currently unknown. It's believed to have been inherited by a descendant of Seiman. Tests have been preserved in the form of two talismans held by Hashi Hajime Yoshimi and Michio Shiraishi. Contains a full account of the Honjo incident and the following written in Seiman's hand. I bequeath this scroll to future generations to be used in the event that calamity should arise from this grievous Eve's incident. Those who seek to forestall the disaster must gather these three items in one place to cast my rite of rape cleansing and expel all rituals and curses in full. My soul, that is my curse echo. My body, that is a co living continuation of my bloodline. My spirit, that is my own consciousness. Huh? We don't have leh? We don't have... All three. We don't have the consciousness, do we? Hmm, I see. What does it say? First is a detailed account of the tragedy surrounding the rite of resurrection that occurred in Honjo back in the Edo period. The whole story of what we call the Honjo incident is laid out, is laid out clearly. I got checking. Rose said I went to toilet. Welcome back, Rose. We figured it out. Yeah, we finally figured it out. Oh my god. <laughs> the... In the incident was the origin of the seven mysteries of Honjo and their curses, right? Yes, the resentment of the victims of the incident turned into curses, which are the curse echoes. The content are organized like an answer sheet, so it doesn't give us doesn't just give us the information we need. Ah, oh, is there anything else? Yes, here's what we've been looking for. I bequeath this scroll to future generations to be used in the event that calamity should arise from this grievous incident, it says. Whoa, he's foresaw all this happening. And it continues. Those who seek to forestall disaster must gather these three items in one place to cast my rite of cleansing and expel all rituals and curses in full. My soul, that is my curse echo. My body, that is a living continuation of my bloodline. My mind, that is my own consciousness. Well, so if we gather these three things in one place, so if we gather these three things in one place, Seiman's right of cleansing will activate and completely negate the curses and the right of resurrection. Oh, that's it. That's exactly what we need. The three things Seiman's are Seiman's soul, body, and mind. He says the soul is Seiman's curse echo. His curse e echo, so Seiman himself is part of the seven mysteries. Now that you mention it, Mr. Arashi said uh, something along those lines before. There's another hint written here. My curse echo holds my curse. My curse brings ruin to curse bearers. I already know which one is that. The the is the beckoning light. Kill by means of a curse they possess, one who has become a curse bearer. The mirroring one, yeah. What kind of hint? What kind of hint is that? Maybe it would make more sense if we keep looking. But will the curse echo? But will the curse echo still appear if the curse barrel is already gone? Next, the body is a descendant of Seiman's. It's in. Wasn't Yoshimi a relative of Se? Wasn't Yoshimi a relative of Seiman? He and Michio Shiraishi, who had the other talisman. But both of them had already passed by the time this iteration of the curses was unleashed. Then that's true. What are we gonna do? His bloodline was so split up. There have to be others. There's another note here too. Where is it a hint? Another hint? As, as for the body, seek not only one who bears my blood, but one with strong spirit sense. Such an individual will be able, if a spirit attempts to possess them, to instead take control of that spirit themselves. So he says. Huh? Yako! Yako! She was able to take control. Yako. Do we know anyone like that? I can't think of anyone. Really? Let's move on for now. Next is the mind. What's the difference between the mind and the soul? Um, in the paranormal theory, it's said the humans are made of the soul, body, and mind. 
Even before it's Mio herself, yeah. The mind is essentially thought to be the part of the spirit that makes up one's consciousness or one's self. It's like driving. The body is the car and the soul is the control system and the mind is the driver. Hmm, I see. I think that makes sense. So is there a hint for finding this one too? Well, let, well let's see. Does this should the right of resurrection be activated elsewhere, so too shall my mind be awakened there. Seiman tried to seal away the right of resurrection, but before he could, Ashino stole the re record of fates. So as a countermeasure to the right being activated, he made it so that his mind would be released from the seal. Okay, but what does that actually mean? What it means is, Seiman's mind awoke the night the right was activated and that must be possessing someone out there right now. What? So we have to get that person together with everything else. Alright, so we have to find the cursed echo, the descendant, and the person possessed by Seiman. Sounds easy enough. Then we just get them together in one place and we'll be good to go. Right, but there is one thing. The second and third ones could both be the same person. Ooh, that but who could that be? If it's if it's like how Michio lost her memories when she was possessing Yako. Seiman's consciousness might not be aware of who it really is. So if we learn the truth, will he start to act off his own accord? Oh, then that person could already be. Oh, hold on a second. Someone's coming this way. Oh? Excuse me! Can I Oh! <gasps> Yoko Fukunaga, dude! The link back to the daughter. It might be. Interrupt for, for just a moment. It's her! The very first girl that we met who was missing this entire timeline. Um, who might you be? Would you buy this empty can of juice I just finished drinking for 10,000 yen? Huh? I'll even throw in these bones for some fried chicken. You can't be a deal like this. Um, I, I don't really want them. Don't say that. Come on, they're delicious. Actually, I thought I might just have a picnic right here. Won't you join me? Sorry, um, I don't understand. What should we do? But it's not like we need this exact spot and we can't do anything with other people around. Let's just move somewhere else. Hold on! Don't leave her! If she has the whispering canal, you guys will die. Don't leave her! We're still missing the whispering canal. She might have it! If you leave the whispering canal person behind, you can die. <gasps> I'm sorry, we're in the middle of something, so we'll just be on our way. Save? I don't know if you yeah, of any help because, like, I don't get to choose whether they leave or not. Oh my god, wait, they managed to leave? Too late, yeah. <sighs> I haven't seen you for a long time. You have my heartfelt thanks for all your hard work thus far. This brings the story of the seven mysteries of Honjo to a close. And who could have foreseen such a conclusion? Unfortunately, since the so-called mastermind was one step ahead of you, she remains hidden, leaving behind no evidence. Perhaps there is truly no way to stop her. However, should you find this, that this conclusion is not to your liking, by all means, please pursue a different path. You have done it once before, so I'm sure you already know how. What if with then? With then, I shall be taking my leave. I have been your humble storyteller. Good night. Thank you for the hydrate! Morning, right? Me, bitch! Night, night, handyman! Thank you for the hydrate! Night, night, handyman! Was there any other dialogue options? No! Huh? Huh? Go back to the start? 
are the okay. I I tell you, if I exhaust everything in the if I exhaust everything in the how do you say? If I exhaust everything in like the story here, right? It'll be dark out. The only place that's not dark out is this one because just now I forgot to save properly when I got her alternate ending. She got two alternate ending. Don't save the girl. Wait, okay, hold on. Oh, well, wait, is this it? Is this the end of... Let me go check the achievement. 24 or 34? Okay, let me go check. Acquire, complete the story. Case closed. I have not completed the story. Okay, let me go quickly and do... um. Let me die to her. Uh, let me die to her. Uh, and let me die to her and also kill her so that I can get the ending. Might get triangle if we all ending. Yeah, let me let me let me get all my endings. I mean we Go the ending. My mind! Don't save the girl. <sighs> okay, let me get all the endings first. And then I'm gonna burn her alive and then I get another ending. Killing stop. Yeah, oh, MC, this is the one. Sometime after killing a modern day genius female Ukyo A artist burst onto the art scene. She managed to resurrect the guy. Praised as a modern reincarnation of Hokusai. Okay, now I am gonna... FBI, oh, open oh, up! Oh, 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 the scammy! Oh, 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 oh. Mocha! Thank you, Mocha, for the raid! Welcome in! Demi... De, Demi... Demi... Oh, look at the Lechon cookie raid, cookie raid! Hello, a a Eitani? Eitani? Opa? Mocha, welcome in! This is scary... This is scary help! Hello, you got my name right? The the Mimis? Did I? <laughs> Bo and welcome in. Wait, they welcome in Boba. Welcome in Boba seven seven e each. W. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow, uh, Boba. Hello, Mocha. How was your stream? Were you playing Mo uh Maple Story? Let me give a Mocha a shout out. <laughs> Thank you, Demi Miss, for the follow. Thank you. Welcome into the Heartlands. Welcome in. Hey, guys, since we are new people, we'll be doing the raid video. Oh my god. Wait. Muka, Muka is very soft. <laughs> what were you doing today? Bossing? I don't really play Maple that much. I'm a, I'm a variety uh, game streamer. So right now I'm playing... um. Paranormal Sight, which is like a story, click a point and click visual novel game. It's a bit of supernatural, a bit of a detective uh game. Your your stream most mostly been chilling. Mm, very nice. But yeah, I do have a raid video uh, for, uh since we are new people here. So you'll do a little introduction for the stream. This this raid video was made by uh Spiritual Souls, one of my moderators. I hope you enjoy this raid video. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. See you! Welcome to the Hardless. I'll do a quick introduction. I'm Rahati. I'm a variety uh, game streamer from Singapore. I play a bunch of different games. And besides playing games, you'll also see a bunch of hand cam. Woo! <laughs> 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 I still think Donald 
will not lose the best. Will it look as good? First picture. And this is our second picture right here. Sometimes, and sometimes I would just talk. <laughs> we would do just chatting. <laughs> Some people might even say that all my streams are actually just chatting in disguise. Thank you, thank you again, Mocha, for the raid, guys. Please check out Mocha, especially if you play um, uh, Maple Story. Very nice place. Um, very nice stream to chill. Sometimes you'll see him sleeping because he's a little um, sun bear VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you Mocha again for the raid and as always uh, raiders if y'all need to especially Mocha you need to go rest uh, uh, grab a bite please do please do uh, I really appreciate the raid uh, otherwise if you are joining us uh, on our last finale stream on paranormal site I hope you enjoy your stay here in the heartlands uh, right now we are trying to get all the endings I, I actually I already got this ending so like I'm just like skipping through it but you can see this is the paranormal part of the of the game. Where I can uh where they can kill each other if like they can kill each other using curse stones. So right here I killed this uh girl here using the Harue. And this is why she was Settle any outstanding tests now because she know her deal with the detective is off. Wait. Wait. Guys, I got all the and oh if you ask Tabaku, then you use the curse. Uh, then I wouldn't be able to negotiate. That is actually the correct route. I was supposed to be stupid. Guys, nothing changed! There's no- nothing got unlocked. I don't think there's any options here though. Is that a final ending achievement? I didn't get the achievement for getting all the endings. There's eight hidden achievement. I had, I haven't gotten the complete the story uh achievement. Give us alternate. Maybe we need a replay. Mm, I'm just gonna continue here. Until they meet the girl, maybe something will happen. I Google real quick, it says private. Since now we know, maybe she... Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna skip past here because we already know this. And I can't really... I can't really fall for all this one. gonna die oh they let and then they left then they're gonna die technically you shouldn't be getting away then we die <sighs> yeah 
Maybe the storyteller would six ending is not shown on the story chart. Not spoiler, so can say. Huh? It's not shown on the story chart. She was one step, leaving behind no evidence. There's truly no way to stop her. However, should you find that this conclusion is not to your liking? Please pursue a different path. That's his, that's his hint right there. Pursue a different path. The only path where she appears is here. It's the one where we kill her. Tsutsumi leaves? I don't know if Tsutsumi can leave. Because there was no options there as well. This one? The last one? The trapped one. Wait, which one? The trapped one? The... How did... How did it end? Darkness. Oh, she, she got off the place. She got off the... She got out, yeah. Okay, um... This one, if we follow this timeline, she dies. Yoko Fukunaga dies here. If we, if we follow this... What happened with the company then? Uh, the CEO is... They are quite useless. Because actually, they are all normal people. They are, they are all normal people, so... Is there no... They are all normal people, so they can't really use the curse stone. In a way. Wait... After she dies, what happened? <sighs> okay, um... I can tell you the alternate ending. Uh... This one is we kill her. Um... We kill Harue. We accidentally kill the school girl. And then... Wait, was it? And then when morning came, right? When morning came, um... He collected enough soul dress. Shogo okay co collected enough soul dress. And then... But he still somehow died. Oh, is that where the memories... Okay, wait, hold on. Seiman has a memory... Seiman has a memory... There's a gap in his memory. There's only one... There's one path where there's a gap in the memory. Uh, we could try this one. Does it mean they all meet the girl? In this timeline, no. In this timeline, no. For for this one. For this one, he killed the Chogo okay kills everybody. Oh my god, she scared me, Jesus. Uh with your? Oh, so precious. Shoko means the girl after they deciphered the seal. Eh? Is that possible? No, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be. Cause she, he meet, he meet her here. He meet Harue after killing uh, Yoko Fukunaga. By accident. So it's a snack, a woman, okay. Hello, hello Fa. Hi, you're so cute. Thank you, you're also very cute. Welcome into the heartlands. I'm trying to figure out how to get the... I'm trying to figure out how to get the extra ending. Uh, I'm gonna throw away my lighter so she cannot kill me. Oi! Throw there! Oi! Why you don't throw? Oi! Listen to me! Oh my god. But I'm 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 open not... up. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Would you like a hint? You know what? You can give me a, a hint, Private Koski, because I I really have no idea where to go. Fuck! <laughs> thank you for the raid, Fuck! Thank you, thank you! Big, big raid, someone. Let me give you a shout out. Uh, hello, Raiders! 
You just chatting? Were, uh, were you just doing ch uh, just chatting today? We are trying to. ไม่ไม่เซฟไลน์นะคะวันนี้ไม่เซฟไลน์นะคะเทนเทนตอนิสไทยไทยโอเคตอนิสไอไอชิคแคนอัตเตลไอติ้งดิสไทยไทยโอ
Uh, let me give a shout out to uh, my... Uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, oh my god. Sorry, guys. My, my, my mods are on holiday, so... Go. Lazada's greatest when they sail. Buy everything. Wait, Lazada! <laughs> Lazada has free shipping for you all. Hey. Add to your card, cuz Lazada's price is gonna go low, 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 low. Oh my god! <laughs> I love it! Wait, dude, okay, um, I need to chat with, I need to chat with Kuya and Maya, and, and, and Maya, almost, almost called Maya Mala. <laughs> did someone recommend y'all? Did someone recommend y'all? Uh, let me give a proper shout out to Maya. Okay, this one. Yeah, the two shout outs. Okay, I, I, I've done it for both. <laughs> yeah, embarrassed. Mala, it, yeah, my eye a little bit of aesthetic, right? Then then like sometimes I sometimes I see the eye looks like L. Malan. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Welcome in readers. What was uh Maya <laughs> Mala Maya uh playing playing Genshin Impact? Hey, the Twitch event the the, the Genshin Twitch event is still on, huh? Is it is it on? Not this sales song. I didn't know Lazada had a sales song. I actually didn't know. Uh, I know Shopee. I, I I mean, a lot of us know Shopee. Uh, sh a lot, uh, Shopee. Shopee has their... Wait, they have a song also, right? They also have their chime. Shopee! Shopee! Should go clear my cleats. Help me. <laughs> so you go to Lazada, you look at their flash deals. Lazada sponsored this uh, streamer. Uh, follow for more sales song. Yes, I'm following. I'm embarrassed. Mala! <laughs> it's time for supper. Have a good supper, evening skies. What are you eating for supper, evening skies? Prata? I don't know why I think of Prata. But yes. Oh, thank you again, uh, Fa. I don't know if Fa is still there. Fa, Fa and, and Maya. Uh, uh, Raiders. Um, especially Fa and, and Maya. Uh, please, if you all are going to rest up or oh, gonna get a snack or something, please do, please do. Thank you, thank you so, so, so much for the read. I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <sighs> you just com uh, completing the event before you hit 4 a.m. Yeah. Oh, uh, I did like, I did like a little bit of it before I started on today's uh, paranormal site. Uh, Honkai Star Rail pre download. Yes, guys, if you all are playing Honkai Star Rail, anybody who's, who's playing Honkai uh, Star Rail? Uh, I just downloaded my Honkai Star Rail today. Yeah, I was like, I was like rushing through the event as well, Maya. I'll look for, for a bit. Thank you so much for the lucky luck. Thank you, thank you. Yes, um, thank you again, Raiders, for uh, for coming in and say hi. Yeah. Right now we are playing a game called Paranormal Sight. Um This is this is where we are right now. Um I'll I'll give a small background, but uh yeah, uh, we are kind of at the end of a uh, paranormal site. So if you're really interested, I really recommend for you to um to watch it from the start. Because it is the story is really good. I really I'm really enjoying the story. Uh so what is paranormal site? It's like a supernatural it's a vision of a point and click kind of uh, a lot of story. You can choose the decisions. Uh you can you can help choose the decisions, influence the the characters' uh, choices and ending, and get different endings, stuff like that. Then um, the main gist of this uh story, I guess it's it's heavily based on the seven mysteries. Then like, then like if you get a cursed stone, you can kill other people. Kill by hanging one who tries to mislead the cursed barrel with false statement. If the if the people uh fulfill this uh condition, you can kill them. Something like that. Then people are killing each other in order to collect soul dreads. Then when they get enough soul dreads, they will. If they get enough soul dreads, they will uh be able to resurrect uh some. They'll be able to do a rite of resurrection and resurrect somebody. Are you gonna Google how to unlock the last route? Hey, uh, Private Korski uh gave me a hint, a row. Is it the train summoning? You're gonna look for a bit. Gonna get a snack. Okay, go get a nice snack. Thank you, thank you for the look. Private Koski told me how to like which where to play. Where to play, yeah. Okay, wait. I'm gonna briefly scan through this because I just realized this was outdated. Also, once a family living in a row house. 
Natsuki crossed men named Jinkichi, his wife Koma, and their daughter Toki. And then they took a man in by the name of who, of, of who claimed to be a Shomoji. He was on the run, having barely escaped with his life from something or another. Okay. Stranger was really grateful for the... Well, for Jinkichi. I want to give you thanks, but unfortunately I have nothing of value. Is there anyone you want to bring back to life? Turned out the man's true name was Suchi Mikado Seiman, a descendant of renowned uh, Omnyoji. He had been researching the favoured right of resurrection. He wrote everything down the record of fates. So this is what happened many many years ago. Whoever sought to perform the right would need to kill people and gather their soldiers. Seiman had only researched the right out of spirit of inquiry, but thought himself willing to use the right if it was for the sake of Jinkichi's family. Sacrificing someone is unthinkable. We, we didn't help you because we wanted something in return. And then they left. And then he left. Same area there was a ukiyo-e artist known as Old Man Kanzo. But he often looked after Toki while Jinkichi and Koma were out. Young Toki heard Seiman's talk about right of resur resurrection, but being too young to comprehend it, regaled it to the Old Man Kanzo. Ins uh, old Man Kanzo inspired and then he started doing a lot of painting. Jinkichi being a shrewd businessman saw an opportunity and jumped on the bandwagon by carving Natsuki connected to old man Kanzo's uh, ukiyo-e. Me are sorry about the Natsuki, telling the people that their blessings were connected to resurrection. This man unknowingly left us a wonderful gift, thought Jinkichi. Before long, before long old man Kanzo uh, ukiyo-e reached the years of a local daimyo. Then he was summoned. Uh, but what awaited him was not praise, but cruel torture at the hands of Ashino, a female Omnioji who was in pursuit of Seiman. It was her who pressured Seiman into researching the right of resurrection, which she secretly planned to use to preserve her beauty for all eternity. Ashino took advantage of the fact that the daimyo's heart was weak and frail following the loss of his family, manipulated him to catching old man Kanzo and then beat him to death, right? Yeah, beat him to death. In the end, Ashino's cruel torture secured her the information on Jinkichi's family, she and the existence of the record of fates. Daimyo sent his chief retainer to bring in Jinkichi, and the torture resumed afresh with the new captive. This time, she intended to obtain the whereabouts of Seiman and the location of the record of fates. Jinkichi didn't know where Seiman went, and the torture was. And then what happened? And then they hang uh, Jinkichi, and then they say. It's because Jinkichi spread the false rumors of re resurrection, so and then he con committed suicide. Oh, which, which then led the wife to try to. You were thinking a while in the toilet. Would you rather Richter die in place of Tsumi? The answer is yes. Ah, uh, Tsumi is. But I think we are more. I would say we are closer to Tsumi than Richter. We still don't know much about Richter. News of what happened to Jinkichi spread. People lost interest in the ride. Wondering if the stories of resurrection were all but a lie. A dancer claimed to have witnessed the chief retainer's cold, uh, bloody handiwork firsthand. Uh oh. The chief retainer arrested the girl and proposed a deal to stop the rumor. The girl just said she wanted attention. In exchange, she was given a most wondrous stage to perform on. But when the day came, she was suffocated by the mask prepared for the performance. Unbeknownst to her, the mask was covered in glue as part of a plan to kill and silence her. Oof. Koma never believed for a moment that her husband Jinkichi had committed suicide. Certain someone else was uh, behind the death. Chief retainer would not allow- wait, so, so sorry. Certain someone else was behind it, and then she was asking around. Chief retainer would not allow things to escalate any further and had Tomezo, a Ronin who once served as a spy to go after her. She turned the table on him. It was you who killed my husband, wasn't it? And then he cut Toma down because the told he was angry, ordered to take responsibility, committed seppuku, and disemboweled himself by the lantern of the soba cut. All this, this whole story is stringing together every single one of these uh, seven mysteries. So is this game jump, uh, jump, uh, jump scary so far? Uh, the jump scare is more because of the sound effect. Not so much because it is scary. It was scarier at the start of Hoffan, but now we kind of know how the things work. Just sudden not loud noises, yeah. 
Uh, I'm so sorry for those who just came in and you're seeing this like chunk of like words. I'm so sorry because I'm, I'm reading the files now and yeah, it's basically paragraph after paragraph of words. Right? I'm trying to pick up like sentences here and there. Loki found herself, oh yeah, the daughter then found herself alone. She fell in the canal and then she drowned. Chief Retainer, Retainer had made no headway whatsoever finding Seiman's whereabouts. In sense, Ashino decided to set fire to his residence, burning him alive. In truth, all those connected to these events thus far were cursed by Ashino, so that their souls would turn into soldiers upon death. Okay. Sensing that something was at work, uh, Seiman returned, but he broke into tears when he found out about the, about the unfortunate and unnatural death of Jinkichi's family. He realized it was Ashino. Decided he had to prevent any further sacrifices by confronting her at Hoonjin Bridge. Then they had a fierce battle of spells. Uh, Ashino defeated Seiman and obtained the record face, but he had placed a curse upon her foot. Ashino dragged her foot, corrupted and horribly inflamed. And then she sought refuge at the nearby residence, angrily demanded they wash her feet, and that's why we have the one of the ooh, the foot washing mansion. Ashino died there, filled with agony, and her Mana? foot cursed and Mana? rotten. Sorry. What's the hint? Seiman brought back to life, knowing that there will be enough soldiers in place during their confrontation. He prepared a spell that will activate the right of resurrection upon his passing. Damn. Feeling that his curiosity was responsible for the tra terrible tragedy, then he he want to seal the whole thing away. Okay. Then he wrote the record of facing skip ink scroll to do a write off. <laughs> Cleansing. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, Willow KK. <laughs> oh yeah, let me give a shout out to Hoffan as well. Sorry. Okay, now we are done like reading the the entire chunk of words. Um, let me give a shout out to. Jesus! I can't believe Wheeler KK do this to me. Just because I didn't I didn't say hi for a while, Wheeler KK. Looks like a trap. <laughs> Try and lure me now. <laughs> uh, he committed Sudoku, dang! Uh what's the hint? Wait, oh, uh basically Yo, private this, Kowalski this told me to play thing. from Kinshibori Park 3. So I'm gonna start from here. This will get me another ending, I think. Oh my god, it's karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be starting here. You're meeting your bestie at like noon tomorrow. Oh no, it's 4am! But staying up for this is worth it. Thank you so much, Ro. Please go to sleep soon. Wait, what? What did she say? Huh? Oh good, you're awake! Wow, well, I am... Uh... Are you okay? You were so rattled and confused, I thought you really lost it. You feel dizzy? Have a headache? Okay, okay, guys, um... Let me just, okay, let me go back to the story chart and explain why is it, why starting from here is the correct. This is the part they received the curses. Okay, then one of the author route is he killed uh Shogo Okie killed the girl and then he proceeded to kill other people. But otherwise, uh if he manages to if he manages if he doesn't kill the girl, right? If he doesn't turn around and kill the girl, it was also very weird how he accidentally killed the girl. Uh if he doesn't turn around and then he managed to keep Yoko uh I think Yoko oh Yoko is getting possessed pro probably maybe it's part 3 after Yoko died hey heavens my plans are in the evening I invested I thought you meeting me at noon <laughs> thank you for shout no problem uh we look okay okay I feel like I want to show you guys what happened okay uh, prior to this. Something's happening to Yoko. So, towards the end, right, um, all the curses activated. Whoa! What the hell? Feels like the air just changed. And she's just pointing at us. Behind. Okay. 
Then she said, Yo, there's something behind. Ha! And then if you look behind, and then you're like, Hey, there's nothing. You're like, There's nothing. There's nothing behind. And then I think if you look around, I'm not too sure. Where is she? Did she die? I look around already, ma'am. Hey, 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 no, no. Oh, shit. I, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? No, 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 no. Do it again, do it again, do it again. I want, I want, I want the part where she die, okay? <laughs> I want the part where she die. I want the part where she die. Or, or can I no longer kill her? Think. Something's got her really rattled. Can I not kill her anymore? Is was that only a one-time thing? I think it's a one-time thing. God damn it. There's nothing behind. I don't know what curse stones they have here. Uh we spent canal. Sorry to go, brain cells need to focus. First time this scene took place. Yeah, NC was here the f when, when this happened. It was hilarious. So, she pointed at something, right? And then we look around. Then we're like, hey, there's nothing there. And then we... We turn back and then she's dead, dude. But she's still alive here, so I don't know what to do. Feel eyes on my back, I can't move. Is there something behind me? Okay, let me just like stare over here. Is it helping? Pink. What's this? Push? Ah, uh, don't get this! What's going on? Did something happen? Yoko? And then, uh, oh, that, that, and then that's how she died. I can provide the hints when needed. Maybe you die. Okay. So I'm showing, I'm showing, uh, Recap of what happened. Horror comedy, lol. Wait, what stone is this? Whispering canal. I don't know how she died though. Because you know why is the whispering canal? She didn't even leave us. Maybe she tried to leave us. That's why she died. Whispering canal. This is the curse. Killed by Johnny, one who leaves the curse bearer behind. So this is, this is what happened. But the thing, thing is who activated it? Him? Don't know. I don't know what happened there. There's, this is the this is by far the weirdest death. Cause later on he picked up the stone. He he picked up the 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 cursed stone. It wasn't even on him. Don't go to the ending. Then uh okay so the other alternate. Um, the other alternate route, right, is you don't turn around. I mean, not that you don't turn. Yeah, actually, it's you don't turn around. Yeah. Just keep talking to her, I think. Hello? So this should be the, cor this should be the correct route now. You had done the same. <laughs> say it's all fun. Is calling her name really going to help? I'm already yelling as hard as I can. Should I look for what's causing this? No, I say no. There's nothing there! Yoko, hang there, Yoko. Look at me. You're going to be okay. It's alright. There's nothing there. Yoko! And then we move on to here. will lead to the true end. I think, I don't know if this will lead to the true end, but this will lead to ending 6. Yoko, don't go! <laughs> Is she okay? Huh? Oh good, you're, you're awake. What, what? I, um... Are you okay? You were so rattled and confused, I thought you really lost it. Do you feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off balance? Wait, what did you say? I think I heard that before. You're the one who said it earlier. Alright. Oh, Alright. That might have been it. My humors were off balance. 
what what bad there? You end up like that because of your humors? Yeah, I heard that at this age, your humors being even a little bit off can be fatal. <laughs> I'm glad you're back to normal now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you so much trouble. But I really don't re remember what happened. Hmm, so, sounds like what happened to me. Maybe this place is dangerous somehow. What? Are you black backing out? Yeah, it just doesn't feel safe to me, but and I'm worried about you. Let's call off today's investigation. Come on, I just started feeling normal too. Nope, not happening. Go home. I'll even pay your cat fare, okay? I end up having to force a still protesting Yoko into a taxi. Even then she still wouldn't stop complaining. So to placate her, I promise I'll search the park on my own for a little while longer. She need, she need Yoko, Yoko. Wait, does that mean she got possessed? Wait! <laughs> Private! Why? I thought... Isn't this it? Where's my extra ending? Private! <laughs> Private Kowalski! No, want the hint? <gasps> There's something else I need to do? Private guy. There's something else I need to do? Am I not doing something? Private Kowalski. Okay, give me another hint. Give me another hint. Give me another hint. But there was... Go to Shogo Okie. The one that branches off when you meet. Oh, 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 when you meet Takumi. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I understand which one. This one I won't meet Takumi. The one I meet Takumi is over. Oh! Ah, yeah, there's two of the Kinshibori Park tree. Wait, wait. Uh. Okay. Start talking to. But do not turn around to look at Yoko. Wait, wait, where is this part? If I want to use my curse on him, I have to get him to walk away and leave me. Now what would convince him to do that? Okay. I need a topic that will keep him talking. Uh, my curse stone? Okay. This guy will try to make me turn around and then he'll kill me when I turn around. About Yoko? Uh, so I, I'm just quickly skipping through because I already know all of this. So if you read fast, you might be able to catch some of it if you haven't seen this part. Okay, after we finish talking to him, he'll be like, Hey, your, uh, he'll be like, Oh, your friend, there's something happening to your friend behind you. He, he say, Cause your, and Yoko is dead behind us, right? Yeah, this part. I don't believe I just saw your companion move. She what? Wait, where is it? Hand the screen to the right of Takumi, but do not turn around to look at Yoko or you'll be cute. You will spot the beckoning light curse echo. Over there. Interact with it. Pen left, then pen right, and you see the curse echo. Pen left. Interact, pen left back to Takumi, then pen right again to see that has moved. Oh! It's coming closer! Pen right again, okay. Touch it? Huh? Who is this? Guys, this is none other than Seiman. Beckoning light is Seiman, right? 
Yeah, it's Seiman's, uh, it is Seiman. This is his curse echo. This is Seiman's curse e echo. Hey! Am I supposed to touch it? Oh no, I'm gonna get jump scared with Oh, 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 oh! But is this, uh, would this give me cleansing? When the body, soul, and mind of Seiman, Tsuchi, Mikado have all been brought together, the right of cleansing is activated. This is the mind of Seiman. Eh, hey, no, this is a curse echo of Seiman. What? Wait, 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 wait. You can only activate this after the puzzle. I don't know. I don't know actually. No, it should be. It should be. Cause I remember the. Wait, I'm trying to find it right now. Ah. Uh. This one. So why do we want to do a rite of cleansing? Cause it will expel all rituals and curses. My soul that is a curse echo. My body that is a living continuation of my bloodline. Who then? Wow, then. Okay, wow, then, I guess. Is the. Oh! My own consciousness. Oh, okay, wait. So, Shogo Okie is. Is a descendant, and he also. He also got. Eh? <laughs> he also got. He also got. Possessed? I'm sure I didn't want to spoil myself too much. Okay, let's just go in and see. I'm sure one of us will have seen it first time. Hey, I want to see it! My, my! Finally, you have arrived at this jun juncture. I expected no less from you. That would mean that you would have managed to bring everything to light. So there is a possibility that you have won, won out here by chance. So before I take you any further, I must ask you a number of questions. <gasps> okay, so you can accidentally get here. You can get here by accident. But if you fail his questions, then you won't get the ending here. Thank you for risking yourself, Private Korski. Firstly, which curse echo represents the soul of Seiman Mitsushi Mikado? I mean, you can see the light by the accident. Yeah. Um, the beckoning light. Yes, that is exactly it. After his defeat at the hands of Ashino in the Honjo incident, Seiman wandered about near Hoonji. The form of his cursed echo changed over time with the legend he left behind. This is the cursed echo which was acquired by Mayu Chozawa. But when called forth by Seiman's body and mind, it appeared momentarily really uh, before him. Let us continue. Who served as a self of Seiman Tsuchi Mikado? Who has his body, his descendant, who carried his blood in their veins. Uh... Yoshimi. But he's not there though. But Yoshimi is the answer. Are you toying with me, perhaps? I'm afraid hum humor will not get you far here. Please answer me once more. <gasps> Shogo? We should, show we should, we should be Shogo, right? Cause you know how to activate. Well, I'm scared. Of I'm very scared of angering this old man. Shogo then. Oh, it is Shogo. Correct again. Although Shoku Shogo Okie was born to an ordinary family, the blood of a distant relative ran thick in his in his veins. In truth, the same is true for Yoko Fukunaga. She was also one who had the blood of a distant <gasps> relative coursing through her. In her case, it was Ashino. Seiman and Ashino, fated to meet again, all these hundreds of years later. Now for my final question. Who is the mind of Seiman Sushi Mikado? Tell me the name of the person whose consciousness was directly tied to his. Shogo again. I see, you believe it to be Shogo? I'm not afraid 
sure that it's not. The answer to this is most important, so please, answer me once more. The daughter? What is the question? Name of the person whose consciousness was directly tied to his. Uh... The un no, don't say it! Don't say it! <laughs> Wait, what's the answer? Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh... Wait, is it us? It must be us! Because all this time, we are able to fourth wall. Speaking to Mayu like that too, no? Yeah! It's us. We are the driver. Me. <laughs> you believe it to me, me? Wait. Okay. He asked me for my name before. This storyteller has asked me for my name before. I can't remember. I think I said right hearty. And then he was like, oh, I thought it was right heart. And then I, I got freaked out then. I got freaked out <laughs> when he did that. <laughs> the very first time. We sure the capital is correct. I think it should be like this, yeah. Oh, I see. You believe it to be right hearty. Are you saying you believe it to be yourself? <laughs> Are you certain? Yes. You are correct. Finally, you have remembered. That's right. You are Seiman's consciousness awoken by the curses and the rite of resurrection. However, having lost your memories, you forgot about the duty assigned to you. This is, if I may so, if I may say so, where I play my part, guiding you through the events of this story. As your consciousness was all that was left of you, you manipulated time and space by way of the story chart, jumping from vessel to vessel, and manipulated your host's action by whispering commands into their ears. In doing so, you were able to get the full picture of what needed to be done. But at one point, while still unconscious, you managed to re remember your duty. The so-called mastermind behind these events, the one who awakened the right and the curses, was Yoko Fukunaga, descendant of Ashino herself. You did it, Ayo, this is not why they asked us. I mean, if, they, if you didn't start the game, this all wouldn't happen. You unconsciously activated your curse. <gasps> you unconsciously activated your curse and killed her. How interesting that she awakened Seiman's consciousness at the same time as the curses. There was the one and only time she could have been stopped. Ah, uh, but due to your influence on Shogo Okie's will, Yoko Fukunaga was brought back to life. Okay, so what he meant here? There is one... Shogo Okie accidentally killed Yoko Fukunaga. Then he wake up, he, he turned around and then... Yoko is dead, right? Then he was like, oh! Like, what happened? And then you know what the stupid Shogo Okie decided to do? I will resurrect Yoko Fukunaga, dude. And then he went to kill a bunch of people and... He managed to get enough soul dress. When you got a bad ending when Mio and Ariel died, the storyteller said the mastermind was one step ahead of you. So technically, they told us Yoko was Ashino. The curse started because someone was hor horny no <laughs> Using the story chart to undo her death. I led you to believe that it was the work of the Rite of Resurrection itself. But as it turns out, seeing what would transpire if the mastermind was not killed at the outset, is what ultimately revealed the way to put an end to the curses for good. 
there were certain things which would have answered all your questions had you noticed them. For example, even while under your control, Shogo Okie willingly used his curse. Oh, he did! Remember when we were with Shogo Okie, right? We couldn't control when the curse activate. He just... Oh! It was because he's a... It's because he's a... He's a descendant of Seiman... Uh, he's a descendant of Seiman, so he can actually like so-called rebel against our wishes. When I asked you early on how many Shogo Okie had killed, this is what I meant. Had you not used the curse, Shogo Okie would have done so of his own accord. Furthermore, Mayu Chozawa was able to recall information which only you knew. She was able to do this because she was connected to you through her curse echo, the beckoning light. <gasps> she also contacted- WHAT?! She's evil, do it! She became consumed with the ambition to restore her family's lost glory. To succeed where Ashino failed. And perform the rite of resurrection. She developed her spiritual and cursed powers. She plotted to use the curses of seven mysteries of Honjo to gather a large number of soldiers by calling forth cursed echoes and setting the stage for mutual slaughter. She first entrusted a record of fates to Hideki Araishi, who could be used to easily spread the rumors. She also contacted Fumichika Nejima, a criminal with a deep understanding of mystic arts, to obtain the cursed stones needed to gather soldiers. Through her investigations, Yoko discovered that Hajime is a descendant, threatened him with a curse in an effort to scare him into revealing the whereabouts of Ying's scroll. While Hajime bravely resisted, she killed him with the curse to ensure Seiman's descendant would not stand in her way. Preparations were coming to get Yoko obtained the seemingly, seemingly less dangerous curse stone of the Whispering Canal. Shogo Okie, descendant of Seiman, was eyed as a potential risk factor and contacted to ensure he would be located nearby and subject to monitoring. However, unaware that the spirit of Seiman would be awakened within Shogo as soon as she invoked the curse, Yoko's plan was thwarted when she was immediately cursed to death by Seiman. The curse started because someone shot her. Oh, yeah, hell lah, we tried so hard not to kill, but the urge was too strong. Now, allow me to ask you one last question. If you, knowing all that you now know, had the ability to resurrect one life, what would you do? I'll use it even if I had to sacrifice myself. I'll use it even if I had to sacrifice someone. I'll use it if it came at no cost. I wouldn't want it. Let someone else have it. My previous answer was this. I wouldn't want it. I would destroy it. <laughs> I see. I see. That was Seiman's original intention. I ap apologize for leaving out the options when I first asked you this question. Yeah, he did have that option previously. Now it is time to bring things to a close. Upon your arrival here, the rite of cleansing was activated, dispelling all other rituals and curses. Look upon the fruit of your efforts. And then we shall leave this world behind for good. Thank you. Truly for all the work you have done. Huh. Oh, that's what happened? I can't believe it. I finally understand. Yeah, I was the one who did that to Yoko. The blood of the Omniogy that is that's inside me broke into my consciousness and gave me that curse. Yoko was after the rite of resurrection. She was the one who awakened the curses of the seven mysteries and cast the Feast of Shadows. And to play Mio and Ariel, I don't know whether we'll see them. I think we'll get to see them because we get to look at uh, the fruits of our, of our hard work. 
right? Isn't that your purpose in the first place? Wait, but if we are here, it means Mio and Ariel plot won't even have happened. Yeah. Mio's and Ariel's plot wouldn't have happened. Wait, then we wouldn't have killed like you. Remember Michio? Michio went around killing people. Killing the stat dad. He, she killed the scum. Oh my god, I don't know. I hope that one still happens. <laughs> she killed EY and she killed um the scumbag teacher. Means we wouldn't have allowed the school girl to move on. Oh, uh, Tsutsumi is alive. Uh, but yeah, Tsutsumi is alive. Only way to stop all of it was to put a stop to her here. Otherwise, the right of cleansing might have been negated too. I wonder how much of it was really her doing. Her, her doing all those things. Oh, okay. You know why she died to the to drowning? Cause she obtained the whispering canal, right? But at the same time, Seiman Seiman was awakened at the feast of the the feast of the shadows, right? Then the beckoning light killed by means of the curse they possess, one who has become a curse bearer. Wait. Does the beckoning light not need to kill using their condition? <gasps> Shit! The beckoning light is the strongest, right? No, you just need to kill whoever who, who, who is a curse bearer. And it, how it kill by the means of the curse they possess. There's no condition. There's no Uno reversal. As long as they are a curse bearer. That's why the... Mayu was like, uh, this, this, this stone is giving me uh, bad ideas. Because as long as she activates it, they can die if they are a curse bearer. It just kills. <gasps> Shogo had to curse the entirety of the first uh, storyline. He had this curse because Seiman awoke, awoke inside of him, right? And then um, he picked up the Whispering Canal from uh, Yoko. I guess that explains why it felt like it was fate when this all started. Though she didn't seem to notice. I guess things were always destined to end like this from the moment we met. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. No, no point in thinking like that now. God, I need a drink. I'm thinking a Moscow meal or two or three. We were led to, be to believe it backfired and we got it. The stone with the biggest responsibility. <gasps> Madam? What is it? Ah. <sighs> just a dream. And since that, it was all just a dream. I dreamt that. There was such a thing as the right of resurrection. Her half open mouth. Just a dream. And sorry to say, but there isn't. Right. Of course not. No, she she won't know how her her son died as well. But even if there is no such thing, I promise you that I will get to the bottom of the kidnapping. But you know what? I believe they'll find out again. They'll find out how the son died. In fact, I've happened to find a very important lead from over a year ago. Something that's evaded our reach until now. An eyewitness from the scene of the kidnapping. I see. Can I lean in uh, IRL too? <laughs> the Tsumi boss! Oh wait, we just get all the good endings. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is this? The medical unit told me to get down here. What happened? I was looking into Yoshimi's death at the former Yasuda Gardens. Another body was discovered at a different park in that area. Could it be related? Hmm, it sure looks like it, but... Excuse me, we found this among the victim's belongings. Thought you'll want to know. Hmm? Hmm? What's this? 
Tsutsumi is alive, guys! What? What the hell? Boss, look! What was in the female victim's address book? Yoshimi's phone number and photo. What? And the picture. There's an S drawn on it and a bunch of weird symbols and a hole where his heart will be. No. Do you... Do you think I mean... Could this be some kind of a curse or something? How many times do I have to tell you not to try to connect everything to the cult? Damn it, is this a Nak Nakagoshi case after all? Hmm? What was that, boss? Ah, don't worry about it. Make sure you put that photo into evidence. There's no doubt this is related to Yoshimi. Make sure you do a thorough sweep of the area. I'm gonna make a phone call. Got it, leave it to me. Spend as long as you want on the phone. Mio, it turns out Michio really did die in an accident. Yeah, if we ask ar around, we might be able to get a little more information. I guess there never really was such a thing as the rite of resurrection. But I did feel like there was a spirit watching over us. Damn it, why? Nothing's happening. But now my contract won't be... No! I should have never believed in this blasted record of fates. <laughs> Rose said she moved on. Well, they don't know what ha To all of you watching from far, far away, the right of resurrection has never existed. Not in any world, not in any time. So I ask you to take the life you hold and move boldly forward, one step at a time. Richter, you wise out. Do you want to question him? Hang on, Ariel. I want to get enough evidence for a search warrant. Let him go for now. That's... That's a kidnapper? Uh, yes. I'm... I'm the one who did it. So... Please. Tell me. She's... She's... She's always following me. Uh, he killed Michio by a, in a car accident. I'm so sorry, Michio. I had no idea. What? Hajime was killed by this... Yoko Fukunaga? How can that be? He wasn't the kind of guy who could just... Be picked off like that. You know that. Yeah, and boss is hiding something. Hmm, there seems to be some kind of a secret hidden in Hajime's family tree. Let me see if I can find out what it is. I have heard you would be absent today. Is there something you need? But I seem to have this spirit sense thing all of a sudden. I know it's the sort of thing our chairwoman doesn't approve of, so I thought I'll mention it. could have caught, didn't think you were the standoffish type. I had to find out from EY. Oh, sorry, I forgot all about my favorite chief inspector. The hell are you planning? Nothing so heinous as you're thinking. I'm only Makoto Ashimi after all. Nothing but the lowly janitor. He's still alive! How are things with you? Are you getting along with your daughter? Yikes. Well, you know, more or less. They would have met each other all together all along with or without the event. I think in their own way, they would have resolved things in their own way with or without the... with or without the right of resurrection. Tsumi covering up for Nejima the whole time. Nah, he, he isn't. He, he, he didn't. 
But they, he wanted to find the, the Nejima killer, which is uh, Ashim, Makoto Ashimiya. And then he said he had to find out through Iwai. Iwai is an accomplice of uh, of uh, Makoto Ashimiya. Wait, they're pals now? Nah, they're not pals. I'm pretty sure he's observing him. I mean, I guess they can bond as terrible deaths. <laughs> but I mean, maybe... If he didn't have... If he didn't have the cursed stone, maybe he wouldn't... Be tempted to cause another massacre. I don't know. Tsutsumi is still a cool dude. I think he's... I think he's... They are not exactly bonding per se, but... I think he has his eyes on... Um, on the... On the... On the Nejima killer. That's why he went to find him, right? Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Something about the ending doesn't satisfy me, but to me not they, I'm okay. Uh it happens when it comes to the ending where like you know how most part of the story a uh, huge part of the story yeah, it was like was was but an alternate route. An alternate route that ended where the bad guy win. Then you feel like... You feel like it was wasted, right? Someone we spent so l long in their so-called alternate route. I thought that alternate route was the main route. But no, it was an alternate route. The way we... The way to prevent it from all happening was to just kill the bad guy from the very start. But at the same time, if the bad guy was, was dead from the very start, a lot of things wouldn't have happened. A lot of things that we saw wouldn't have happened. That's why... That's why when it when it's this kind of when it, when it is this kind of um story right um you feel a bit unsatisfied I suppose it happens it happens why would Tsutsumi still not bring Najima killer to the to justice he he didn't he's not killing anybody he didn't kill anybody yet uh I, he only started killing when he got the stone I think and see so we start cause like they went through so much and everyone dies still yeah. Also, why my teacher tell me never to write where, where the ending is like everything is but a dream. <laughs> so he's making that mistake <laughs> that my teacher at primary school told me not to do. To write that everything is but a dream. Obligation fulfilled. Case closed. Okay, I... Okay, I completed the story then. This is the entire story. So, it's just so... Cause it, yeah, if... So the, the, the way to get the so-called happy ending to destroy the right of resurrection is this way, right? And then like, if we went this way, all these things below it, right? All these things below it wouldn't have happened. That's why it's like, it feels so empty, cause we spend so much time, we learn, we we were with Michio, uh, but I mean, in, I guess in a, in that alternate timeline, the things will also get resolved, right? Cause we did see that they do, they do realize how Michio died and they felt sorry for her. Hare uh, Har also discover, discover how her son was really cute. Tetsuo Tsutsumi has his eyes on the Nejima killer. And even though he did not reconcile with the daughter yet, maybe someday they will, if they're alive and things can happen. Wasn't he the killer who killed the girl whose hands and legs were found in a river? Yeah, that's a Nejima, Nejima killer and see ya crap. But he served his so-called life sentence and he was... He is now out now. He served his, he's finished serving his life sentence already, MC. That's why he's out and about under a different alias. This isn't... <laughs> Everything is but a dream. Ah oh, man, says Private Kowalski. Roll. 
This isn't even everything is by a dream. This is like Ruka Devata part two. <gasps> yeah, right. It is kind of like that. I think it's also because Michio's dad didn't die that I unsatisfied. He, he got arrested. He did get arrested. That's why they managed to find the Nejima killer. Because EY, the dad, um, got arrested and told uh, Tsutsumi. <sighs> so the dopey looking guy that we were led to believe as the Nejima killer was just a distraction? No, it is him. It is him. This guy, right? Hey, where is it? Ah? This one, right? This guy and this guy, they are the same people. How many stickers do you have? Oh, that's a very good question. Wait, uh... How do I find... How do I check how many stickers I have? Ah, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look up at the first house, late at night on the way home. Among the morning green, in the bright garden, if you've won the lottery. Detectives and private eyes. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, seven, only seven. Oh, okay, makes sense now. Ah, uh, that'll be it for paranormal side. Oh my god, I didn't... Honestly, I didn't expect... I didn't expect it to take so long because uh let me go check right because okay if 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 i'm checking against like youtube right well however the amount that i played today right is let me see it's two hours it's about Wait, let me see. 7 minutes, 54, 8 hours. It's less than 2 hours. However much I played today, right, was less than 2 hours on YouTube. It, it, it really goes to show how slow I am when, <laughs> when I'm playing. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess because I don't know the... Oh, because we... Remember we took like at least a good 30 minutes to solve the seal, the seal uh, order. Remember NC? <laughs> You're putting in effort in the voice at the hey, thank you, thank you. And we are <laughs> we were small brain, small brain moment at the seal part. You're led to believe a scapegoat took the fall in the alternate uh timeline. No no no. Um Nejima they did uh, arrest a Nejima uh killer correctly. Then when he came out he looked like he looked like he looked like this. Yeah. I think there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't an alternate timeline for the whole killing. Unless you're talking about a, a, a killing that happened in this, in this, uh, uh, during the Rite of Red, when there was the sh Fist of the Shadows thingy. I didn't expect to be this investor. Thank you, Ro. We've we'll been longer without hints too. We are small PP Ray. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember MC was like... The MC was like big braining for me. He was like... <laughs> he literally... He literally wrote out the whole like order. He, it, we were reading through... Uh, we were reading through the files, right? We were reading through the files, right? And then I was like summarizing. And then MC was like... Was like, oh this... And then he like connect the dots for me. <laughs> he helped me connect all the dots. Then he's like, okay. It is the... Actually, I can't remember the final order. I remember it ended with the light one, right? Wait. It was the... Yeah, I can't remember the final order. <laughs> but he even told me, like, what to press. <laughs> it was Hare-san kidnapping. Uh, oh, Hare-san kidnapping was done by EY. Oh, you might not have been there, uh, MC. Oh yeah, MC, you might have missed this part. I remember Ro, Ro was definitely there for the for when we discover how EY was the one that kidnapped uh Hare's son Shuichi. Why was in Apex? I saw a snippet of it, yeah. It was quite messed up, like, yeah. I would say it's very messed up. Cause EY, right? I think I I, I to sum it up, EY he worships the Nejima killer. So he has he has a grudge against uh 
Harue. Because Harue is a key witness. She's the one that discover, discover the head that's floating in Sumida River. And after they discover the body, then they manage to catch the Nejima killer, yeah. So she's a key witness. So he targeted the son of Harue. Then he pretended it was like a normal kidnapping. And then he pretended like the, the police made a mistake and raged him and then he killed the son. But he, in the, from the first place, he never intended to let the son go. Because he was going to use the son as a, as a sacrifice for his black magic. You thought UI was the Nejima killer? Nah, the original Nejima killer... I don't know who he killed, but he really killed... He really killed uh, some school girl. And then, uh, and then resurrected. Resurrected Shino, right? Who is, uh, Ayame Tono. Well, maybe. I mean... Tutsu... <laughs> Tutsu me was like saying, no, you are Ayame Tono. You are not, you're not a Shino, you're not Shino, you're not... You're not, uh... You're not Nejima's, uh... What, daughter? Taiko bitch, recall like... Okay, the storyline links up well in, in my head now. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, Roya, yeah, right. I mean, he tried to be... Yeah, EY? EY, he tried to be like the second Nejima killer. Because Nejima killing... The Nejima killing like... Was like, like super big, right? It was like super big and like everybody was like shocked by this news. So... Uh, he wanted to be something like Nejima because he worshipped Nejima. But he didn't make it. He didn't... It wasn't as shocking. So he was quite angry when... Because it wasn't as shocking. But he's... This guy is... True scumbag. I'm just so sad he didn't die in Michio's hands. This... In the... In the so-called good timeline. Because in the... In the alternate timeline, right? The, the timeline that we were used to, right? The timeline right, that we are used to, right? We went to Michio's house, right? Then we dis we discovered EY is like dead there. Because Michio killed. Michio possessed Yako and, and killed uh EY. She killed all those that often that that are scumbags, uh, pretty much. Good <laughs> it's a good cowling, I would say. <laughs> 10 out of 10, we we'll, we'll let it happen again for Michio to, to cow this world of these bad guys. Michio, yeah. Michio was... Easily, Michio is like... Was like, wow, the best. She's so... She's so... She's, she's so poggers, eh. Cause like, um... Later on, she also helped them... Tell them the location of where the... Nejima... Of the... Where the, the Nejima hideout is. They communicate... They communicate with the spirit of... Uh, Michio through the spirit board. Ah, she, so sad that she, no matter what, she's she's dead. Poor Michio. She still died, yeah. Uh, she's no matter what, because before this event, she already died. <sighs> okay. But yes, that'll be it for. We have completed paranormal sight. It was a good story. Preserve her safe file. Yeah, I have a safe file. Wait, let me check. I have a safe file. <laughs> a safe file is over here. I can't believe Tsutsumi died, dude. <laughs> I feel like he should have died there, but okay. What's the button display? What's this? Oh. Tsutsumi! Safe too! <sighs> I like the, the title uh, screen music though. Why do the Giga Chats die? They have, to, they have to go out, they cannot grow old and, and die, Ro. They have to go out in a bang. Except Mayu, I'm glad she's alive. Oh, and Mayu is super cool. My god, she's just like. She's just like. Hmm. Hmm, do I use the right. Uh, do I try to use the right of resurrection? Hell no, of course I don't. Yoshimi will be angry if I if I use it to resurrect him. Oh my god, such a giga chat, uh, Mayu. 
when we are piecing the origin June and uh Emil uh story. Wait, Emil? A Ariel? Ariel? June and Ar uh Ariel. June Ariel? June and Ariel? June Ariel the <laughs> Mio 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 story, okay. When you were piecing the original uh, Mio story, you were right. We had people missing to fifty it uh, anyway. The girl and June. Oh yeah. We had. Oh yeah, we needed to find the consciousness. We needed the. We need we need the curse echo, the consciousness, and the body. Investigating or uh, officer duo. But Shogo died right uh, right that timeline. Yeah, Shogo died. Shogo died in that timeline. He got killed by Yoko Fukunaga. I didn't know wow My god this yeah, I just wish okay the this one right It took me so long to understand this 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 one Cause I didn't know whether the condition was to like Uno reversal their own curse or was it just as long as they're curse bearer I can kill them. But this one is so strong. No wonder this is the Seiman. This is the memory of Seiman. He's so strong eh. This one and and the uh, foot washing they are very strong. Foot washing kill by crushing one who hears the command wash. And even if you block out your ear, you cannot, you cannot avoid it. The only way we we could protect, we manage to protect them is because we fourth wall the game. We turn off the audio. Oh, this and yeah, this, oh my god! I just wish they they kind of word if they word word this a little better, right, I would have been so scared of this power. He guilty want to make things right. Yeah. Yeah. Same same one. Yeah. He's. Cause he's the one that discovered the right of resurrection, but he didn't really int he he discovered it and research it out of like curiosity. He didn't want to really use it, but then end up like everybody kill, kill here, kill there. That's why he would rather destroy it, you know. Cleansing would never be done in the first place. Well, it depends on. It also depends on how you see things, right? Uh, alternate timelines. Is there really a main main timeline? Is there really a main timeline? Is there um? <coughs> but yeah, in the alternate timeline that we were in, Shogo died. Uh, Shogo died. So the cleansing would have never been done. We needed a body. Yeah, we needed someone who's a. Uh, Who's, who's like a descendant of a uh, Seiman. So it was either Shogo, Shogo or the or the Fushimi. But uh, Fushimi passed away. The police officer already died. It was deliberate. That's why the entire story we never met Yoko. <sighs> and then at the end, Yoko comes and kill us. The, she killed her target. Let everyone else do uh, everything. Yeah. Oh my god. It's... Yeah. Oh my god. It's... Uh, I can't believe the only way to kill her was literally here, guys. This is the only way to, to kill Yoko Fukunaga. And to do the cleansing. Right here. Oh my god. Homie just sat back and watched she did. Just like us, so it makes sense. We had to put in so much work though. We had to like whisper into Mayu, Chozawa. We were like, pets to the number six, six, two, star, 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 star. And then we had to whisper into her ears. Oh, uh, there's, there's, pick up the new position. <laughs> we were so confused how she died. Yeah, it also makes, it also wraps up the first, the first, so, the so called first timeline that we played. Like why she suddenly died, and then like why is why is our curse out of control? We cannot c control when to use the curse, when to not use the curse. <coughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, that'll be it for Paranormal Side. I think it's getting late. I never expected you to play to play until 5 a.m. You know what was the original plan? I thought it would end latest 1 a.m. or something. Yeah, my estimation was way off. I should have known, cause like uh, this game on YouTube, right? I think it's a bad estimation, cause I look at YouTube, right? And uh, the whole game, right, is 9 hours 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure I didn't play for like 9 hours 20 minutes. I played for, I played for way longer. I, I have a, my playtime is at 25 hours. 25 hours. So I... If only I multiplied the duration by 2, then I guess it sort of makes sense. Because, like I said earlier, I had... Uh, I had so-called 2 hours of content left, right, according to YouTube, but... In truth, it was actually what? <laughs> actually, more than four hours. It was like... Four... Uh, four... Well, it's almost five now. Well, okay, I'll, um... Four hours plus... Maybe another two, three hours. Six hours. <laughs> thank you for the crappies! Thank you, thank you! How oh, fun! Time to rewatch the... Uh, uh, your first Yoko Q. On the bright side, finish all the routes. Hell yeah, Private Koski! Okay, let's uh, stop this. Thank you, this game! I really enjoyed this game. Uh, worth sacrificing my AO3 time. Thank you so much, Ro! Thank you for those that are really, um, that are really, um, engrossed and were looking forward to the game. And, and especially if you are here with me at the end, thank you so much. Uh, uh, and if, yeah, if you were like, even like a little bit interested in the story and you were watching me play. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, which one was it? This one, is it? MC. <laughs> oh, this is the first time I saw Yoko Fukunaga. <laughs> they... I just scroll back, I was like, nah, not not dealing with that. <laughs> like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> uh. Nah, man, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, because this, this was the first time we saw, like, a dead person, I suppose, in the game. And it's that creepy, though, the way she died. Can you see the way she died? You holding your body pillow? <laughs> yeah, my mini body pillow. <laughs> you protect me. <laughs> yeah, this, this one was horrible. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, thank you everybody who are here, and for those that were actually that actually followed the story, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you. For those that like came in halfway and you still managed to understand like bits of the story and you watch it, thank you so much. <laughs> I hope I I do try to summarize every here and there, but at the same time, if I sum I do too many summaries here and there, um. Uh, it might get a bit repetitive for the for those who are who who want to watch like the how the story progress. <laughs> but she's an antagonist, yeah. So in the in the end, we didn't know she was an antagonist until all the way uh at the end. How fun! So technically, the first route that we were in, right, we accidentally killed her. It was the right thing to do because she was an antagonist all along. Character development. We only found out today, yeah. It's crazy, actually. Because now you just... I want to see her date. Is it only a one-time thing? <laughs> yeah, apparently, according to the storyteller, he was, like, saying that was the only moment. The only moment we could have gotten her. Because I think she goes into hiding afterwards. Until like people like kill each other and like there's enough soul dress, then she come out. Or if someone wants to do the rite of cleansing. No, she actually she doesn't know much about the rite of cleansing. Hmm, yeah. Does she actually um 
which does she? No, she doesn't know. Because she does not have the Ying scroll. <sighs> but yeah, that was a crazy, that was a crazy game. I really enjoyed it. I'm very glad I picked it up. Even though I was very, very, very scared at the start. I hated the, I hated the panning around looking. Uh, looking, I hated the, yeah, I hated the panning around so much at the start. Because it was very scary. But then later on, when I started to understand all the, like, slowly started to understand the curses, then like, you know how when you understand, like, how things work, even the ghosts, the curses, the supernatural, that's actually a, a methodic, a methodical, metal, metho methodical way to activate it then and everything. Then it becomes a lot more, uh, uh, manageable. <laughs> And, and, and like when all the mysteries start kicking in, that was when it really hooked me in. It was just on like Supernatural, I don't think I would have survived. Mm -mm. Okay, it is 5am. I will be looking for a raid. Wait, Hofan, can I ask you something, Hofan? Hofan! Did you did you bring Maya? Did you bring Maya here? What's up? Ro, go sleep! Good night, Ro! You might still be able to roll sneaking like I don't know, a chapter of AO3. Night night, Ro, bye bye! It was Ro? Wait, Ro was the one that brought Maya? Oops, the messages must have been going so fast. I didn't I couldn't even tell Ro a uh, new Maya. Plot this part two of the night. Thank you, Ro. I'm still not too sure. I'm like waiting for Ro to say something. But I think Ro went to bed already. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it how fun? Oh, okay, how fun. Good night, Ro. Thank you for recommending me. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, let me see who to read. No, you're still here. You're pushing your flashes off. Yeah, we're friends. So, oh, so it is Ro. It is Ro that brought Maya. Thank you so much, Ro. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Mm. Oh my god, there isn't a lot of people on today. Night night. Night night, everybody. Who are, everybody who's going to sleep. Good night, good night, good night. Go to rest. Okay, you know what? Let me see if anybody else is playing Paranormal Sight, okay? Because now that we know the ending... <laughs> okay, we okay, don't go and spoil people, but like... Wanna go watch them. <laughs> Kinda wanna go spy on other people playing the game. <laughs> we are taking on the mentor of Private Korski, hell yeah. And our Private Korski was really... Really, um, was really brave because, uh, Private Korski also didn't want to spoil themselves. <laughs> but they went to search, uh, they went to search how to progress with the game. Hey, hello, Private Korski. Private Korski's still here. Not sleeping yet? <laughs> they went to search to, 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 to give me a hint. Uh, let me see. Oh, he got very nice voice. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, hello! Hello! Uh, Vivianite! 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 Thank you for the follow! Welcome into the heartlands! Thank you, thank you! Uh, oh yeah, let me change to like, uh, just chatting. How's your day, Vivianite? <laughs> Actually, we are, on the, we are on the verge of like, raiding uh, away. Um... Set game, uh, just chatting. Yeah, always here. Thank you, Private Kowalski. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this guy is at the okay, I, I, I'm spying on. <laughs> thank you for the cheers and applause. <laughs> 
did you come in? Hey, did you drop by because you saw me? Uh, were you searching for Singaporean streamers? Uh, were you searching for paranormal site uh, gamers? Because I was playing paranormal site. Hey, this person, this person, he's just, he's like, he's quite, he's near the start of, uh, I'll say he's near the start of, uh, of the game. So I think I can jot you guys off there. Uh, there is another person but uh, actually no, there's two other people but the they're not English. Wait, you know what? Never mind. There's only one other person that's uh <laughs> there's there's uh English there is an English streamer and and streaming paranormal site. The Singaporean Ted! Oh thank you! Um Vivian Knight for coming in. For choosing me out of all the Singaporeans. I don't know how many Singaporeans are still awake. <laughs> <laughs> but for choosing me out of all the Singaporeans. Uh hope you have having a good day. Oh, we can um uh, I can do a, a quick introduction. I'm Rai Hati. I'm a variety game streamer. Uh I play different I play many, many different games. Maybe the more co maybe the ones that often come back would be what? Genshin, Overwatch. Oh well, not so much. I play Overwatch off stream quite quite a lot, I suppose. Though I did take a break recently. Uh, okay, but yeah, Overwatch. Um, we finished Legend of Sword and Fairy. Uh, we finished Paranormal Side today. My um next stream, next next stream is a question question mark question mark question mark stream. So um, I have two games. I have two games um in mind. I will. I think I'll let you guys decide which game to to play. Scarly, the only Singaporean away like that, then win. <laughs> hey, don't say that evening skies. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a variety uh, streamer and I also do a variety uh, content. I'll be doing some IRL, Thailand, and Japan content uh, in the month of May. So look forward to that. Uh, my last IRL stream, I did uh, the, the, paint, the painting, the, the painting thingy. And I also did a cooking stream before that. Yeah. <laughs> so these are some of the things I I do on the on the channel. But yeah, um, right now we are gonna go to bed. It's like five a.m. Please, guys, for those fellow Singaporeans, fellow uh fellow Southeast Asian fellow people who stay in my in my near near my time zone or in my time zone, why you're not sleeping? Go to sleep. Go to sleep, guys. We did Jen. <laughs> I really hope y'all enjoyed the game today. And yeah. Um uh, I'm sorry if, for those that like were a little bit lost or if you came halfway through. But I hope that if I mean if you did come halfway through, maybe it interests you enough um to check out the game. Cause it is it's really good. The story was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh especially if you like like Mis I, I, I think the mystery aspect was so good. And then like how everything sort of ties together. Waiting for Rai to stay on. You might have to wait for a long time. Evening skies. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I am gonna start the raid to Shin Ichi Kai. Um, he's a VTuber. Demon Lord VTuber. Not too sure where he is from. Let me like read. He is... Uh, let me see. He's playing song. He's playing. He he plays uh Day by Daylight, Pokemon, Final Fantasy, Tower of Fantasy, Splatoon Three. Okay. Ah, oh, but Ro Ro went to bed. <laughs> Ro is also a Splatoon Three player. Thank you for the sorry and the raid. Okay, let's start the raid. Let's start the. Let's start the raid. Uh Okay. Um. He's at the start. He's at the start of paranormal side. So don't spoil him. Huh? <laughs> but I know I have faith in you guys. I'm pretty sure we are we are pretty well behaved. But he's at the start of paranormal side. Uh, how start is the start? He is in the timeline of Shogo Okie. That's how start he is. <laughs> he's at the timeline of Shogo Okie where Shogo Okie killed Yoko Fukunaga and he's gonna kill a bunch more people to try to revive Yoko Fukunaga. Now that you know that Yoko Fukunaga is an antagonist, oh. it's so stupid. Oh. 
You just came in. Oh, Party oh, agent girl. Hello. How are you? I haven't seen you for a while. I'm so sorry, Party agent girl. I hope to talk to you more soon. I hope you've been well, though, Party agent girl. I guess, well, um... I'll be, um... I'll be streaming again on... today Sunday. So I stream every alternate days. Uh, I'll be streaming again on Tuesday. I should be streaming on Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, um... I'll post my schedule on Discord. You can join my Discord. Uh... At exclamation mark Discord. And yeah. Tuesdays. Tuesdays uh, stream is not decided. I have two games in mind. I will let you guys decide which game I play uh, on Tuesday. Uh, itself. I'll see you guys then. Bye bye. Party Asian God. No, we can talk next time. We can talk next time. Bye everybody. Night.